access to Groove and haven't yet upgraded and locked in your lifetime plan, today is the day to do it. Right now, this moment, I would absolutely buy it without a doubt, hands down. It's tailored for whatever it is you want to do. And it's got all the tools to make it happen. If you're going to be selling products or services online, you need to have the tool that can bring that all together for you. If you want a good quality platform that is integrated, that all the pieces fit together, and you've got the ongoing support, you've got the ongoing community, you've got the ongoing upgrades, etc., included for free, well, I think it's a no-brainer to make the decision to upgrade straight away. Because when Mike says, this is it, we're closing this window, we're closing the door, <laughs> and we're caulking right around the edges, it's over with. It's just so incredibly perfect for an online business. There is nothing out there on the market that gives you this many things for a lifetime deal that will save you thousands of dollars. Before Groove, our monthly bill for all of our softwares was $29,000. For us, it was a business decision. I get the lifetime because you will save so much money. I'm a numbers person. I'm an accountant, right? So that with Groove was no a no-brainer for me. You know, the Groove pays for itself very, very quickly. Not to mention tap into the affiliate deals and make money off of things that other people have created. OMG, you can sell a few of these and it will pay for your entire lifetime membership and never have to pay for monthly software again. You can get Groove completely paid for in five or six days if you work it. Honest to God, look, I went to five. I went to 10,000. I'm over 50,000. You can't go wrong. I mean, we only have to sell like three through or, you know, platinum packages right now to get your money back. You can do that in your sleep. Let's say seven years from now, you're making a fortune and you've been making a fortune. Multiply seven times 36. Oh man, it's a couple hundred grand. Definitely grab it now. You're not going to see anything. This is as good or better in pretty much every way uh, than, you know, the guys charging $300 a month for similar stuff that doesn't do as much. Why would I go and spend all these other places and then have to learn how to connect them all? I know some people are sitting there, should I do it? Could I do it? This is a place where I think you have to sort of listen around and trust some people that have been there. And, and Mike Filsaim, uh, Matt Seralta, uh, John Cornetta, these guys have been there in the, in the online business. And so for any purchase, it's a leap of faith, right? But in my opinion, you should make that leap because this is going to be your tool that's going to enable you in a much faster fashion to get your online business up and running and moving than anything else you could sort of cobble together out there. I promise you this will be your best purchase of all time. And it would be one of those times that you need that light bulb moment, then here it is. It's lit and you need to move over because if you want the best value, you want the best software, you want the best of everything in one place, Groove is it for you. So don't hesitate, do what you gotta do to get in at this insanely low price. That's an invitation to build the uh, the ideal life, build the business, build whatever it is that you want to build so that you can really live um, uh, an extraordinary life. It's free to join, right? It's free to join, the lifetime's going away. To me, it's like, why wouldn't you do it? Because if you wait, it's gonna be a monthly fee and you're gonna spend over $2,000 more next year. You're gonna be kicking yourself when it's gone. It's just a straight up math, right? I mean, it's it's 300 bucks a month or it's 2,000 bucks one time and you're done. Are you gonna be that person that's gonna look back and say, hey, I could have gotten in on Groove on Lifetime Offer and I didn't? Oh my God, why did I let that go? Why? Why? It's a too good of an offer to pass up. I knew that this software is something special. And if I then don't take up on this offer, I'm going to regret it because this is going to be the most, most powerful software on the planet. And whatever happens, you know, I'll move forward with it.
Hello, Groove. Good morning, David. Good morning. Good morning, Groove. Mike. Hey. All right. Uh, we're doing good. Uh, so, David, I'm just going to do a, a quick check. I didn't uh, do anything. I just want to see if it was yesterday. Uh, tell me if you hear uh, something small coming through the speakers. No, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll work on that later today. All right, everybody. Welcome to a hybrid day. This is the final day of our pre-launch Groovathon and the very first day of our launch. So the launch is to announce that Groove is finally exiting beta, uh, meaning that our, uh, <clears throat> our first original, I would say six out of eight apps are, uh, are coming out of beta. And we've just released Groove Webinar, which we're going to be going over today. And uh, that's going to allow you to create automated webinars. And that's being released in a beta state. So at a certain point, we have to say, if you were a company like Kartra, your app is mature and out of beta. And if they were to release a new thing, let's say to compete with us, like K Kartra Shopping Cart, right? To have an online store like Shopify, that particular app would be in beta. <clears throat> so the fact that new apps are going to be released throughout the year, which is part two of what we're going to be going over today. We don't want, um, we don't want to have the beta um, flag flying on the company anymore. So on February 23rd, uh, we wake up to a whole new company. Um, we're going to have a, a new website with about um, 12 to 16 pages, and we're going to continue to build that out to 35, 45 pages over the next year with uh, animated GIFs and videos about every feature. And we're going to, now that the, the app is becoming complete, we can sign, finally start working on inline tutorials. But what that really essentially means is that we've been doing a two and a half year Kickstarter. And that Kickstarter style project is coming to an end. There was an opportunity to back the project uh, and that is still available, meaning that you can make a pledge one time and own the software for life for just three payments of $699 or one payment of 1997. You simply log into the dashboard and you click on the red upgrade button in the top right corner that says upgrade. <clears throat> now, part of the hybrid that we said about Friday's overlapping is that our launch started. And if, even if you went to groove.cm, you're gonna to notice today that there's a registration page for a webinar. We've even taken the site down. It's so important that we get uh, everybody on this webinar. Not quite as important for you lifetime members. I can't really say there's gonna be anything new for you there, but certainly register and come, uh, come join us. Um, uh, and those webinars are happening next Wednesday. Uh, we have a leads contest at GrooveJV.com that you can learn more about, and you can get all of your links and swipe and actually start promoting today. All right, so that means that the launch starts today, and today is the final day of the Groovathon. And what we have for you today is two things. Number one, we're going to be going over Groove Webinar Automated, and then we're going to let you know about where Groove Webinar is going. Um, <clears throat> we're going into so many areas that we're really creating a new, a whole new style of marketing, right? Because there's live streaming and there's webinars and we're gonna create a hybrid. We're gonna be bringing uh, everything that you love about live stream and combining it with a platform like Webinar Jam. There's nobody out there in the world that does this, allow you to uh, do all of the producer stuff that you see us doing here with live stream and be able to do that in a webinar setting that's also streaming if you want to a YouTube channel or Facebook or Twitch or not, all those different types of controls. So that means we're gonna have Groove webinars automated. You'll be able to do um, live webinars like GoToWebinar and Webinar Jam. There's gonna be Groove Stream if you just wanna do a stream. And then there's gonna be Groove Conference. And then there's gonna be the ability in, in uh, those last three where you can have a pre-made video that it will automatically log in even though you're live on a webinar or live on a live stream or live on a Zoom style conference where you're seeing you know, 25 people onto a page and it will play a pre-recorded video. So it's taking the options that you have in Groove Webinar automated and then putting it into the live stream, into the webinar and into a Zoom conference. <clears throat> but not only that, webinars have a particular view. It's one to many. Jason Flatlin wrote a great book about it called One to Many. I recommend you get it on Amazon. One of the best books on webinars ever. Uh, probably the best book, the best book on webinars ever, bar none. And webinars is usually your screen without your face. You can sometimes put it on, but it's generally without your face and the audience doesn't get to see each other. And in some cases like GoToWebinar, they don't even know who's in the room. 
All right. So we're going to give you options to let people see you in the room and share your your not only your screen, but your webcam. But traditionally, that's a webinar. A live stream is more about having guests and communication. It's a virtual podcast. You're having people side by side. You can bring people in. There's a lobby. And then, of course, there's a, a Zoom uh, call. And you guys have all seen Zoom calls. It shows up. Uh, you can have the hero view of the speaker or you can have up to 25 people viewing and you can click paginate and it brings in another 25 people, but it always keeps the speaker in the top left of your screen. And because of that, Zoom has even created something called Zoom webinars. And I'm sure you've been on webinars with Zoom. Well, what you're going to be able to do is combine the live streaming experience that you get as a, as a producer with StreamYard with your webinars. And then you're going to have a view that at any time you'll be able to uh, paginate from what you're currently seeing now to a, a, there'll be a little toggle that says conference view. And then anybody that's watching on Facebook can click a link and actually come into the conference and watch in real time instead of the seven second delay. And they'll be in the room there with you. And then you can do things like, oh, there, I see Joanne Wolof. Hey, Joanne. She'll say, hey, Mike, how are you? And you'll actually be able to interact with people. And you can say, okay, we're going to get back to presentation mode. Click a button and boom, the 25 people are still listening in real time, but their cameras are shut off and muted and you're locked in the hero position. So we are combining the best. So we don't really even know what to call this right now. <clears throat> Is it going to be one app? Um that, that, uh, that will just be called GrooveStream and it does webinars, conferences, and streaming. Will it be Groove Webinars and it does webinars, conferences, and streaming? We're not sure. I prefer the name GrooveStream, but there are going to be people out there looking for webinar software to compete with Webinar Jam. So it's interesting how we're going to communicate that, but essentially it's going to be one software, probably GrooveStream, and then you're going to go in and you're going to say, what would you like to do? A conference, a stream, or a webinar? And then you'll set that up so it'll create the environment that will have that look. And then anytime you'll be able to paginate back and forth from a conference view to a stream view. So that's essentially um, uh, a, pre a preview uh, because David later is going to be showing you some of the interfaces, but I wanted to actually give you a little bit of the meta of what is actually going to be happening so you can understand it as opposed to saying, here's how it's going to look in this view. Here's how it's going to look on mobile. I wanted to give you uh, an understanding. So <clears throat> we're going to bring David on. And, uh, David, let's go. Why don't you come on right now? We'll take a look at what everybody's saying here. Kevin, um, Kevin Streit says, unbelievable. Cannot wait. Thank you. Uh, we have Groove Stream or somebody likes here. Uh, Jack Webb. Jackie Jones, a uh, groom stream, groom stream web. Uh, interesting. Thank you very much, uh, Mina. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice to see you, Jackie. And uh, what do we have here? Um, oh, that's a, that's a question there. Okay. I'm just clicking on random things. Anyway, uh, a, a random Facebook user that hasn't connected says woohoo. Um, so freaking excited. Uh, and good morning. Good morning to you, Natalie. We are excited to get going today. Now, um, being that today is the first day of get this thing sticking out like Frankenstein being that today is the first day of, Oh, David, I don't know if you notice anything. Um, Deep. these are, these are the white glasses, um, but they look yellow though. Still a little bit, right? It looks yeah. Can you look to the screen? Yeah, it's still happening. It's still happening a little bit. You but know it's what it is? I, I have two big windows right in front of me that you uh -huh. may not have. So I have windows with blinds and windows with blinds. So I have a lot of, uh, light yeah. coming, uh, coming in. Let me, let me shut my lights off actually. And so now my lights are off, but again, it's my screen. It's so if screen, I take away yeah. this big groove dashboard in front of me, it's and take away this uh, StreamYard dashboard because I have three <laughs> screens. That's the other thing. Is that any better or no? <laughs> it's better. I definitely, we can see your eyes. <clears throat> All right. You know, you know what it is, David? Also, I also have three screens. Yeah. So I have StreamYard over here, the white groove dash over here, and the big white uh, Skype <laughs> over here, plus those lights that I just put on uh, there as well, which creates... Uh, creates a lot of uh, reflection. Anyway, we're trying to solve that, folks, because it's a little bit more natural when you can see my eyes. All right, David. So uh, let me just let everybody know, folks, um, I'm going to be letting David carry most of the ship today because uh, he's the product owner uh, here in Groove. Uh, and, he, and what that means is he's responsible for the development or the execution development and UI of the entire application. That's his job. And then, and then he part-time communicates that with you and continues to do all of his live streams uh, and updates and everything for you. So David's going to be doing that in the second half of the show here today. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump in to Groove Webinars. And I'm going to be 
popping myself out. I might stick around a little bit more for Groove webinars uh, here with David, but for the most part, I'm going to be popping out and staying in the lobby and popping in and out uh, throughout the day. And David, you think we'll probably have everybody rocked on out of here so they can grab their links and start promoting the launch by two o'clock in about three hours? Oh, yeah. Actually, that's the first thing I want to go into because a lot of people have been asking, like, oh, we're waiting for swipes. So I don't know, maybe, Mike, you want to show it or should I? No, I'll show it because... Yeah. Um, let me also just uh, show you guys this. So I'm going to share my screen. Yeah. Oh, what is this? It says new. There's something new when I click share screen. It wasn't there yesterday. It says slides. That's new. You can also create slides and extra camera. So you can put <coughs> in your, I don't know, the the whiteboard that you have maybe on your no uh, way. on your tablet and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Extra camera. Mm -hmm. Let me just see something. Tell me what happens here. Um, oh, look at that. We can, <clears throat> we can, um, oh, let me add it to the stream. So I could literally pop in and out at any time. Like yep. this. And ha oh, wow. That is good. All right. Another feature to add to GrooveStream. <laughs> I actually oh. have that and many more <laughs> for GrooveStream. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, let's add my um, – I'll add my screen one more time. All right. So, we're going to bring this in. So, I want you to see a conversation I had here with Donna today. And I said, uh, hey, Donna, uh, can someone, maybe Elliot, real fast – like today, make a video we can put under the two videos at Groove JV that has a thumbnail that says how to get swipes. Because usually we have a yellow bar that says click here for swipes and goes to a Google Doc. And uh, in this case, it's kind of buried on the page in just an icon because we are actually using Groove the way that it's intended to be used, as opposed to sending people old school to a Google Doc. So when we go to Groove JV, if you want to get your links, this is exactly what you're going to do. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. <coughs> Um, we're going to let this page load. And then, David, maybe uh, right after this, before you go into the webinar, we'll talk about the, the migration that's, uh, that's happening today as well. All right. <clears throat> okay. So I'm scrolling over to the promotion tool. So you go to Groove JV, okay, and you go down underneath uh, this big video here of me. It'll say promotion tools. Uh, as you can see here, let me just see where my scroll bar is. I don't even see the scroll bar. That's interesting. Uh, but either way, you, uh, you, let me start from the top. You'll see. You have the, the main two videos here. This is about the lead contest. This is about the launch. This is uh, the calendar of what the launch looks like. Here's a video explaining our commission uh, payout. And then you click on promotion tools, and you simply click right here where it says swipes. Nice and easy. You click right here. And then you see today is February 4th. So you'll see get in early on this trend. Here's a, a groove -a if you want to promote the groove -a uh, And then you simply... Take all of this information here and you just click copy just like that. And you put it into your email system, your groove mail or your, you know, whatever, wherever you're mailing from. And that's, that's your swipes. If you want to promote the, uh, the groove -a that's happening now and drop your affiliate link, you can send them right here. And then these are going to disappear tomorrow. They won't be here anymore. We're going to deactivate them. And then you'll see this is your swipe. Or if you want to preload February 5th for tomorrow and preload February 6th, you can do that right now. OK, and so you have other different swipes as well that that are up here. Uh, here's February 7th. Um, in fact, that if that's. This is not launch focus, all of these. So what I'm going to do with this February 7th, let me just show you what, I, what I'm going to do, because I can see that was just added. So whoops, went into the wrong place here. So I'm going to go into Groove Cell. Now, remember, this isn't a position that I'm not happy with because we're focusing on the launch here, February 4th, 5th, 6th, and then all of these uh, legacy ones that are not launch focused. Um, in fact, I might even deactivate them and then talk to Donna and she'll say, no, I still want them up there. No, I'm going to leave them. I don't want to mess up anything. Um, but I'll talk with her about maybe deactivating and let her do it if she wants to. So I'm going to go into uh, our promotion tools which I believe, maingroove.cm. Let me see if this is it. <clears throat> oh. oh, no wonder why. 
I'm a knucklehead. I'm in checkouts. I have to go to the affi affiliate portals and tools here. Okay. I was doing checkouts. All right. So here's the main uh, groove one. I'm going to click the edit button here. And as you can see, we have um, all of these. These This is live, right? So this will mimic what's live. And this is us in the dashboard. So I'm going to take this one right here. I'm just going to click and drag it right over. Let's see. Right over to here. So we have 24, 24, 25, 26, 27. And if I wanted to deactivate any of these that say like not launch focused, I can just deactivate it temporarily without having to delete it and then reactivate it. Uh, and then they won't show. So I'm going to uh, check with Donna to see if she wants to deactivate some of these so that we, all, we don't have to say not launch focus and we don't have all of these things uh, distracting you. But now that you see that I up, up, um, updated that, if I refresh this page, We'll let this load. It's taking a little time to load because it has to load all the other videos on the page. <clears throat> all right. And now I go to the swipes where, where you will go. And you're going to see we now have the 2.7 move from here because I dragged it in my panel. So this is your webinar. This is your Groovathon. Tomorrow's webinar. Uh, and there's no more Groovathon. So uh, this will be 2.6 and 2.7. And then you're going to see more, more tools as we continue to write swipes for you. Again, if you want the raw text, you can go here without the HTML, <clears throat> okay? And if you want it with all of the HTML, you simply just click here and you'll notice we have your affiliate link already uh, included here and we have it here. <clears throat> now I'm gonna get with the team. I, 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 don't, I don't like that this register now is not a blue hyperlink. That should definitely be blue um, without a doubt. Uh, that should be boom, but there'll be a link here as well. Anyway, that's me just uh, uh, communicating with uh, with myself to communicate with my team. So I'm going to now pop this out of the stream here. And now you know how to get your, your swipes. We'll add David back to the stream. And we're going to get started with uh, with today's show. Exactly. Actually, Mike, uh, you just mentioned you want to talk about the, the database, the migration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we are moving um, to a new um, a new enterprise level data uh, database. So essentially, um, you know, there's uh, there's different types of databases. There's the free open source databases like um, MySQL or MySQL, um, depending how people say it. And then there's enterprise level databases, some companies like Oracle and different things like that. So uh, what we're doing is you're seeing when I say, hey, let's wait for that to load or uh, the videos, you know, maybe not loading quite as fast as we want, which is important for direct response. Or when I go and I show my affiliates um, and that page takes about eight seconds to load, because like I said, we have almost 100 affiliates. Yours will load instantly like most pages in the app. But you're going to see the app loading. I don't want to say Google ask, but like, you know, Google's on these major enterprise services, a uh, server. So we're moving our entire uh, application today over to enterprise service servers. Um, uh, I put a little thing in there, you know, uh, with my team today. I said, did we really have to do this on the first day of the launch and on a Groovathon? We couldn't have done this, you know, overnight on a, on a Saturday or a Sunday um, because we're going to be having a lot of new people coming into the app today. And then so when that happens, here's what you're going to see because it's it's rebuilding the entire um, the entire platform. Uh, one module at a time. So you might even see something with a little bit of downtime. So if you see something with downtime, don't go to the help desk. Come back five minutes later, that module was rebuilt. Uh, but if we take a look, for instance, and we go to Groove Pages. Now, this may not be the case right now, but I, but I checked about uh, two minutes before we went live. And when I clicked on New Site, yeah, the template library hasn't been built yet. So you have uh, no templates. You have the complete sites. You have the funnels. You have the webinars. You have the My Templates. But we don't have, um, oh, here they are. You have to click on single pages. No, so let me clarify it. this a little yes. bit, Mike. So we're not moving yeah. the whole app. It's just Groove Pages at the moment. So the Groove oh, Pages. And I thought Unroop said um, um, Groove Cell as well. Uh, group, maybe Groove Cell, certain part of it, like affiliates or transactions or something. But it's mainly uh, going to be visible for the users in Groove Pages. What we are doing is basically move to a oh, much look. faster. Look server. at this; it just rebuilt. Look at that; it just rebuilt, as I said. Uh, so, so now, yeah, 
the migration is still going on for pages. The sites were brought back, so you will be able to click on your site. But when you click in there, it might happen that it says, we're migrating your pages, please wait a minute, and then it disappears and reloads and your pages are in there. So your sites were automatically migrated by us. But the pages, yeah, see? you see this one, she, six pages are being migrated, it reloads, and now we basically migrated over all your pages and now it's moving faster than ever and and that's basically it so um the whole groove pages experience will be will be faster so the templates are still being migrated the single pages have loaded but just a couple of them we're still loading all of the uh all of the the remaining ones as well so yeah that's the story we have a much faster platform right now um I can I can even say that we'll be able to compare it to to some of the competitors in terms of platform speed and win like almost every time. I can't wait to see this. So guys, one more thing that David and I want to tell you, uh, and this is unfortunate, uh, but here's the fix. It's unfortunate for the people that will never get this message. Uh, we told you that inside of your site, when you um, if you've ever seen me open up a, 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 my editor right from the browser, right from looking at a website, you go here and you click on uh, instant edit bookmark, bookmarklet, and it shows you how you can download this thing and add it to Google Chrome like I have right here. Meaning that when I'm at MikePhilSame.com, <clears throat> literally in my browser, if I see a typo, right, um, I can just click edit groove page. And it'll open this up in a browser. The only thing is this no longer works, I believe. Let me see. See, because we built, rebuilt our link structure as well. So what I'm told, and we'll see this happening right now, is that I need to actually um, go into MikeFilsame.com. right here, open this page in the editor. Let's find if this works. We're gonna find out live right now. It's rebuilding the site and the page indexes now, which it needs. Let's just make sure uh, if there's any other pages here. I don't think I have anything else. It's a one pager, nice and easy. So I'm just gonna republish this page here like this, or I can do the whole website, but there wasn't that much. So now when I, let's just close this and see if we get uh, lucky. I'm gonna go back to MikeFilsame.com reload the page on the interwebs, let it fully load here, and click edit groove page. Fingers crossed, this may not work. I'm setting this up because I haven't double checked it yet, but this is what I was told to do. Error parsing product, yeah. So um, maybe, maybe this page isn't even live. I should have put something here to see like changing the color. Uh, to see if the new update page. But essentially, folks, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to republish uh, your websites, and then the, your, your bookmarklet should start working. All right. But um, even right now, we're still working on it. Don't worry. We're going to get this, uh, this fixed for you. But the bottom line is we're optimizing. And sometimes when you do that, you go back and uh, any of your sites that are live will be no issues. But it's really going to be a good idea for you. I, what I would say is come back tomorrow and just pull your sites back into the builder and republish them. That's your best bet. All right, we're gonna shut off my screen here, David. And uh, I still got both cameras in the screen. How do I How do I stop my second screen? Uh, let me see here. You can just remove it. I guess it go to through. camera and mic. <clears throat> Extra camera settings. Anyway, so I think um, everybody will be happy with the current deployment. Uh, another cool thing that just went live uh, that Mike and me were talking about and we were like kids super excited. Previously, when you dragged in an element, it, it loaded the whole page. You couldn't see anything. But now you can just bring in all of your elements at the same time. There's no loading. There's no nothing. It still uh, briefly happens when, it, when you bring in a block. So the block will load, but everything else will be kind of visible on the page. So it's pretty Let, cool. I'm uh, going to demo that for them uh, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, a, that's a big one. It's a really big push that, uh, that we, we, we put live today. So let's just do that in MikeFilsame.com. So you see how the, the, the page is reloading? I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller here. All right, so you know when you would grab a block, right? If I wanted to put a countdown timer on, on the page and I wanted to put it, let's say, um, right above the About Mike, when you would drop it to the page, the whole page would refresh to build it. 
So now when I drag this over, watch what happens when I drag it over. The page isn't refreshing here. Uh, the, the countdown timer block just goes in without having to refresh the entire page, uh, which is nice. Uh, another thing that we've done is the same thing here with the button. If I click on the register now button, and let's just say that uh, I want to link this, let's just say to HTTP prove.cm. When I click update, the whole palette would refresh. Now, when I click update, it's going to just restyle uh, the button for a second and then pop it back in just like that. And we're going to optimize that so you don't actually see that animation go. But the bottom line is the whole page didn't have to refresh, which is better for the browser and the memory in the browser and your computer and your, your fan not having to go off because the, the browser is doing all this extra work. So those are some pretty cool settings that we have uh, going on uh, as well. Uh, let's also talk about one, uh, one last thing here as well. <clears throat> You'll notice that when you would go into something like this, right, and I click on it, and if I wanted to link this to something like groove.tm that I've visited before, and I hit save, you're noticing it turns blue, which is Google Chrome's default setting to tell you that you visited a, a, a link or a hyperlink or whatever the case is, and you may not want you know all of that that stuff to happen right there. Well, you have this new feature now, brand new, that you can go into the body block right here, and this means for now for your entire page, you can set um, the default color for all texts. Uh, and all these different settings that you now have. Uh, a, a, an actual background for the body can now be done. We didn't have that before. And this one right here, uh, visited links. Um, and I'll have to play around with this. I'm not exactly sure, but you can have all of your visited links. I'm just going to have them. What color was that back there? It was white. So I'm just going to have my visited links uh, stay white. I'm going to have my uh, my hover focus, I think that's good. And so now I believe uh, down here, you'll see that my visited links are no longer being hijacked by Chrome and wanting to turn them purple. All right. So if you've ever had that, that problem when you had like either a text link or an actual um, uh, um, paragraph text and you highlighted it to a URL, Chrome was like, oh, you visited this URL and it hijacked our builder and it, it gave it that purple underlined I've been to this link before, and uh, I'm seeing that some of you are, are uh, saying that you're excited about some of this stuff uh, here. Kathy says, sweet, yeah. And so th this was always something that we used to have to go into, hack the, 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 the style sheet and all these different things. And now with the body block, you have these additional settings, which are pretty cool. So those are some major updates that the builder will now build a little bit uh, faster. And um, you can drag elements without having to republish the page. We updated the, the database and we have a body block set settings and a page background and things like that. There was actually more updates. Um, some of them are just optimizations, but those are the ones that we wanted to go over with you today. And that brings us now to the 29 minute mark. So a half hour of getting of getting started and updates. And now, David, I'm going to turn it over to you uh, so that we could uh, go over uh, Groove Webinar and jump right in. Oh yeah, so absolutely. It's it's not only Groove pages that received deployments. It, it, there's Groove Cart. You heard it yesterday from uh, from uh, Jay Hong Garcia. Uh, so John Garcia and Frank Salinas. If Groove Cart received major updates as well, Groove Cart affiliate program is now live. We demoed it yesterday. Um, Groove member got updates. Groove webinar got huge updates. I'm going to talk about that. But all in all, I'm going to create announcement videos that will be going into the dashboard so you are not missing anything. There will be lists of things that went live so you are uh, aware of all the changes that actually uh, are happening with Groove. But I think we are ready to go in and then kind of look at Groove webinar. Groove webinar has been getting prepared for, for a long time now, but I can... I can easily and comfortably say that it's 
at the stage where you can you can comfortably sit down, set up a webinar in a couple of seconds, and just let it all to play because, of course, it's an automated webinar platform. So I would say, let's just jump in and then let's have a look how it looks like. So I'm going to actually let, not let me show do... one thing here just for Lisa Cosby. She sure. says at Donna Fox, who I don't think is the right person uh, for this. Donna's the the CMO of the company, and I don't even know uh, if she's in here, if she's chatted. But uh, you gave a shout out, Donna. I have a question about migrating my info to Shopify. You'd want to reach out to support. Just go to GrooveSupport.net, and that's the best place to get support, and we can help you right there. All righty. So let's begin Groove webinar. Go ahead, David. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna bounce out here, and I'll be in the lobby. Thanks. All right. Perfect. Thanks, Mike. So yeah, let me just jump into the platform we all love, and this is Groove. So I'm going to jump in very quickly and explain what Groove Webinar is and how you can use it and how to actually set it up. First, I'm going to just remove my name from here, which is, here we go. So we don't have anything on the screen. All right. So um, this is the dashboard of Groove, and you can find Groove Webinar over here in the right-hand side corner. We have put it on the dashboard so everybody can see it. You can also access it from the menus on, on this side, Groove Webinar, or from the, the G icon on the top, and then you go to Groove Webinar. At this moment, Groove Webinar, when we mention it, we talk about Groove Webinar automated. So we're first going to finalize the automated platform because it's much easier to work with. Because once we set it up, it's basically a video that you get from your Groove Video Library, that you get from YouTube, and then you can play it as an automated webinar. People will register, uh, they will wait for the actual time to come, and then they will watch the webinar in an experience like it is live, like you are actually saying, welcome everybody, thank you very much for having, uh, for joining us today. Oh, look at the chat, it's blowing up. And, and it's basically, they're going to see the webinar like it's, an, like it's a live environment. And this is what we wanted to set up first. It's easier to set this up, an automated webinar than a live webinar. And once we actually do this, it's going to be very easy for us to, to create the streaming uh, capability. So it's not a video that is getting uh, played for the users, for the visitors, but it's the actual live stream. So that's where we are right now. So what you're seeing is the webinar dashboard and you have some links on the side. We're going to go through this uh, very briefly. Um, for the webinars to get created, you basically click on the webinars. So you can see the, the webinars that you have created so far and that you were invited to. You were maybe invited as a host or a moderator or, or, or something else. This will be more uh, for, for managing an automated webinar and also very useful for when you are uh, doing a live webinar later down the line so you can be a participant, a moderator, or, or, or something like that. Surveys. We have surveys in the webinar. These are small surveys that you can pop up within the within the automated webinar or live webinar uh, itself. It's pretty simple to create it. You click create a survey. You add a survey name, add a survey description so that you know yourself what it is about. Like, are you... I'm just going to use the same question in the description. Are you new to Groove? And I'm going to use the same for the description as well. Let me just zoom in. And then I'm going to add questions. So the questions will be, are you new to Groove? And you can put an optional description and then you can put in um, question types. Do you want a poll with one answer? Poll with multiple answer, question for short answer, question for long answer. So if you want uh, people to click, yes, I am, or no, I am not, uh, you can put in the polls, but you can also ask questions basically so that the users can type in their messages. In this one, I'm just going to do a poll with one answer, the one correct answer. And I'm going to, uh, yes, brand spanking new. And then the other will be a nope, um, an original Groovester. <laughs> Maybe the S is small. All right, you can add more more option on here just by clicking the, the add option on on the screen. And then once you click save, you have created a survey, which is just very simple. 
So uh, once you're done, you click save and that will bump you back to the surveys screen. So that's basically it. Poll, you can actually do polls as well. Uh, polls and surveys are for different reasons. Survey is for receiving the information um, to kind of have it for marketing purposes. You can ask longer questions. You can ask uh, questions that require full answer, like what did you think about our offer? And then it's basically a, a survey where they can fill out the, the questions. But you can also create polls, which is just something that uh, will analytically be able to, uh, to show, like visually show, how many people answered uh, option A or option B, for example? Like, have you signed up for a free Groove account? Uh, sorry, a free account at Groove CM, and then it will show up like this. So the option A is yes, option B is no, and then you will you will see the percentages. You can also set up fake percentages if you want, um, and you can also decide if you want to show the poll at the end of the stream with those fake percentages. So it's pretty simple to do. You can also use the live percentages from your webinar, but you could also manage that yourself and, a little, and change it a little bit so that you get the outcome that you actually want. All right. Presenters. Presenter is pretty cool because uh, people will be able to know who is going to be doing the live, uh, the, the actual webinar. Would it be Simon, Mike, uh, myself, Donna Fox? You can set up the presenters from the webinar screen, and I'm going to show that in a moment. And then you'll be able to go into your analytics, see which webinar did uh, kind of what session, uh, which, which webinar stream did good, which didn't do good. You will be able to see all of the... Uh, all of the analytics, the statistics, how many people uh, participated in chat and clicked on the offer and things like that. So it's it's very cool. It's a beautiful uh, analytics dashboard and that is already working great. Um, also notifications, you'll be able to see uh, the registration emails or SMSs that you sent out, um, how many were sent, how many were opened, how many were are clicked. And you can also click on the refresh button and then uh, or basically the reset button and reset it. Like, for example, if you were testing it yourself uh, and you want to kind of just restart it so that uh, for your real webinar launch, it's not showing you the statistics for that you were uh, testing before, and you can just reset all of these and then kind of go with a blank slate. Um, you'll be able to see your registrants and attendees. Um, you'll be able to select which session exactly you want to check. You can select the dates and then see those names, emails, and all of the other uh, things that are related. And if I just move away from the camera, you can also export that information to a CSV and then use it somewhere else, maybe upload it to your email marketing service, um, which may not be GrooveMail. All right, so that's basically the analytics tab. And then you have some settings here. You can create your canned responses. And let me tell you why canned responses are good. Canned responses are pretty cool because um, once you're moderating a webinar, you don't really want to say um, say something repeatedly like, yes, there will be a replay. You will be receiving an email after the webinar ends or something like that. This is a very frequently asked questions. If you were ever on webinars or if you attended the live stream, um, people are asking about replays. You can create these canned responses, which will be... Uh, um, uh, yes, there will be a webinar replay available available uh, immediately after the webinar ends. For example, you click the save and there's your canned response. You can use it, uh, you can modify it, you can delete it. And basically you don't have to write uh, write all of these words out to each and every person that asks, will there be a webinar? So, which is pretty cool. And that's basically it. We now went through all of the left-hand side panel and now we can go into the uh, to the meat of the platform, which is setting up an, uh, an, uh, a webinar. And this is where the magic happens. So we have a couple of webinars over here, but I wanted to go through very quickly, show you uh, how to do it yourself. Currently, we 
support automated webinars, but there will be more types as you can see uh, later on. And I will be explaining when these will be available. So let's just go through the automated webinar setup and then we can talk about the future apps. So the first step in a webinar is to actually name your webinar. So let's just give it a name like um, Groovathon. Let's just do this, Groovathon. Um, I don't know, future apps, uh, webinar, something like that. Uh, webinar description, um, this is a webinar where users can find out all about the future apps Groove will make available real soon. Okay, you if you are uh, using uh, the Brazilian version of Groove, you'll be able to change the dashboard uh, and the uh, and the language settings to Portuguese, and there will be more languages later on. You can also set up your featured image, which is the featured image that shows when you go into your webinar screen. So this is not used for anything else except for yourself to be able to recognize the webinar. Like this is a featured image, this is a featured image, and all of these are featured images. So you can upload a featured image from the from the shared library, or you can upload it uh, from your computer. And I'm going to upload this one real quick and select it. And now this is my featured image. And that's basically the step number one when setting up your webinar. Step number two, very logical, select your video. Would you like to have a video from your Groove video library? And it is actually loading now the videos from your library. Or would you like to upload a new video? Okay, so you can do a video up to five gigabytes file size. You can upload it from your, uh, from your computer, but I'm just going to select uh, something like this. And then you can set up the duration of the, of the video itself so that, um, so that the tracking happens uh, properly. Sometimes when you select a Groove video, it actually recognizes automatically the length of the, of the video, as you can see here. In certain cases, it does not recognize. It may be a YouTube video that is uh, added into your Groove video library. It does not recognize some of those, so you can add it manually and correct it if something is wrong. All right, so now we have that set up. We go to the third screen, which is the presenters. And here you can add your presenters. If you added them previously, they will be all showing up here. But in case you haven't yet, then you can create a new one. And I'm actually going to add a new one, which uh, I can do by clicking over here and clicking Add New Presenter. So David um, Lemon, and I'm going to use my email address, david at groovedigital.com. And, um, and I'm going to set myself up as host. And then you can do a presenter bio like uh, David Lemon is the product experience manager at Groove Digital. Real short bio. And then you can select an image or upload an image. I'm not sure if I have an image on here. Oh, oh there we go. Great. There's my image, it's pretty large, it's almost eight megabytes. Uh, let me just make it smaller, just so that we don't overload the, the system. I believe a, a 350 image is more than enough in this case. So I'll click Update Dimensions. I will click off of the image, click back on just so that uh, it selects the new version. And there we go, so now we have 163 kilobytes image. Once I'm done, I click Add. And there we have my beautiful face. And if I need to do any kind of modifications, I can just click on the on the pencil icon and then uh, do those necessary changes. All right, now we have a presenter. I'm going to go save and next and set up the schedule. So this is where you can go funky. You can create all sorts of different schedules. We have different types, recurring, which means that like this is for an automated webinar, you can create uh, recurring schedules every Monday, uh, three times a day, or um, every Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, um, every 15 minutes, for example. You can create all sorts of different schedules uh, with, uh, 
with these settings and you can create also one time like you're really doing a, a last minute offer a webinar and never ever again the same offer is going to happen you can create that one time webinar and then uh, schedule it over here so let's just quickly set up a recurring um, recurring webinar this is what most of you guys will be doing where um, where you're using an automated webinar platform, you'll be setting up a recurring webinar and then kind of having people register for it as they come into your business and you'll be able to upsell them or kind of introduce them to your offer and sell them on what you are having, uh, sell them on your offer uh, like it's a live environment. That's how automated webinars are mostly, mostly used for. So you can set up how it repeats every day sunday monday tuesday da 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 every weekdays every weekend um i would just set it up as every monday every monday we are going to do this uh future app uh webinar for people that come in for example um okay so you can set up the time let's just do 6 p.m the user's time uh the user's own time zone or you can select your own time zone so i'm going to set up 6 p.m in my time zone which is um which is not this one. So I'm going to find my time zone, which is in Europe. I'll have to scroll a little bit lower. You can also type in to search for it. Um, but I just don't know how it's called. So I'm just going to scroll down. Um, so it, it's GMT plus one, I believe. Yeah, here we go. So this is my time zone. You can also set it up in user's time zone, but it's just easier for me to kind of understand when the webinar is happening. Uh, recurring time in a day, once a day, every two hours, every three hours, four hours. I'm just going to do it, uh, I don't know, every, once a day. You can create your own schedules as you wish, and you can add multiple schedules just by adding it to the table below. So I'm going to show you that. So when it does it start, it starts today and it ends on a certain date or it never ends. I'm, good, I'm just going to set up it never ends. Every Monday from today until uh, until time knows when it's going to show. Um, all right, that's it. We now added it. We now have it here in the table. You can delete it. It's a button behind me. You can delete it from the, from the schedule or you can add new ones. So let's just do one that is fitting us right now. So every day at 6 p.m. user's time zone, every hour starting from today until the end of this month, which is 28 days, ladies and gentlemen. February is short, so make the best of it. And then that's the recurring schedules. As you see, it has been added into the table down below, and then you can now see all of the recurring schedules. If you are setting up a one-time schedule, it will have its own table at the bottom of the bottom of the screen. Um, so yeah, you can set up a one-time schedule, which is going to be very similar without all of those funky options. So let's just set it up for today. There we go. It has been added into the into the stream. Now, schedule settings. This is something that you would probably need to uh, go and play with yourself to optimize the, the schedules uh, that work best for you based on the analytics. So uh, allow instant watch replay. This is not probably useful for an automated webinar. You could use it, but, uh, but if somebody missed an automated webinar, they could, just, uh, they could just see it next time as well. You could do it, but there will be probably emails being sent out to them from your side your side to kind of get and actually watch the watch the webinar allow late attendance you can turn this on insertion point i could just set it up to from from one and from the first minute until the 30 minutes you can allow people to enter uh our video is two hours long almost three hours long so it the users have 30 minutes. The first 30 minutes will allow them to enter. And if they have uh, they have decided to join after those 30 minutes have passed, they won't be able to enter. It will say, uh, sorry, you're late for the webinar. Uh, please register for a different, uh, different time or for another session. Enable just-in-time options. You can turn this on so that uh, whenever the user comes to a registration page, they are offered uh, a webinar 
in the next 15 minutes. So they are still engaged. They still want to do it. They will wait for these 15 minutes. Anticipation will be high and they will wait out these 15 minutes. You most probably did that yourself as well in the, in the past. I myself, I am doing that all the time. Uh, that's that's working really really well this alone converts a lot of visitors so you want to use enable just in time option you can set it up every 15 minutes every half an hour or every hour and then you can set up in user's own time zone i would just suggest leaving that as it is and then you can also turn on nine time schedules for example um you know in what time zone you are and people won't believe if you are kind of uh, doing a webinar at 3 a.m. in the morning. So that just doesn't make sense. So you can set up a, a nighttime schedule from time till time when you won't be doing, when you won't be streaming a, an automated webinar so it looks more lifelike. People believe it. Okay, I know that Dave is not up at 3 a.m. in the in the morning doing webinars, which is actually not correct. I am sometimes, but um, you may not be. So display schedules, how many schedules you would like to see, and you can decide the you can decide that yourself. Display the three schedules, and you can also turn on a block short-term registration. But in case you have enabled just-in-time option, as it says here, uh, block the registration will be disabled when just in time mode is enabled so it's either just in time or block short term registrations which is basically almost the same thing but a different way to manage it another cool thing that we have is you could also import holidays in bulk or you can create your holiday or for example you have your uh, your child's birthday and you don't want to create webinars on that day so you can add that date uh, and you can also set up an end date for that one. For example, the next weekend you have a birthday that everybody knows that you will go to, or you have a you have a I don't know uh, you have a summit you're attending, and you want to schedule it so that there is uh, no automated webinars during that time. You can set that up yourself. But you can also it's a very cool feature import holidays for a country like for example my country is croatia so i could scroll down find croatia which is in certain cases called Hrvatska. so it may be the case in here as well um so yeah here we go so this is my country called Hrvatska or croatia so i can add all of those holidays in there and there we go so i don't have to worry about when it's a holiday in my country i'm not doing any webinars goodbye ciao so that's basically it this is for the schedules. You can go in depth. You can explore these yourself. Just test what works best. All right. There we go. So engage your attendees. This is where you can go wild and, uh, and create all sorts of fun, interactive experiences for your customers during an automated webinar. So you can allow them to go full screen. Some people prefer to go full screen. But what we did is when you enable full screen and you enable an offer to show, which I'm going to come in in a very mo in a in just a uh, couple of minutes. So in case you enable full screen and you show an offer, when the offer appears, the full screen will close because we cannot show the offers on the screen when it's basically in a full screen. So this is an, uh, a dynamic thing that happens. Show click for sound illustrations. This is great because a browser doesn't allow autoplay with sound. So you can now come in and select an image from your, uh, from your library and you can just select one from here, like uh, tap to unmute, for example. Let's just use this one uh, for now. It will show tap to unmute and the video will play in the background. So the people will know that they have to kind of click, e click the video to, or click the 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 session to to play the sound you could also display an animation which is going to be kind of click to play on mute it's going to be dancing on the screen so it attracts the people's attention that they need to actually do a certain action i would set it up as huge and then leave it so that people really don't miss it so that's the view experience let's just go into the next session which is polls once you set up polls you'll be you'll be seeing them over here um and you can create new polls as well from this screen. So let's just create a very quick poll. Uh, is this your first experience with Groove? All right. Uh, yes. 
and then you can say no. And you can then do this a fake results, as I mentioned. Um, you can make the results public. If you want, you can put these fake percentages. But if you don't want, you can just, uh, just oh, poll fake results field is required. Okay, so yeah, you would be you would be required. This is 100%. So the option one and option two need to fill 100%. So you can set up 50-50, for example. You can set up, um, you can set, I don't know, 80-20 so that it looks more natural. All right, so there we go. We created a poll. You can enable the start time, when to show that poll. Like I want to set it up at one minute mark, for example, just because, and end it at the two minute mark. All right, let's just do it at five minutes so that we have it a little bit longer. Let's click add. Once it shows here inside the, the table, then you know that you have it set up. If I hide my back, if I hide myself, you can see that there's a there's a, a trash can and also an eye icon that shows up, which will show you the uh, the results and the fake results that you may have set up. Live chat, live chat, and question box is an option you can enable or disable. Um, it could be useful, but it could be hard to manage. In certain cases, when you don't have moderators, where you don't have to where you don't have somebody to kind of moderate all the time. Live chat can be pretty wild. If you've done any kind of live stream or if you visited a, a, any YouTube video or stream uh, on Twitch, for example, live chat is kind of hard to keep control of. So I would highly suggest you have a moderator uh, that could kind of attend those automated webinars and help out. But you can also turn it off. There's another thing that you could do is import live chat so that you can create fake or not maybe fake. But you can import it from a different platform. You can create them yourself as well, uh, which means that you can create these live chat responses. You can import a CSV file. You can download a sample file, how it looks like. Let's just have a look. Um, it's looking like this. So the time, uh, name, role, message, and then it basically uh, shows the message over here. This webinar is insightful. Please repeat the first module again when uh, when the next webinar is scheduled and things like that. So you can create these um, uh, these questions. You can upload them into Groove Webinar, and the, that will be kind of putting in all those uh, questions on time. But you can also create them yourself here manually within this form. With is uh, which is just like you create them manually. Like at at one minute mark, I want um, Joe Holiday, which is just an attendee, to put in a chat. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. If I could write. I believe this is how it's typed in, but all right. Three exclamation marks and then add. So there's a table that shows up with all of those manually inputted uh, live chat modules. And then you can just create the responses yourself. Question box. Question box is something that is more for support type of things. Let me just close the live chat. Um, question box is when you have... Um, when you have people that require your support, uh, like I just purchased, but uh, I cannot access the, the, I don't know, the software, the, the, the offer, uh, or uh, can I pay in multiple installments, for example, or things like that, that require a little bit more attention specifically to that one customer. You can set up a question box and you can add an email address over here, like uh, david at groove digital.com and then the actual responses will be sent to this one i'm going to instruct my uh, team to actually enable multiple email addresses here so that you can kind of send it to your team to the moderators or whoever is uh, whoever is doing this uh, whoever will be replying like maybe support at uh, groovedigital.com would be kind of multiple people at the same time uh, so you could do that yourself as well but yeah, there we go. So I have a question box and a live chat enabled. So let's just go on to the next thing. User chat. A user chat is something that is an actual live chat that was put in by an, an attendee. At this moment, I don't have any because this was not 
uh, yet launched. This webinar was not yet launched. But for example, when we when we have the webinar played first time, the real user chat experience will basically show the messages over here. Attendees, you can manage the attendees so it looks it looks like the people are not there by themselves. For example, if you um, if you have just 10 registrants on your webinar, for example, you know that people, if they see that there is only 10 people um, watching the webinar, they will not feel comfortable. They will feel that, oh my God, I just don't want to be kind of one of those first people that is testing things out. So you can you can kind of fake it. You can create um, you can create um, attendance, like the numbers to show that there's a lot of people coming in and out. So peak attendance is when the when you want to have the top people in there. So how many how many people you want at the peak of your webinar? Like uh, like when when is the best best time to be on your webinar, how many people you want there. Like for example, 287 people on at the I don't know at the 18 minute mark. All right. So oh sorry, this is eight hours and minutes. So you can see it hours and minutes. I'll instruct the team to add it here as well. Hours and minutes. So it's basically at one hour one hour I don't know 21 minutes. All right. So at at this one hour 21 minutes we will have 287 people when is it going to kind of um uh, kind of level out the margin percentage so you can set up um oh sorry this is how many people will be coming in and co coming out so when is the what is the margin of people kind of going in and out um let's just say around 15 people or 20 people coming in and out and that's the decline time where you say, oops, again, this is hours. And then I'm just going to do this. This is minutes. And then the minimum attendees, like it won't show uh, less than X amount of people. Let's just say 123. All right. So this is kind of, you can play with a number of people within the webinar itself. Sticky messages. Sticky messages are cool because if you want to say like, um, if, if you want to create a, a notification, everybody sees um, at a certain time during the webinar, then you can set these up yourself. It will show over here a preview of how it looks like. So let's just set up a, a sticky uh, message, which is going to be for two minutes, which will say, uh, welcome, everybody. We're starting in a minute or something like that. Right? In a minute. It will it will show it nicely. It won't, it won't show it like this. But yeah, now you can create multiple uh these notifications and it will show up within the within the webinar. Featured comments, you can actually take the comments and then kind of uh feature them out. It's similar to the user chat, but it's basically going to be um it's going to be showing within the, the the visible video player. So it's not going to be in the chat or the questions. It's going to be visible inside the actual video experience. So let's just set one up very quickly just so that we can see how it looks like. And duration in seconds, like create, let's create it for 10 seconds. It's going to be from, uh, from Donna Fox. Or it's actually not Donna Fox. The video we selected is Donna Fox presenting. Let's just say Mike feels same. He will say, Donna, you're killing it. Something like this. All right. Uh, when you're running automated webinars, make sure that the actual comments uh, go along with the, uh, with the presentation of what you're talking about within the video. All right. Offers. We made huge updates to the offer section. I'm going to show you why. Uh, maybe you don't see all of those changes here, but I'm going to show you in the next couple of steps. Offers got a full remake, and I just want to kind of brag about that today. So you can start an offer. Let's just do it at the five-minute mark. And when to end offer, let's just end it at the 10-minute mark. And then maybe show until the webinar ends, because if you 
present an offer, then you want to keep it as long as you can just so that people click on it and don't miss it. So name of the offer is the Groove Lifetime Deal. Okay. Offer headline, which is uh, get it lifetime deal is going away. Get it today. Or maybe let's just do as a CTA. You really will not have another chance to get this offer. And then you can put in get it now as the text inside the button. And you can set up the offer link, which is going to be HTTPS column forward slash forward slash groove.cm uh, forward slash upgrade. All right, so let's just put in an offer image and we can say that Groove is going to be represented by I'm just going to find an image real quick. Let's just work with this one and get it now. And if you want to actually display the price, how much does it cost? You can do that. And uh, you can also decide to show the offer link in the chat. So you can create a sticky offer or a scrolling offer. Now, a sticky offer is going to look like this. Let me just quickly show you a, a, a screenshot, which I was sent by the team earlier today. So let me just quickly find it. Do, 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 do. Where is the... Hold on. Okay, I have it here. So uh, you can see it here. I will move away. So this is a sticky offer, which is here on the right hand side. It will it will show a countdown timer. It will show the title, the text below. It will show the price and the call to action. Then the chat will show up here. So the sticky offer will be like this. But if you want, you can also create a scrollable offer, which will show as a chat comment so you can you don't have to put it uh, sticky on top and then the chat below you can put it as a part of the chat itself so let's just say every 10 uh, chat messages show my offer or every 25 chat messages show my offer so you can set that up you can do a sticky offer at the top of the right hand side screen or you can do a scrolling offer which will show after every 25 comments, for example. You can display the image, display the counter. You can select those if you want and have that added. You can create multiple offers and show them differently. For example, you can see the table below. This was for the lifetime offer. Uh, we show it at the at the five minute mark, mark and there is no end time. But you could do another offer, which may be also the same offer, but displayed differently. So if you want to create uh, an offer that scrolls, or an offer that just sticks to the top at a certain uh, certain time, then you can do that again and uh, add it to the same webinar. So you can do multiple offers, all right? So this is pretty cool. File sharing. If you are creating a webinar where you're giving something away, like yesterday, we were giving away um, Mike's um, webinar control file, which by the way, if you haven't checked out yesterday's webinar, you really should. It was an in-depth into sales marketing, uh, like how people think when shopping and selling. So definitely uh, a must. Go to groovedigital.com forward slash groovathon. You'll be able to find the links for the replay. Okay, so yesterday was Thursday. And we also show the actual files to download. Now, GrooveStream does not have a file download capability, but with our group webinar, we can actually show you a file so that you download it uh, when watching the webinar. Like if we would have done the yesterday's presentation in Groove webinar, we could have just shown a link within the presentation itself. So um, that would be just the that that would be just the best that we could do. 
your files will show up from Groove Member. So in case you up, you want to upload something, you go to Groove Member and up your, upload your files over here. All right. And then it will show over here. I'm going to also instruct our team to go and put in a custom link so that if you have something on your drive, you want to give that away, then that will work as well. So, but for now, let's just see funnel forecast, what if scenario. This was the actual file we were giving away yesterday on the presentation. And let's just show how that looks like. Delay the file. You can delay showing the file within the within the webinar for a certain amount of time. And you can also take it away. So you don't have to, but you can take it away at a certain point in time. I'm just not going to, uh, to do that while we are checking it out. So I'm going to set it up for an hour. There we go. So if you want to modify anything at during any time, you can just click on the edit button or if you want to delete it, just click on the trash can. All right, simulated alerts. This is pretty cool because you can create proof pop-ups that are really fake. So if somebody, uh, if, if you only have five registrants, let's just say five registrants for your automated webinar, you can say when you actually showed the offer, you can say uh, kind of fake alerts we need to show here sales alerts and then maybe put in brackets like uh, simulated. That is showing people will be purchasing it, but you can manage that. You can kind of do um, uh, these simulated alerts as well. So, for example, let's just put it at seven minute mark. Uh, how many seconds it will show? Around seven or eight is usually suggested. Um, mark joiner. Uh, purchased and the product name is groove.cm lifetime deal. All right, so you can add that in and then you have a sales alert. You can create another one at a couple of seconds later. You can create uh, two minutes later. You can just create a lot of these simulated alerts so that it shows that people are buying. This will improve the uh, the trust factor of your offer and your webinar and people will be inclined to buy more. All right, so I started one, I didn't finish it. So I'm just going to cancel it out and move on to embeds. Now, embeds are really cool. This is something we added just recently. You can create an embed and you can name it. Like for example, Groove Cell Embed, or let's just say Groove Cell Proof Pop-Up. All right, which means that you can not only do simulated alerts, you can embed the Groove Cell pop up, which is a proof pop up that we have in Groove Cell, and you can show that whenever you want. So, you want to have a start time of, I don't know, when your live, when your offer goes live, which is around one hour, I don't know, certain mark. For this demonstration, I'm just going to set it up around uh, nine minutes. And then when to end it, you can show it until the webinar ends or you can just set a certain end time. So now you go into your Groove Cell account and you copy over your proof pop-up, which is just, it is just amazing. Gonzalo is asking, is this all available right now? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm showing you is just live. So you can go and do the same thing yourself as well. So let's just go into one of our products. Let's just see something that we may use that we don't break. And let's just see if we can get uh, maybe the links. That's not it. For that's the promo tools. All right, so I want the links. And I believe I will have the links over here. Yes, so, oh, there's the checkout links only. Sorry, guys, I thought we put in the links for the for the proof pop-up as well. So in case you go into a product, you can select the, the product to edit, and on the finish line, you can actually copy over the, uh, the, the proof pop-up code, and which is here. So proof widget, we just copy it over, and we add it to our webinar as an embed code. 
and you can decide if you want to display it on a mobile or not. Mobile devices sometimes are really small, so when a pop-up comes out, it's very annoying, so you may not want to do that. So you can turn it on to display on mobile, but I suggest keeping it off. It's just breaking the experience. But you can create more. Like, for example, you want to show a, a different type of pop-up or you want to do some other type of embed, you can create that experience as well uh, just by adding on embeds. If you don't want any, just delete it from here, and then you are good to go. All right. And then we have, uh, okay, so let me just move back. One thing I forgot, uh, which is the proof widget, which is uh, which is basically the proof widget that we, uh, that we can add on a certain page, like a registration page or a live page. You can uh, decide the, the actual uh, the proof widget to show from a certain funnel in group cell like this one and then you select the product and then the proof pop-up widget will show for group funnels and then you can add that in uh, you decide you decide the, the start time or an end time and that's basically it so this is pretty cool you can create proof widgets on the live stream or the actual stream itself but you can also put proof widgets on the registration pages and the live webinar page as well from here so it's it's not only proof widgets, you can do custom embeds as well. So you can I just showed you two ways to do it. And you can do a simulated alert, so you don't actually have to do any of these. All right, now this was engage your attendees. As I mentioned, this is something where you can go funky with. You don't have to do all of these. You can just do certain things, but it's, it's really, really uh, created to kind of boost your, uh, your webinar uh, experience. Notifications, which is basically connect uh, communication with your registrants or attendees or other people. So email, if you want to turn on uh, notifications with email, you turn it on and then you select an identity, basically sender identity. I'm just going to put in David Lemon's send grid. This is just a test account, so I can kind of play with this. If you want to send SMS notifications, you can turn this on as well and then send out um, SMS notifications from your Twilio account that you connected to Groove Mail. Once you did this, you go to notification alerts and then you manage the different email templates. Like for example, we have default templates that you can edit. Congratulations, you have successfully registered. Here's your link, here's your webinar title and things like that. All of the dynamic variables are here and um, the email will look like this. If you want, you can send a test email to yourself, David at groovedigital.com. Uh, you can send yourself a test email just to check it out how it looks and it will show up in a couple of minutes. Let me just turn this off. We actually had a webinar invitation when when I added myself as a as a host, I received a, not, a notification about that. but this is how the the webinar confirmation looks like. So congratulations, you have successfully registered. The webinar title is Groovathon Future Apps Webinar. This is a webinar where users can find out all about our future apps. Presenter is David Lemon. See you at the webinar. You see, this is how it will look like. You can test yourself uh, the, the templates and you can decide when to send this email upon registration. So this is, uh, this is hard coded. This first email is hard coded, but you can change uh, the subject, the content, and you can test it out from here. All right, so we have a couple of uh, couple of emails that are hard coded, like the welcome message. Um, so you need to have a welcome message. So that's why it's hard coded. In certain cases, emails are not hard coded. So you have instead of the the edit button, you have a plus icon. So you can create pre webinar reminders, like twenty four hours before, twelve hours before, ten minutes before, five minutes before, and things like that. So you can add as many as you want. You just put in here how. Uh, before the webinar, how, how long before the webinar you want to send this out. All right, then you have, um, so pre-webinar reminder, last minute reminders. This is, uh, this is also hard coded. How many minutes before the webinar starts uh, you want to do this? And then you can do multiple emails for, hey, we're live, please join us. Uh, send this email X minutes after the webinar starts. So you can do all of that as well. And you can say, um, here's the replay. Basically, you send it out 
immediately after 24 hours after the webinar ends and you manage all this yourself you can create multiple emails from here that is going to be sent by a group webinar so emails i just explained it but sms alerts are pretty cool as well and sms is getting more opens than emails usually so you may want to turn on sms as well welcome messages you can manage it we we created them ourselves and uh, let me just explain you briefly how we did this when you're sending out notifications with sms there is a certain amount of characters which is 160 characters to be sent in one sms if you go over that uh, character limit it will be sent as two sms's so you may pay more for sending out those sms's and it may not be the experience that your user receives so what we did is we took the 160 character limit and we created a default message a, a pre-written template message for you you could modify it but it's not really needed but the cool thing is that we created a link which is a short link and let me just show you here this Short, co short code for an SMS notification will be like this. grv.cm, okay, so this is the short link, forward slash, one, two, three, four, five characters. So this is basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve characters for the link. This is how your link for the for the webinar will show when you send an email this 12 character limit is already added in within the character count so you don't have to worry about oh my god my link will add on top also we have i believe 35 characters for the title so if your title is um, is larger than 35 characters um it will it will kind of uh show a dot 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 it will not show the full-on title but it has 35 characters for the title it's also incalculated if you do go um, above the character limit then it then it shows you have used 14 characters of 160 your message will be sent in two messages so this is some um, some extra coding that we had to do for for this to be kind of showing and calculating it properly but this is going to really make it easier for you guys to set up your sms's and not forget the sms's because this makes it easier to understand how it's going to be sent out so that you can kind of budget in and then also know how the experience will be if you want you can set uh, send yourself a, a test message for example i'm going to be coming here and typing in uh, a number to, to send um, to send a message uh, it shows you um, how many uh, how many numbers the actual phone number should have to kind of work but it's an invalid phone number so that won't work all right so you have messages for live reminders replay reminders last minute reminders all sorts of things and we don't have anything hard coded for sms so you can add on as many as you'd like uh, just please uh, keep in mind that the email and SMS will be using your sender. It's not going to use uh, Groove's sender. So this needs to be within your own uh, SendGrid account or Twilio accounts uh, for the emails that you send. All right. And now, um, uh, quickly, just to answer a message uh, or a question, does SMS send to any country, Russia, for example? Yes. Uh, Twilio, I believe, sends worldwide. You can create an account and uh, and check for more info there. They have different pricing based on different countries. So if you're sending an SMS to the US, you pay X amount. Uh, but if you're sending to Russia, then you pay another X amount. So check it out. And um, they have a pretty uh, pretty cool pricing. So it's, it's not complex to understand. All right, next thing, notifications. This was the first thing, how to send emails and sms but integrations is very important because how to actually where to put the people that registered so we have put in integrations uh, for GrooveMail, groove member and webhooks there is one more thing coming here in the middle this uh, this is almost done i just requested some changes and this is why it's not done yet which is going to be for active campaign zapier uh, uh mailchimp and basically every integration that is available within the integrations tab let me just check uh over here so if you can add any integrations from here it's going to be available within the next week 
So that, that should have gone uh, live today. I requested a change because that was not what I wanted. And it's going to come in next week. But for now, you can add uh, connections to GrooveMail, GrooveMember, and Webhook, which I'm going to explain what it does. So everybody that registered, you add on a certain list from in GrooveMail, or you tag them a certain way, or you put in a sequence. Same thing for those people that attended. Same thing for those people that did not attend or that completed the webinar. All right, so you can do this. You could also add watch until points. This is very cool. Have a look at this. Everybody that watched until the first 10 minutes. Okay? Watched 10 minutes. So you can click on this one and add them or tag them specifically. So watched 10 minutes. Okay, so everybody that watched until, I don't know, 120 minutes, all right, you can tag those specifically and, and do certain actions based on that. You can do this with GrooveMember as well. For example, if you are giving away a bonus to everybody that watched until the end, then you say everybody that completed, add them to a new membership where they will be basically getting... Um, I don't know, funnels, masterclass, but might feel same on the standard level. That's how easy it is. So you can do bonuses. You can give them access to maybe for a free account if they just registered. If they attended, you give them another level, so another access level. So you can you can do certain ba certain actions based on who stayed until what time, which is just <laughs> um, and it's all integrated with Groove and it works beautifully. So. The next thing is webhooks. So I saw earlier there is a mailer light question. Holly, we don't integrate at this moment. We don't have direct integration with mailer light, but that's not, uh, that does not stop you from integrating it with Groove Webinar. So as you can see, these are the uh, these are the platforms that oops, wrong button. These are the platforms that we integrate with. So we have a Weber Active Campaign, uh, Get Response, uh, Mailchimp, Modic. Uh, and the other ones, but we don't have mailer light. So how to actually do it? So you can use the webhooks. So webhooks are basically uh, integration. The webhook is an integration type that you do through a link. So you could use something like Pably or Integrately or Zapier and use their functionalities. Let me just show you Zapier. Um, you could also use even MailerLite. I don't know if they offer webhooks. Let's just double check. MailerLite webhooks. I'm pretty confident that they have. Here we go. So you, they actually offer you webhooks. So you can get the webhook from them and just add it in over here. So you just add a link and everybody that registered will be sent to the web to the webhook that you give give Webin the Groove webinar from MailerLite, for example. Let me just demonstrate this one from Zapier. It will be easier to understand. So if you have um, Zapier, Publi, Integrately, Integromat, or any basically platform that connects uh, two apps together, you can create a webhook connection, which is over here. Okay, so you select webhook. And what this will do is um, catch a hook. Select catch a hook, click continue. It will give you a link. So you copy this link, you add it in here, and that means that everybody that registered will be sent to this link. And based on that, you can add them to a different platform like Google Sheet or MailerLite, you see? So you can do actions based on that. You can do all sorts of integrations with any platform in the world through webhooks. So that's Pretty cool. You can do this for the people that registered, people that attended, people that didn't attend, people that completed the webinar. You can do also watched until points, which is just like it's I, I, I'm really excited by all this. It may <laughs> it may not be as cool for you, but this is this is next level, guys. All right, so this is integrations. As I mentioned, one thing we are missing is the direct integrations from uh, with the apps that we have connected to Groove directly. Uh, that's going to come next week. Very early next week, uh, it was a small change that I requested, but I told them I don't want to deploy it because, um, because it's just not what I want. 
Okay, so now early next week, we'll have the integrations available here as well. All right, post webinar. Somebody watched your webinar until the end. What happens then? When do you, where do you send them? Do you give them a custom thank you page? So you can select a Groove Pages thank you page. You can select your site. You can select your webinar funnel and you can send them to a webinar or thank you page or an order thank you page or whatever. All right. Or you could do a custom URL. Let's just say you're using Groove Webinar, but you don't want to have your uh, site hosted on, or you don't have your site hosted on Groove Pages. You can just use any website in the world. You can send them to Facebook group. You can send them to your membership uh, login link. You can send them to wherever you want. You could also send them to a survey. All right, here on a survey that we created earlier. Are you new to Groove? And you can also send them to an external uh, link URL. So here we uh, say custom thank you page URL, but here external URL, this is almost the same. Uh, so it does not really matter where you put the link. Let's just send them to our own custom. Uh, so Groove Pages thank you page, that is going to be the best thing. All right. So here, pages. You can create uh, pages for yourself and for your moderators to have all the links on the same place. Like, for example, What's the registration page? Okay, you created a Groove Pages registration page, for example, like let's Groove AI, uh, AI webinar invitation, and then you select the page, webinar registration page, all right? So what's the confirmation page? You can set up default confirmation page, which is a system created page, or you can set up your Groove Pages custom registration page, or thank you confirmation page. So here we go, uh, which is webinar confirmation page, okay? Now, you can also set up a replay page, or you can just leave it on a default replay page. Let me just switch back to default, and then you can set up an upsell page. If you have an upsell, uh, this will be actually uh, working. Uh, this At this moment, the upsell page does not have... Um, does not have not have a huge function, but this will be uh, within the next couple of months. We are going to be bumping this up so that it it actually um, has a lot of different functionalities that you don't have with different apps. Uh, more on that later on. But in case you want to add some more uh, links to your moderators participants, you can add them on here, and they will have all the links available to them on one place. All right, so. I'm just going to do this and then move on. And here is what we are working on for the past couple of weeks. And this is the customizations. So we now have brand customizations. You set up your primary and secondary color. I will, I'm going to ask the team to move this as a step number one. This is where you set up global changes, global colors, global uh, primary color. Let's just do it as yellow and grow global secondary color, which is uh, which is black. This means that the button color will be uh, yellow, but the text will be black. You can also set up a favicon. And I'm just going to upload uh, something as a favicon. Let me just choose one of these images as a favicon. It does not really matter for the moment for this demo. But then you can go into form customizations, which you can set up as a one-step registration or multi-step registration. So you can see all of the information that is getting asked. Select a date, select a time zone, put in your first name, last name, email, and the things like that. Or if you want a multi-step registration, then you can scroll to the different sections and see how we will ask the people to, to kind of register for it, which is pretty cool, right? So, uh, all right. So let's just go on to, to set up a one-step registration form. You can set up uh, different fields. Do you want to ask for a last name or not? Uh, asking for less details kind of uh, makes the form higher converting. But in certain cases, you don't want more people. You want higher quality people. So then you ask for the, for more details, and then you kind of have more information to work with later on. Let's just say if you ask for a last name, you can then address people later on as Mr. or Mrs. Garcia or Mr. or Mrs. Smith, for example. Phone number. If you are doing SMS campaigns, phone number is kind of needed. So you can toggle it on or off. But 
if you want, you can turn on certain uh, certain elements, like would you like to receive a text reminder 15 minutes before the webinar starts. You can toggle it on by default or toggle it off by default. So for these, GDPR and uh, future communications, you cannot turn this on. This will be decided by the user itself, the users themselves. So let's just select the form customizations, like the primary color and the secondary color. And as you can see, this changes. If you would change it to the multi-step, then it changes on, on the other steps as well. So you don't have to worry about those. You can also set up a custom logo for the registration page in case you have it. Um, let me just set up something right now. Maybe this one. It's actually pretty, uh, it's Groove CM, but the CM is white. So uh, it may not look good, but I'm just going to use it anyways. All right, my form is good. I set it up. I set it up as one step registration form. Let's just go on. There are different widgets that you could use. You can create a button, which when clicked, it will show up a pop-up with a form. So you can also create these uh, customizations for your button. Like, for example, how uh, you would like the background to look like, the text to look like, and if you want a border or not. I think this looks great. What this will do is it will give you an embed code. So even if you're on WordPress, you can just bring over a button and then have people register automatically for a Groove webinar, which is pretty cool. You can select the button size and you can select the button shape, rounded or square. Um, change the button text, register now. I'm going to leave it like this. And then you can do the offer customizations. This is where we created our offer in the earlier step. Now you can see how it looks like. Border color, back, button background color, uh, button text color, button uh, border color, all sorts of different things. So let's just set something like um, some grayish for a border. For a button background color, I'm going to set up the yellow. Button text color, I'm going to set up the black. And the button border color, I don't want any. All right, and the button border, none. All right, video overlay settings, uh, background color. I just don't want any of these. All right, so that's basically it. We will need to have some uh, changes for, for the text itself. And I don't think this was added. I will need to ask the team to do that. But yeah, you, you can see how it's going to look like over here. All right, and then um, I, the brand customizations we already did. Not sure why it actually showed an error, but that just came live yesterday. So uh, this is very new. Let's just see if this saved. Yeah, all of this was saved except the last. So let's just do this one more time. Button background color, button text color. And I don't want any border. And that's basically it. All right, save and next. Congratulations, we have set up the webinar. Now this could be done much quicker. I just went through every step and then turned it on, explained it and things like that. You can see the default hosted page, like this is how the webinar registration uh, will look like if you want us to kind of do the registration. So this will be your logo, this will be the title. You can see the webinar host, we display three schedules. We allow people to convert the time zone, and then we show when the webinar will start. Let's actually register for this one. The form is a one-step form, which shows up, and then it looks like this. You uh, decide the time zone. It actually geo-detects the users. So it, it, I'm in Europe, I'm in Zagreb, and then you can see that immediately. But uh, if you are in a certain different place, it's going to geodetect and put the time zone and the country code immediately in for the users. So this is pretty cool. First name, I'm just going to use this one. David, uh, I, let me just use a dummy email. And would you like to receive a text reminder? I don't really want that one. But uh, you can uh, you can see that the users can toggle the GDPR terms and future communications, so then you can actually uh, communicate with them um, later on. All right, so register, and then once somebody registers, 
this is what we decided. We are going to send them to this page. So this is the confirmation page, the default confirmation page. We didn't set up that we want the groove pages to show up. You could do that as well, but this is the default confirmation page. So you can add this to your calendar. Like I want to add it to my Google Calendar. This is it, Gro Groovathon Future App Webinar. There is the actual link, and then it looks like this. So it's all set up. People can just do that real quick. You can add them to your Outlook calendar and also into your Apple calendar to this file ICS. So this is the iCal calendar file. We'll just need to do a better logo for that. And then when it's time, you can click to join the webinar. And now it's going to basically show up right here. All right, starting soon, five minutes, it's counting down. Uh, here's your logo, here's the title, here's the host. And then we'll just need to set up some uh, color corrections for this one. This meeting will begin when organizer arrives. So this is basically now working. We'll actually wait for these four minutes. I may do some, um, some questions in the meantime. And then once it starts, I'm actually looking forward to see how all of these um, little engage your attendees offers and, and, and things like that show up. So I'm super excited. All right, let's see. Uh, really nice. David, this is amazing. Um, add to calendar. Wow. Yes. Uh, great question. Uh, you even have groove pink, so we don't have to guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, David, am I clear that uh, we need to purchase another email system, Aweber, for groove? Nope. Groove Mail does all of that. So just upgrade and you have Groove Mail. And I showed you earlier how, to, how easy it is to integrate it. Uh, basically, what you do is within the integrations, you just go and set up GrooveMail is the first option. You can immediately have people uh, people sent to a list or add uh, added tag to the uh, to the people or the contacts, and then add them to a sequence. So you don't need Aweber. Uh, you could then that will that will require the integration. You could if you have that already and you it's all set up and you're using that for years and years. Uh, you could, but with Groove, you don't really have to. All right. So while we are waiting, and let me just see where the... All right, here it is. So we have three more minutes. Let me just do some uh, some things in the meantime. So the congratulations screen, which is the launch webinar screen, uh, screen, is showing you the registration page or the custom registration page. In case you set this up, um, which I didn't, uh, you will be able to see the link for the Groove pages registration page. Now, we have three different embeds, registration button embed, registration forum embed, and registration widget embed. So I'm going to show you how that looks like. Hopefully, we have some time um, before the webinar starts because we need to be there on time. Um, and don't worry, I have it here, so I'm watching when it starts. So let's just go into Let's Groove AI or maybe even Groove Superheroes if we can find that here because that's something that we were working on, I believe, um, uh, here it is, groovesuperhero.com. This is something that we were setting up during the webinar. Um, so you may have uh, you may have been familiar with how we set up Groove Superhero. So in case you are setting up a webinar, you can go to Groove Pages and click on Webinars. Click on a plus button and set up a webinar from here. Let me just select maybe this template. It's going to select a template and build it out within the actual uh, within the platform. So it's going to start adding in the pages. Let me just see. All right, let's just do it one more time. We did the migrations uh, just a, a couple hours ago, and it may be that. Okay, here it is. So it's building it out for me. So the registration, the registration confirmation, broadcast, checkout, webinar replay, order, thank you page. All right. So if you have a webinar registration page and you're using the, the default uh, registration page from Groove Pages, you have a button on here. We will have um, we'll have a different way of managing the button later on. But what you could do is select the code embed element right now, drag it in here, and then set up the button be shown. So now when you preview, hopefully it shows, it may be that we need to just save it previously. Oh yeah, here we go. So here's our button. So we now embedded the registration button that we created together in GrooveWebinar. And when we click it, it's going to show the actual form 
where users can register. So as you can see, this is the actual form. You can, uh, you can select the available dates, available times, and then you can put in the form uh, details and register to the webinar. So that's one of the one of the widgets. Second widget is a form embed, which will be directly the form on the page itself. So let me just show you. So this was a button. Let's just drag in an, a code embed element, which is over here and in, uh, in front of this button. And then let's see how the form works. Right. So we'll have a button and a form directly on the page. So the button loads in and the form loads in as well. So here we go. We'll probably need to check why this scroll is here, but the form loads in and it's already usable and you can kind of have it embedded in case you want to create custom registration pages that's all available already. So that's the second. And then the third link is the registration widget embed. And we actually are going live right now. It's, it's loading. So there we go. So this is the webinar. As you can see, I'm just going to move away. You can see that the, that the yellow is being used and um this is the webinar it's showing the tap to unmute i can click and now i now i'm listening to donna's webinar um i can mute over here at the top um let me just come back to the screen so on the top i can mute and and if i unmute i'm listening to donna there are no controls because this is an automated webinar um so you can do dark mode as well it's actually better if I do this. Um, you can put chat questions here behind my back. Here you can write your chat messages uh, like, hey, Donna, this is awesome. All right. So with enter, you actually post it. And then there's the poll. So we now see the poll. Uh, is this your first experience with Groove? Yes, no. We have a countdown timer showing up. And we basically click no and then click send. All right, so we will need to manage the actual colors on here as well. I'm just going to take a screenshot real quick uh, about that so that our team knows. All right, but uh, yeah, let's see what else. So we now have uh, ask questions. This is where the questions will show up. I need to do this one as well. So the call. Color customizations, we still need to kind of manage a little bit. Um, there's the poll uh, poll results showing up. All right, I'm just going to screenshot this one as well. I'm just doing this as a as a feedback to my uh, to my team. And then the files will show up as soon as they are available over here. Um, here you can actually mute as well. Oh yes, yeah, so here uh, this mute we will need to put in a. a uh, a different way to manage it. But this mute is for when somebody answers your uh, your question, for example. You, an you ask the question, how to get the offer? And somebody from the moderators answers the actual question as a comment. Then you can mute it because there's a ping there's a ping noise or no, it's a ping sound. So you go to da 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 da, da dot com. Okay. So when this happens, if a moderator replies, the uh, a ping sound will be will be uh, will be heard, so that uh, this notifies the actual users that the actual uh, message was re uh, replied. Let me just screenshot this one. We also need some color corrections on the text here. Let's see how that looks on here. So yeah, here it looks nice. Um, all right. Um, so let's see what else. So we have the little sticky note. Hey, welcome everybody. We're starting in a minute that we set up. All right. So that's showing up right now. We're waiting for the actual um, offer to show as well. Ooh, okay. So this is funky now that the sticky note showed up. We now have the, the message at the bottom. So yeah, 
we can allow people to go full screen. Oh, hey, Coach Deb. <laughs> I know that this is a pre-recorded webinar, but still, it's cool to see. So number of attendees. The number of attendees will start to grow as, as time passes because we set it up like that. We'll also need to double check why it's only one. But yeah, you can, you can shut this off and then you can see it uh, small like this. If somebody answers your questions, there will be an, uh, a little, uh, little number uh, over here showing up it's either on the chat or it's either on the on the questions so that you are aware that there's a there's something that needs your requires your attention but yeah that's basically it so not sure if we set up uh, four minutes or something for the actual offer to show i'm just going to wait it out maybe if i do a couple of couple of comments on here it will show up It could be that I left it at 25, uh, 25 comments, that every 25 comments it shows the offer. So let's just check it out. Oh, by the way, you can you may not see it from behind my back, but uh, there's a 1,000 character limit. Let me just zoom in here. There's a 1,000 uh, character limit. So when you write, write a message, it starts counting down. So you can really have uh, long messages but it counts down how many characters you can have so that's also pretty uh pretty cool all right so what we see right now is there's an offer in on the screen that shows up and there's an offer also in the chat so you you see how it how it looks like this is the image this is the actual title this is the description and now we have a button we can click on the button within the platform itself and we are now redirected over to the upgrade page to get groove over here, this is the chat, so the chat will continue, but the actual uh, comment will just will just uh, be here, so you can scroll and see every twenty five comments. You will see the actual um, uh, offer show up again. All right, so this is how how easy it is to set it up. Uh, just Took a real quick screenshot one more time. So and that that's basically it. Um, we'll wait for the files. I believe we set it up that the files should show. And yeah, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. So I think we are good to go from the live screen experience. I'm going to exit. Do you want to leave the webinar? We probably want this one to be a little bit prettier as well um all right yes yeah, so we left the webinar this needs to be checked why this is happening this should be the post webinar um the post webinar redirect so this should be a url um where it redirects us if somebody leaves the webinar we'll still redirect them all right so we'll need to check why this is uh, happening and now I want to show you one more thing, which is for those moderators. So these are the control center links. If I click on the control center link, I, as a host, I can moderate the webinar. So this is how I will see. This is the comments from the live experience, and I can reply to this, uh, these comments. So I'm replying now over here to David Lemon or everybody or admins. All right. So this is the moderator view for the webinar. So you can do this also in, um, in uh, how it's called, the dark mode or, or the bright white mode. And yeah, you will see the questions. The questions are pretty cool, actually. When they come in, you hear the ping as well as a moderator. So you can see the question over here. You can add a comment and answer it. So this is the answer. Okay. You send this then you can mark it as answered. So you can just get rid of it. The comments will be coming in. This is a Q&A. The comments will be coming in. You can mark it as answered, and then it will disappear. You will see them in the answered section over here. All right? So in the moderator view, you don't see the actual live uh, experience for, the, for an automated webinar. You don't need that because every 15 minutes, a new webinar starts or can start. So it's impossible to show every time the video on here. So it's basically an organized um, panel dashboard for everything coming in. So you don't really watch the webinar. You're just answering. You see uh, the, the timestamps for everybody. 
when they ask the questions and when the comment is. And when it's an automated webinar, you approximately know what the comment is about. So we don't see the webinar itself. We just we just answer and reply the comments. All right. You can see the polls here and you can see the participants. This does not have any functionality right now. This will be for the live webinar needed. But uh, but yeah, that's basically it. So whenever a comment comes in, you will be hearing the, the ping sound. You can turn it off or you can turn it on. And you can also see your canned responses over here. So if you click on this, uh, so you have the counter for the messages or the actual characters in a message. And then you, you have another button over here. Uh, which you can click, and this is for your canned responses. If you remember, I um, I showed you earlier how to set up a canned response. Like, will there be a webinar? Then you can turn on the automated canned responses. I'm just going to do a screenshot so that we can also have uh, for the team. Um, Basically, this will be a can response panel so that you can answer to those people uh, very quickly just by this. You show the canned responses. <laughs> I just heard a ping. Uh, you show the canned responses, and then this will show like that uh, as, as you send it. So that is, in short, Groove Webinar Automated. It works. You can immediately go out there, put in your automated webinars, and, and start using it. But we'll go back and show you some of these other assets that we have. So we went over the registration embed button, registration form embed, but I want to show you the registration widget embed. What's the difference in there? So this was the form, and I'm going to put in another, actually, let's clone this section. And let's just bring this over here what students are saying. Um, and I'm going to drop in here section. And this is the widget. So we have three different embeds and all of these three will be elements from the next week. Um, so this is the button. I showed you earlier how this works. This is the the confirm the button that shows up show show up the form. Okay, this didn't close properly. Um, sometimes when you add multiple Groove webinar form. So a button, a this one, and then the widget, it may get tricky. So make sure you do only one. And then this was the form. And then this is the actual widget, which does not show really nicely. Uh, so this is the actual widget that should show properly. Not sure why it does not. Could be that we need to do a new page. Um, and then do it that way. Because as I said, when you add multiple widgets or multiple embeds from group webinar, it may look strange. So let's just do this and then uh, let's just do this on an isolated page and check it out how it looks like here. All right, there we go. So you see when we isolated, when we didn't do a button and the form and the widget, then it looks great. So this is how it's going to look like. You can put this section, which is going to have the this functionality and then it will have the countdown and it will show the three schedules on your page so you can have that embedded within your uh, your custom pages. So let me just uh, actually go back to the funnel uh, webinar funnels and here on the registration page. Um, all right, registration page. Let's delete this one. Let's delete this one. And let's just leave the registration. Uh, so the so the widget and see if that displays now correctly. Okay, I actually deleted it and it doesn't show yet. All right, we should have it only on the bottom. So let me just add that one more time. Give me just a moment. I just want to show you how it will look like when it's in a in a container somewhere on a page. So let's just drag it in the in between here. If I click on this one, and we'll get rid of this notification. We just did a change for the revisions, where when you don't have any revisions yet, it's uh, showing this message. All right, so if we scroll down, we should see only that one registration widget. And yeah, we'll need to check why it's showing up like that. Um, it's probably because it's, it's pushed together due to some elements on the page, but we'll check that. All right. Yeah, that's Groove Webinar for uh, for the registration embeds. 
We also have things that are confirmation assets. And let me just show you what the confirmation assets are. So the confirmation asset is this page over here. So you can also play with that. You can get a custom link um, or you can embed that as well on a page somewhere. So in case you create a, a registration confirmation page, like what we have over here, in here, which is registration confirmation, you can add that widget in there. So instead of these button and instead of this manual uh, manual stuff, you can just delete this. Actually, let me delete the whole section. And then you can put in an embed element and show that dynamically. So you can show dynamically the add, um, uh, what's it called, the um, add to calendar functionality. And let's just preview how this looks like. All right. And then you will have it like this. So this is just the first version of it. Uh, we will have many, many more customization options. We'll have it on the side so it does not look like this. Um, and we'll have different designs and things like that. But this is giving you the opportunity to kind of uh, do things. It will look probably better if the page is white. But uh, yeah, just so that you are aware of how it looks like. Um, let me just do a screenshot of this one that the button is not keeping the uh, the yellow color that we set up but it works so in case you click on the add to calendar it will work uh, it's not working now because we are in the preview mode but it will work when it's uh, it's a published page all right so what else we have here so this is a custom link or default link all right control center link i showed you earlier what this is this is the moderator view this is basically uh, this one and you can email this one to somebody. So if you if you want to email uh, somebody the um, or, or no, if you want to email the presenter or the host, you can click here. But if you want, you can also copy this link and send it to somebody uh, very quickly just by doing this. You see. Um, and then we have custom page links, like a po post webinar page. Like where is this uh, redirecting us? It's redirecting us to an unknown place because we probably didn't set up the link correctly. And then there's a replay page that we set up uh, to show uh, a default system replay page. So you see, this is the replay page and that's how it shows. We have our own uh, favicon, we have the title and then the video itself. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, it took me, I don't know how long, probably an hour or and a half, two hours. Uh, but yeah, that's Groove Webinar. So I, I am very, very, very excited about the Groove Webinar. This is a platform that I myself have been working on from complete beginning till the till now and this is kind of my baby and if you see something please report it we'll get it added but as you saw it works great there's color customizations that we need to do and we'll just need to adjust the widgets and and do some modifications with the groove pages team so that the widget shows up uh, nicely but all in all i'm really happy about that so let's just answer a couple questions in regards to groove webinar and then we can go into the to the next part of this presentation, which is something that everybody is waiting for. I can give you a snippet of it uh, over here, and that's going to be this. All right, so this is going to be this. <laughs> so let's answer a couple of questions and let's see what you guys have in mind. All right, um, you're amazing, thank you so much. My pleasure, Chetama mom, mom. <laughs> Great name, by the way. Um, it should be called Lemon Webinar. Yeah, <laughs> Lemon Air. <laughs> uh, cool, thanks. Um, all right, so we need Twilio, Averber, and what other outside platform? So you don't need Averber. You need Twilio. Twilio is a platform that sends out, that handles the SMS sending, and Twilio is something that you um, that you need to connect to GrooveMail to be able to send out email uh, SMS with the emails. So SMS along with the emails, all right? So Groove member, uh, GrooveMail will handle email sending, but you need Twilio to send out SMS. Aweber, you don't need because Aweber is basically GrooveMail. And that's kind of it with Groove. Uh, this is mind-blowing. Thanks, they, uh, Groove Dream Team. <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Jody. Uh, does the confirmation asset page can be translated in the customization area? The cost confirmation asset 
page cannot be translated at this moment. Uh, we will we will be adding on more functionalities. This is really just MVP. We still call Groove Webinar in sandbox mode because um, we ourselves dis didn't run a, a webinar yet because we were missing the integration part that is now available for you guys um, with Groove Mail and Groove Member and webhooks. But now that that's available, we'll be starting running webinars. And uh, yeah, we will be adding on more customizations. Does the webinar waiting page after registration is done show correctly mobile? Yes, all webinar uh, widgets and, um, and pages should be optimized. And let me just uh, very quickly share my screen and show you. So inside the webinar screen, you don't have to go to edit and go to the pay it, to the last page. You can just click links and uh, enter from here. Let me show you the, the responsiveness. So this is the, the registration uh, page, the default registration page, and this is how it looks like on mobiles. This is the default one, not the Groove Pages one. So as you can see on mobiles, it will look uh, pretty nice as well. Let's just go on to... Um, uh, confirmation assets the confirmation assets is this page and if we if we kind of make it smaller it it just resizes to to the actual uh, size of the phone it looks nice um, I believe that is it the control center this is the moderator screen this is not mobile responsive and will probably never be but the replay let's just see the replay page uh, the replay page is also mobile responsive, as you can see. It does not really look good on mobile because it's a video, So, uh, but people can kind of turn over the, the phone. They can make it full screen. Oh, this is the... Of course, at the beginning, when I start to go live, I'm talking to no one. Yeah, so you can kind of double-click it. Not sure how this works on mobile. Um, let me just Let me just copy this link and send it to myself, uh, which is the clipboard. I'm going to just very quickly check on my mobile phone to see if if it is allowing us to double click um, because that would be pretty handy to do. So let me just come to this screen, clipboard, groove, webinar, replay. All right, so I'm just turn, uh, I'm just opening it up. I want to see how it is allowing us to do the, the full screen. So it's going to look like this. Okay, we can start the video, and if we turn it sideways, okay, it's pretty small. Uh, but if we double tap it, then it allows us to go kind of full full screen. It's it's a bit strange though, so I'm going to check with the uh, with the team on uh, putting in some some settings to allow um, full screen mode on mobile, and that would sort that out. But yes, all in all, all the pages should be uh, mobile responsive. Um, all right, so let me just go in and see some other questions. Do you have a done for you webinar template to use to promote Groove as an affiliate? Uh, no, not yet. There is a launch going on now. This is going to be um, this is going to be the start of our automated webinar journey. We will run an automated webinar with Groove webinar um, as a test. And after this one, after now we have the platform, we will be creating more assets. Is it possible to create a five-day webinar series at one time? Um, yes, but this is automated webinar. So this is group webinar automated right now. So this is not for live. Uh, but if you have a five-day webinar that you run already, maybe as a live stream or maybe as a, as a webinar before, and you want to automate that, then yes, you can do that. Uh, so when I cancel my MailChimp account, just use GrooveMail. Yes, you could. Um, can you clone auto webinars? Let me just double check. Yes, <laughs> I didn't have the correct answer, but you see, once it's uh, once it's uh, cloned, it says that it's cloned, and once you go in, you should have the, the setup pretty much the same. The video should also be selected the same, and and everything else. So yes, it's pretty much working. Um, on the add video, we are loading the video library. It takes a little bit of time, but uh, okay. So the video was not selected, so you would probably need to select it again. But the rest of things should be uh, should be already set up. The schedule. Let's see. The schedule table is filled uh, for the one time as well. Engage your attendees. These things should also be kind of uh, yeah. So pre-selected. Do we have a poll? 
yeah we have a poll we have a, a sticky message yes so it's all it's all is set up so yes you can clone it all right when you do it live it it is uh, being recorded to use for later um when i when we do live is it Bitcoin? so you don't have webinar live currently with groove webinars this is only the automated platform we will have uh, live very very shortly um uh, we just need to turn from selecting a, a pre-recorded webinar here in the video step to just kind of removing that and then when you go live you are actually within the the live stream you can share your camera share your um share your screen and and things like that so it's a little bit more uh more things to add so this is why we started with the automated platform build out these engager attendees make sure the colors are set up correctly make sure your customizations are in place and then um everything functions as as it should then we add the streaming functionality um and we're good to go uh, did you notice the new site templates under complete site is not working group pages oh uh, vin we actually explained that so you may want to rewatch the, the this uh, stream when we finish um there was a huge database migration and we are just improving the speed of the platform we are migrating the new uh we're migrating the templates to the new database they will show up very shortly all right so now that we have gone through groove webinar i will do a small break we're just going to run a very quick video uh i just need to drink drink a glass of water and then we can continue what we're doing now is going into the the future of groove we're explaining the what's coming when is it coming and what those things that are coming actually mean for you if you purchased the platinum account what that means for free users and and it's going to be great so let's just have a look at the at the video for why we are all here for those people that may have not upgraded you really want to do that this is a really a last chance opportunity and here's mike to tell us more about that Hi, my name is Mike Fulsame, CEO and co-founder of Groove. We hope that you're enjoying this special Groove presentation. While we're taking our short break, now is a great time to learn more about Groove and the amazing upgrade opportunity that's ending very soon. If you're watching this on Facebook Live or YouTube Live, or you're wondering what Groove is all about, then you're going to want to head to Groove.cm and grab your free account. That's Groove.cm, .cm because customers matter. We have the best software on the planet for digital and e-commerce marketers, and it's absolutely free for you to get started, and there's no credit card required. If you're a little bit more advanced than a newbie, or you know that you're going to be a successful online entrepreneur one day, then you really want to consider taking advantage of our limited time upgrade. Just visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade now to lock in this incredible upgrade. For a very limited time, you can get lifetime access, that's right, lifetime access and unlock our entire platform, a marketing suite of powerful tools, over 17 apps in all designed to give you everything you need to be an e-commerce or digital marketer. Also, when you go to groove.cm forward slash upgrade, there's a video there that explains everything. But here's the important thing, right now, you can get lifetime access to this incredible suite of tools for just a one-time price of $19.97, and you'll never have to pay us anything again, ever, period. You can even break those payments up to two payments of just $19.99 or three payments of just $6.99. That's right, just $699 unlocks your lifetime account today. If you add up all of the tools in Groove, a website builder, a landing page and funnel builder, a shopping cart, affiliate management, an e-commerce store, email marketing, membership sites, a blogging platform built for SEO, professional video hosting, social proof widgets, webinars, streaming, videos, and so much more. With the other guys, you're paying over $3,500 per month or $25 to $35,000 per year, each and every year to run your business. And those other complicated platforms don't do half of what Groove does. But what if you could pay $19.97 one time and never have to pay anything ever again? And what if all of those tools were better, more powerful, easier to use than anything else out there, all while integrated to work with each other all in one dashboard? Of course, you would say, where do I sign? But now I have to mention, you need to do this right now, today, because this lifetime offer 
for 1997 is expiring and it expires very soon. In fact, to see how much time is left and if there's still time, please go to groove.cm forward slash upgrade or log into the app and click the pink upgrade button in the top right corner. You see, when this lifetime offer expires, the new price will be $299 per month each and every month for fewer features than what you can get right now for just $19.97. You don't want to miss out on this literal deal of a lifetime. Upgrade to the Lifetime Platinum deal now. So do this now. Visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade and lock in the lowest price we've ever offered. Those of you that pass on this lifetime offer today will be paying as much as $299 per month. Don't let that be you. Get this lifetime deal for a one-time payment of just $19.97 and you'll never have to pay us anything again ever, period. And remember, you can even break the payments up into just two payments of $9.99 or just three payments of $699. So visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade or just log into your account and click on the pink button in the top right corner that says upgrade. Again, groove.cm forward slash upgrade. So go ahead, do that now. Visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade. And now back to the show. Right, we are back. Welcome, guys. Um, so yes, this should be. <laughs> it is a it is urgency and scarcity at the same time with Groove right now. If you if you don't have the Platinum account yet, you really should get it because um, I'm telling you, you should get it because I know people will be coming to me. David, oh, could uh, we're we're friends on Facebook? Could you please just like maybe allow me to get the lifetime deal? I know that it has ended, and you guys told me, but could you maybe just do? No, no, nobody will be able to get in. This we made a rule in support with the founders, with everybody in the company. If you don't get in now, you cannot get in on the lifetime deal. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, you'll be need you'll need to pay the monthly payments and that's just a business decision that's something if we don't do we will become liars and cheats and we don't <laughs> definitely don't want to do that so you saw what we demoed this this week like what was done and what is available already i'm going to show you now what is going to come in the future and how that's going to look like what you will be having and um and if that doesn't give you a nudge to kind of upgrade, then I don't know what really will. Um, the goal of Groove is to create the best platform in the world to kind of uh, have everybody from starters, from intermediate to advanced users, be able to sell and maximize their returns when selling online. That's the goal. That's what we want to do. We don't charge you for training, like the training that you see. Other companies charge $99 a month, maybe, or, or who buy our training? Blah, 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 blah. We don't. We want you to really use the platform because it's our job to teach you to use it, not to sell you to learn how to do it. Um, and, and yeah, we will be, we'll be doing a lot more with content and trainings this, this year. I, I may even show you my list of, of trainings that I want to do. I will start with it after I, after we have gone through this, uh, launch period. I'm not only the product owner for creating the apps and managing the platform and, uh, and the developers, but I also want to be the person that kind of shows you how to build businesses. I want to create a drop shipping training for you. I want to create a, a print on demand training. I want to create a training where you can learn step by step how to learn to design websites, to design funnels. What is a funnel and what is a website? I want to teach you and even your VAs or designers that may come in the future, we're coming up with a functionality called sub-user management. Basically, you can have a team 
on your lifetime account. Free accounts won't have team members. Only life of only paid accounts will have team members. So in case you really want to create a business in the future, you need Groove. You may have some other software platforms, but they are not Groove. They won't be Groove. They won't be adding in all of these things I'm going to talk about. And um, that's a fact. So let's just uh, start with some of the things that are going to be coming. Let me turn on the slideshow. We have a couple of slides, and then I'm going to go in and out showing you the different uh, different things. So future apps. We have big plans for the future. This is, this is not just, oh, my God, thank you, guys. You bought in. Now we did this, and we are now going away. Bye. Um, I wouldn't be able to live myself. I wouldn't be able to show my face online if we actually did that ever with any company like i would just not trust it and that's uh, that's not something that we, we we can ever say that's why we don't even talk about even selling the platform or 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 doing any kind of um um what's it called uh, to kind of going public because that's not user focused that's not something that can allow us to be um kind of a community to build something together. It's going to be, okay, yeah, I need to now uh, uh, appease my shelf or sh uh, shareholders. I need to give them more money. I need to do this. I need to do that. It's money-focused. Now it's community-focused and benefit and feature-focused company. And that's what we want to achieve. And because of that, we have a lot of things that we want that we will do in the future. So I don't know if you know, but Groove has a pretty cool kick-ass mobile app. This is also my baby. <laughs> and then when I say my baby, I'm I'm just meaning I manage it daily, and I basically um, almost designed it and 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 kind of created it in, a, in some sort of way. Um, basically, you can download the mobile app, which is going to be an analytics app where you can track your sales totals, rebills, you can see everything, how much money you made, how much, uh, basically everything that you that you want. You can see, um, you can see everything in in very quick way. So sales, transactions, um, it loads in the, the, the information, you can see how many, um, how many people got in on a free account. Let me just see. Okay, these dots are green, and they are not showing you, <laughs> they're showing transparent. Um, so yeah, you can see everything on here. You can see your product funnels and how many people bought what product and uh, from which product funnel. You can see all your customers' information here. You can see your cart abandons uh, here as well. You can see stats for your affiliates. You can see the leaderboard. You can check the leaderboard and see uh, see the leaderboard here. You can get a link copied for your leaderboard and um, even promo tools. Hey, David, I'm running an affiliate program and I don't know, or I'm running a, a promo for you and I don't know my link. Okay, I'm just going to log in and I'm going to send you the, send you the link all from my phone. That's just Groove Cell that I'm telling you. But we have Groove Cell, Groove Mail, Groove Video, Groove Pages, Groove Affiliate, Groove Member, Groove Cart on here, and more apps are coming soon. And by the way, guys, this is free. Search Groove.cm in the Apple App Store or the, or the Google uh, Play Store, and it's there, it's live, you can use it. One thing that we are working on is getting back the notification alerts. So the notifications, uh, you can hear a cha-ching sound when, uh, when a sale is made. Unfortunately, for some reason, it just, uh, it just stopped working. So now one of the things that we will be working on is bringing that cha-ching back. So the mobile app is here. You don't have to really log in every time on your laptop, computer, tablet into a bigger screen to see how your business is doing. You can be mobile with Groove and basically see the real-time data on how your business is growing. It says Groove mobile iPhone app. I just don't want to call this iPhone app. I just want to call it mobile app because it's for iPhone and Android. All right, so Groove Dash and UI. Uh, this is a slide that I wanted to keep in because this is uh, this has been changed a couple of times since then. We did a bunch of other dashboard and UI changes, but even more will be coming. So my plan was here to kind of put in a new image for the upcoming UI changes, but I just don't have that. 
uh, we will be doing a new, completely new UI for most of the apps. How we build out our, uh, our platform is we have a couple of UI designers that start designing, and then we give that to some of the developers, and they start with, for example, uh, Groove Webinar. Groove Webinar was all done with, with the user uh, interface designers. That's the UI, user interface. So uh, the designers came in, they designed everything, put in place, and the developers coded that. Same thing for Groove Mail. Groove Mail was ugly before. Groove Mail is pretty pretty cool right now. It's, it's looking great because the UI designers, the user interface and the user experience designers came in and put their magic into it. Now, because we just don't have we don't want to develop everything first design and then develop. We also have our designers, which are kind of okay with some of the stuff. Like, for example, when you go into, um, let's see, when you go into certain aspects of Groove Webinar, like, for example, these links, it was originally designed by a U UI UX designer, uh, but then the developers added on a lot of things. So there is tabs on here and tabs go into more tabs and then it is just not a great experience where is it the oh here we go so there are buttons on here then tabs then even more tabs things can get lost pretty quickly if only developers are working so there there will be new dashboard designs that are coming whenever you see a home page over here these dashboards will all be changeable so groove page will have its own dashboard at this moment we immediately show you the sites we will see a dashboard. Groove Cell has a couple of changes in here. We now show this dashboard, and you will have all sorts of different changes. One of the biggest changes that is coming for the dashboard is coming in Q2, I believe, and that's called the Groove CM Hubs. And let me just quickly show you what that means. When we talk about Groove CM Hubs, we talked ab about that on a Monday uh, in this Groovathon. So if you didn't check out the Groove Pages sec session, which let me find here, you can go to uh, to Monday. The name is Get Your Websites Live Today. You can watch it on YouTube, and the same title applies. Get Your Website Live Today. You can find it on our YouTube channel. Um, we talked about this one on Monday. So Groove hubs will be a dashboard and ui change that will completely change how groove works at this moment when you log in you have apps separately and you go into app and then you can create a campaign but what if you log in and you have all your campaigns already like like immediately in your face and this is what the groove hubs will do let's just say you have your projects and your projects are separated with um with what's it called, the domains. So the Groove CM domain can have a website on Groove Pages, can have a blog, and can have uh, affiliates, okay? There may be another website or maybe have another domain that you have. It has a store and it uses Groove Mail campaigns. You can have another project for Beach Active, for example, which is a blog, but you also do surveys. You have a shop and you have a membership with it. So the Groove CM hubs will be kind of in-your-face campaigns that you are working on. One domain and all of, uh, and the domain will have all of the assets that you created, like your store, your website, your funnels, your campaigns from Groove Mail, lined up below it so you can easily keep track of that. This is going to be making things much easier. So now at, when you log in uh, to Groove, you, you basically see this. And you will see still some sort of uh, some sort of dashboard with statistics, but we'll also show you your campaigns. That may be even over here. Instead of the quick links, it will be probably showing your campaigns um, in a much more in-depth way, so you can start working where you last uh, left off. All right. So, creating a project, creating a, a, a yeah a domain project for yourself. Like, let's just call this is a domain project for, be for example, Beach Active. This is a project, and I want to have all of these assets on there. So this is how it will look like. This is how you start out creating the project. You decide what the purpose of the project is. Do you want to do e-commerce or sales system memberships? You can create multiple of these. And then you uh, it will ask you what do you want to do first. You select the different apps that you will be using, and then it's going to show you uh, this way, like, you will have your 
your website, your sales process, and the blog. If you want to do something more, then you can add that here. All right. So this is just a pretty simple uh, representation of the Groove CM hubs. I don't have any more designs, but it's basically to explain one domain is your your one project, and you can have all of your assets accessed very quickly uh, with one click. So that's basically the the plan for the for the Groove dashboard and the UI changes. We will, however. We will also do some more UI changes during the platform, uh, or not during the platform, but within the platform. But we will also do changes within the accounts section. So this is getting changed. It's going to get simplified. Your personal information and, and things like this is going to get, uh, get more systematized, more pretty, and more useful. All right. So that's one of the things that I wanted to mention. Uh, it may not be a huge change. It will be visually a huge change. So in case you're doing any kind of trainings, you will probably need to uh, you will probably need to redo your trainings for Groove um, within the next couple of months because that's going to go live soon. All right. So I mentioned we are going to be doing some changes within the settings and and also global settings. So we'll have sub-user management. Sub-user management is set up to, to come out uh, by the end of this month. Uh, it, it was supposed to come out, but we just weren't ready with it. Uh, so by the end of this month, we will be ready with a sub-user management. What we're currently working on, actually, let me just explain for those that don't know what sub-user management is, is that you have your Platinum account with unlimited sites, unlimited memberships, unlimited everything, and you want to have a team working with you on it. Basically, you may have hired some designers. You don't want to design your sites or stores or, or blog or membership yourself. You hired somebody externally to do that for you. You'll be able to set up different roles, different permissions. Okay, my designer can come into Groove Pages, read my sites, but not be able to create new sites or, or new pages. I set up the structure for him he can go in and then basically design those pages but not delete not publish maybe just save because i want to approve those changes and things like this you will be able to do uh, permissions for like i want somebody to go in and write my blog post okay they will be able to go in but not create a new blog not delete posts not change any settings or theme customizations or colors and things like that just literally create posts um, manage them, set up the SEO settings, and goodbye. Things like that. So that's coming. That's coming by the end of this month. We It will be ready, but that may need a little bit more time to kind of put it in the other, other apps. Groove Blog and Groove Pages, and I believe Groove Cart will be coming out first. Um, I believe even inbuilt immediately. But then for things like Groove Member, the the teams will need to go in and set up everything, all the permissions, all the settings so that you can change and tweak all of those little uh, permissions of who sees what or who can access what, who can click what and things like that. GDPR is coming. GDPR is something that we already started working on. And you saw earlier when I was demoing Groove Webinar and even Groove Mail now has it. So we are putting in these check marks and making things work with GDPR. Like you need to ask permissions from your users to use their data for, for further communication. You want to be able to manage um, and, and have, uh, have this privacy information like the user's uh, name, last name, address, phone number, and things like that. That needs to be secure and needs to be managed on a platform so that in case the customer comes back and says, Hey, I don't want to. Uh, I don't. I don't feel comfortable with you guys. Delete. Please, please delete all my data. We need to set up things in in uh, and processes for that one. That's being worked on. It's much bigger task uh, than than we thought. So we may have delayed it a little bit in the past, but now this year we really want to just cram it out. I do not have it. Have a have a date for it, but I can I can say that. We are, we are working on, on this very hard because we need it for ourselves as well. New account settings UI. I mentioned that earlier very briefly. Um, what, this will be, uh, what this will be having is, is basically going to make things um, 
easier for you to manage your account. We'll be putting things in place like two-factor authentication. When you're changing your email, there will be verification, maybe even uh, lock those settings. In certain cases, you don't want to, uh, for example, you're using it on multiple different devices, maybe IP settings or, or, or something like that. Basically, security and um, and uh, Security improvements, uh, improvements of the management of account. For example, we want to put in a time zone selector so that when you set up your account with your time zone, kind of everything works along with that. Your emails will be sent out when you, according to your time zone and your currency settings could be able to, uh, you'll be able to kind of set up your own currency. So whenever you create a new product, that currency will be remembered and things like that. So account settings is going to get uh, improved as well. Image gallery improvements. At this moment, we have an image gallery that served uh, served its purpose. Uh, so far, we want to improve that. We want to be able to create folders. Like, like you could imagine how many images we have in our Groove account. We need to be able to separate that. When we are using images, we also want to be able to do some SEO settings on it, like put in an alt tag, for example, and, and just name the images properly so that when they are uploaded online, when they, uh, when they appear on search engines like Google, that they are not like xyz3334.jpg. Uh, or something like that. That's not the name of the file. We want to be able to modify the name of the file and alt tags so when they get crawled and indexed by search engines, um, they will show up in search results. Like Groove logo, it will show the actual Groove logo because that's the name of the file and that's the name of the alt tag, for example. Dragging and dropping, um, moving the images to folders I mentioned, uh, speed improvements, um, and, and things like that, like major improvements for that gallery. We'll have agency options. Um, <laughs> if this stuff happens, it will be great. I may even buy another uh, lifetime membership from myself if that's allowed. Yes, definitely, you can you can get that for yourself. Um, that that stuff will happen. It's not a it's not a question of when. Uh, sorry, it's not a question of if. It's it's a question of when. Because uh, we, as a company, we need all this. And it's it's just like, it's not a question of if it is coming. Um, agency option, oops, agency options are coming after the sub-user management has been put in place. So we, um, we estimate that this agency will be starting to be developed around uh, April or so. We will need, uh, if we finalize the, the architecture of the sub-user management and then we add in the different apps in there, we will probably have some, uh, some bugs or some things that we need to fix. And then after that has been fully stable, then we will enable the agency options. What the difference is between a sub-user management and agency option is that there will the agency option will enable you to do uh, three different levels of managing somebody else uh, somebody else's account. You are an agency, and you want to you want to sell uh, services for managing other people's uh, other people's websites and memberships and things like that. For example, you could do it with uh, step number one, which is sub-user management. You are added as a team member, and you do that stuff uh, through that way. All right, that's okay. But agency. Uh, if you're an agency, you could also do that. Uh, you could also have a client that does not have a Groove account yet, so that they cannot put you as a team member. So what you could do is you could get them to pay you for for a Groove account, and you can manage their Groove account for them. You decide if they will have access to kind of change uh, change the design or or things like that. So you can you will be having some permissions and things like that because they are basically buying through you, okay? So you are their, their manager of the sites and, and memberships and things like that. So you will sell them your services and access to the account, to access to the Groove account. You could also do white labeling, which is another level up, which means that you buy accounts from Groove that you can resell, but with your logo, with your assets, with your resources, with your support, with your, with basically everything attached 
white labeled to your brand. So these are the three levels of agency that we are planning. And this is white labeling is one of the one of the newest one that, that we added in. If you would like to have uh, more information on the white labeling, watch the first video from Monday from this Groovathon, which I showed you earlier where to find it. Uh, Mike talked about the white labeling option. This was kind of a reveal. Everybody was happy that we are adding this on. Um, and people will be able to resell this awesome tool that we created as their own. So these are some of the global settings. We have many more, like uh, handling of um, emails, like you'll be able to set up your own senders. And, and when somebody purchases something from you, the invoice will be sent with your, uh, with your email sender and with your... Uh, branded emails, for example, and things like that. But these are not fully finalized. We don't have a full-on plan yet, and it's, they're not on the roadmap. So I cannot talk about those because uh, it's just not fully discussed yet. Um, integrations. We will have different integrations with all sorts of apps. Uh, earlier, I showed a comment about uh, mail, mailer light, I believe. Uh, things like that. So integration that will be a third party uh, like a, a different platform that can get connected to Groove for certain things like automation platforms. Zapier is one of them that we right now have, but there are many others like Integromat, Publi, um, Integrately, uh, Connects, um, Spider Link, or something like that. There is Zoho Connect or something like that. So there is many automation platforms uh, where you can connect Groove and then some some other platform through this automation platform, okay? Databases, databases like Google Sheets, for example, if you want to connect um, connect Groove with a Google Sheet, you will be able to do that once uh, this integration is added. So I have a full on list um, of integrations that we have so far prioritized. This is not all of the things that we will be doing. I just wanted to very quickly give you a sneak peek. Uh, this will, um, this will be very interesting for some that are asking, oh, will you integrate with this? Will you integrate with that? I can show you what we have as a certainty right now. Okay. Let me just zoom in with this one so that you can follow what I'm showing. So we'll have API kit. This is something that we're developing as an architecture. We will be doing our own API kit so that we can give it to other platforms so they integrate with us. SDK, I'm going to talk about that later on. And webhooks is going together with API. You saw or earlier in webinar and Groove webinar, we have webhooks. We can actually trigger an automation that is not integrated directly with the platform through a webhook link, for example. So that's pretty much available, but we want to do much more with that. Now, when we're talking with data about databases, like you can uh, you can send data and keep it in a in a Google Sheet or an Excel type of file. Uh, where you collect the user, uh, the user's name, last name, and things like that. So you can do all sorts of things based on a database, like what you're looking at right now. Like this, this Google Sheet is a database of integrations that are coming. Airtable is a very similar type of thing. It just has many more functionalities and automations. And Infinity is the same thing. It's basically a database with uh, with different layouts, Kanban layout like Trello and, and, and things like that. So there are all database platforms that we can connect uh, to Groove and we will connect to Groove. Twilio. Twilio is already integrated as an SMS provider, but we will do more. Voice, message, voice messages. Uh, Mike was talking about voice messages in, I believe, two days ago when we, when we had a session about Groove Mail and Groove Member. Voice messages are one type of channel that they provide, so we'll have that. SMS and Messenger is, is other types of channels that they provide through their integration, so we'll add that as well. Chatmatic, ManyChat, and UChat are popular chatbots that we will integrate with, and that's mostly coming in through GrooveMail. So if somebody is clicking on your chatbot, if you want to do... Um, for example, if you want to receive the, their information, like their email or phone number, you can send that to, to GrooveMail and do certain action based on that. So these platforms are planned. Infusionsoft uh, or Keep, ConvertKit, SmartEngage, 
Um, actually, learn dash is um, is not this, but it's a fulfillment. All right, uh, Clavio, Drip, Sendlane, and all of these other ones are basically communication platforms that uh, that are either providing some email services or direct uh, direct mail services. When I say direct mail, that means postcards and and really physical mail that comes in in a post. You'll be able to send this with send out cards and close them. All right. So Sandlane, Drip, Clavio, Smarting Edge, ConvertKit, InfusionSoft, these are the top requests in our feedback portal. If you don't see the platform that you want, you'll be probably able to connect it with webhooks or through an automation platform. I'll get to that um, before we edit. So at this moment, this is the priority plan. All right. If it's not here, add it to our feedback portal, go into uh, our feedback portal and request your integration. And then based on the based on the upvotes, we'll prioritize that. So far, these are the top ones. Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. This can be connected uh, with copy-pasting code, but what we want to do is a little bit more, uh, more advanced where you just maybe put in your email and then it gets connected automatically so you don't have to copy-paste different codes into different apps in our platform. But it kind of, you, you set it up and it works. Pabli, Integrately, Integromat, um, IFTTT. These are the most up-to-date, uh, not most up-to-date, most requested automation platforms that were requested. If you don't see something in here, that means that it either wasn't requested or it wasn't upvoted enough to, to become a top priority. So if you don't see something in here, please go into our feedback portal and request it and upvote it. So don't immediately just uh, request it, search for it, and then upvote it if you find it. Um, so yeah, these are automation platforms. All of them will be integrated with Groove, and you'll be able to do all sorts of different actions and connections to different apps based on, uh, based on certain uh, triggers. Wishlist member uh, and Learn Dash are, I believe, membership platforms, and Lulu is a fulfillment platform for printing out um, magazines and books and things like that. So we'll have direct integration with these. Booking uh, platforms are like Calendly, uh, Calendly, Easy Webinars, and Stealth Seminar are the are the most requested webinar platforms so far. Uh, because we already integrate with GoToWebinar, EverWebinar, and Webinar Jam. That's already an existing integration. And we'll have integrations with QuickBooks and TextJar. TextJar is actually coming in Q1 and it's already being worked on. So these are the integrations that we have um, that we have currently. You can have a look. I'm probably not going to share this Excel file. So if you want, you can kind of uh, come back later on to watch this section of the video. You can kind of uh, bring, these, uh, bring these out from here. All right. Um, moving on, we are following a presentation just to keep me on track. And the next slide is the planned apps. All right. So I'm going to be talking about the planned apps like Groove Marketplace, SDK, API, Survey, Quiz, and, and uh, Groove Desk and things like that. Um, all right. So first thing, Groove Survey and Groove Quiz. It's coming at the end of Q3 this year. Groove Survey and Groove Quiz is a very, very cool platform that will allow you to create not only forms where you ask a name, email, and maybe a message or, or maybe a, 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 a simple question like, are you new to Groove? And then uh, radio buttons, yes or no. Um, so Groove Survey and Groove Quiz have uh, more functionality. It's basically forms that can do certain actions based on the... Um, on the answers. So surveys and quizzes can have conditions, like if somebody answered uh, the previous answer as yes, then show them this. If they answered the previous answer as no, then show them this. So you can create question funnels. That's basically what surveys are. From one question to a next question where you can lead the user to, to give you the most up-to-date information that you can have. Quizzes are are also used um, in, in similar ways, but uh, quizzes can be used for, for multiple types of things. Like you have a membership and now you want to do, after your training, you want to do a quiz to see how much people 
actually retain the information from your training. You will create a quiz like from the four offered questions, which one is the correct one? And then you can do a quiz based on your teachings, for example. You could do also a quiz like what plant are you or which Disney princess uh, are you or um, if you were uh, if you were a car brand, which one would you be or something like that? So you set up different questions and based on the answers you can give the, the end user or but you can give an answer at the end. Like you are Mercedes-Benz because you're confident, you are strong, you think forward and you are, uh, I don't know, you don't put your blinkers on when you're, <laughs> you're turning or something like that. Um, but you can do um, you can do questions and then lead to a conclusion. And I can tell you very quickly, quizzes are very, very powerful because they are fun, they are interactive, and you can get uh, users' emails after you give them the answer. Or you can do that. You can do after you give them the answer. You can do um, before you give them the answer, type in your email and, and uh, let us send you the results for example. So things like that. So group survey and group quiz are not only cool things for, for collecting information, but they are really marketing tools as well. So let me just show you how, um, how group survey looks like at this moment. We have designed that some time ago and we, we just we just decided that we will not move on with development of those platforms last year because we want to we want to put all of our dev power onto the existing apps like Groove Mail, Groove Member, Groove Video, Groove uh, Pages, Groove Sell and Affiliate. And Groove Survey was designed and should have been developed last year, but we we decided that we will put all of our focus on the existing apps, make those work beautifully first, and then. Um, and then do the do the rest of the apps. So this year is the time for the rest of the apps. Let me show you how uh, how the designs looked like for uh, for Groove Survey. All right. So this is what the survey will look like. It's pretty similar as every dashboard. Uh, you can create your first survey, and this is how the surveys will look like. You'll have. Uh, them all lined up, you'll be able to edit them or share them immediately from here. You'll see the results, you'll be uh, able to duplicate them or remove them, sort them by date or even search for them, and that's kind of it. So this is the, the menu. Once you actually go to share uh, a survey, uh, this is how it's going to be looking like. You can have a share URL or an embed. And then uh, copy the embed code or view the code and uh, things like that. So this is how the embed code uh, pop-up will look like. And then uh, this is a different layout for, uh, for the survey details. All right, let's just move on to the next screen. So these are the survey results. So this is how it's going to look like when you go into your results. You want to see the results of a, of a survey that you, are, that you have sent to your email list, for example. And then you can see that 34 people viewed it, 20, 21 people started it, and you got 309 respons the responses. This is a 54% completion rate, and average complete time is 2 minutes and 40 seconds, for example. This is just old dummy data, but this is how it, could, it will look like once it's developed. Um, so you'll be able to see the different results based on the questions. So now what we uh, designed over here is that you will see the question one, question two, question three, question four. And if you have a different uh, types of questions, they are going to display the answers that way, all right? So four or five people answered this or eight of 16 people answered this. Uh, date questions, email questions, it's all going to show you how, uh, how many responses you received. All right, moving on to the next screen. This is when you are actually building out the surveys. So building out the surveys is going to give you um, kind of a, um, a different layout. We'll probably have different templates as well, but for the moment, this is the sections are the important, how you actually build it. So if you go in, you can decide uh, through a drop down what type of question type is it. It's a multiple choice or an input or a, I don't know, or something else. And you can create your options and you can apply conditional logic. If somebody answered questions, then 
the next next question they need to answer is this and things like that so uh this is this is how it's going to look like we'll have a plus button over here and then you can add on more uh more sections into into your survey all right so that's basically one of the screens you'll you'll have these types of questions like multiple choice short answer uh, text question, number question. You can set up the minimum and the maximum value. You'll have drop downs. You'll have a date selector, email. You ha you'll have ratings with different icons. You'll have a scale like how uh, how did we do and things like that. So you'll be putting up scale and then how many steps. Um, file uploads as well. So all of that is going to be coming to Groove Survey. All right, let's just see. So this is uh, another screen for when the survey is finalized. So this, this is how the, the form fields will look like. And then you'll have the different uh, options from the drop-down. This is how we kind of designed it to look like. Let's see. And, and yeah, you'll be able to edit section, clone section, delete sections, and do some other settings for every section. Let's just see here what we have on here. Edit questions, duplicate. And then on here, okay, you see you can drag and drop them. You can rearrange them and, and put them in a different place uh, within your own survey. All right. So the next screen that we have is this one. So this is the survey builder. We'll have different elements as well. You can put on your, on your survey. Uh, this may change. I don't think we'll need we'll be doing drag and drop anymore. We'll probably do it like what we do with Groove Member currently. All right, and then um, let's just see. Here were the here are the different elements that we kind of plan to kind of drag and drop, but we are moving away from this drag and drop. It's just um, easier and much more straightforward when we put in a plus button and then uh, allow people to kind of add on top. Survey theme will have the different uh, ways to customize your theme, put in your logo and your images, survey header to show or not, um, button styles and fonts. And then over here we'll have redirects, what happens after somebody filled out the survey, and, um, and you can save your survey title description, and that's basically it. So at this moment, um, these are the designs that we have for survey. This may change when we actually go in to develop it. It looks pretty simple, though. So a survey should not be complex. It should be very simple, and they should help you kind of do different decisions based on that. All of that information will be feeding into, um, into GrooveMail, so you can have a contact. Uh, you click on the contact, and you'll be able to see the the different feedback that they gave you from your surveys uh, easily. So that's kind of it for Groove surveys. All right, yeah, so that's it for this one. We don't have a Groove quiz designed yet. It will be very similar to Groove surveys. It will be probably one app. You'll be just selecting what, um, what would you like to create at the beginning. So that's it for now. Next thing is something that Mike mentioned earlier, Groove Stream and Groove Conference. We still don't know how to call all this. Will this be only Groove Stream or it will be um, Groove Webinars or Groove Conference or what's the type? But we think Groove Stream is kind of popular right now to have streams and uh, we, we could be staying with that and building in all of that functionality in the Groove Stream. So, GrooveStream, as you know, is a streaming platform that will allow you to kind of stream or on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, and, and whatnot. That's what StreamYard does. But GrooveStream is going to be a little bit different because it's going to allow you to do um, live and automate the streams as what most of the platforms right now allow you. But you will also be able to do webinars and basically automated webinars like what we just showed you today with uh, automated webinars but you will also be able to do conferences same same similar like a skype call or a zoom call where you can actually see the people um camera see the people's cameras and you can hear them and turn them on uh, to kind of speak and things like that uh, we'll build in we'll build in this into groove stream most probably 
So you may be asking, how does Groove Stream look like? I have actually a, a pretty cool uh, design for how Groove Stream will look like. So I want to kind of bring you through that uh, through that experience. So let me just very quickly load that in and then bring this. I love talking about these types of stuff, like what's coming. It's just going to be, um, it's just going to be great. So GrooveStream is going to be um, a merger of multiple platforms, and it's going to be powerful for the reason. And you may be asking, like, why do we need another streaming platform? Because it's from Groove, and when something is from Groove, that means that it's conversion focused. It will be focused so that you can sell and you can um, support your customers more. So that's that's the focus of GrooveStream. StreamYard may be putting in all of these cool functionalities like show your slides and stuff, but they don't have in mind like what do people actually do with the slides? Do they teach primarily? Do they actually sell? What do they do? So this is what we have. We took one major thing that nobody else kind of focuses with these streaming platforms and that's the that's the sale and serve or sell and serve part of it because our founders are coming from the webinar background they built out a couple pretty major um, webinar platforms GrooveStream cannot be anything less than that so GrooveStream is going to look like this one um, it's going to be allowing to kind of come from outside and, and jump into GrooveStream immediately. But if you're a Groove user, you'll also be able to kind of uh, log in from your dashboard. So we want to make GrooveStream open for everybody. You'll be able to, to set up what do you want to use it for, personal use, education, personal work, small business, or some other type. I'm still learning. I'm comfortable with it. I'm professional. All right, this is just kind of a, a little survey before you start so that we can kind of understand the usage and things like that. And then you'll be able to come here and create your first event. We'll call them event. At this moment, it's event. We may call it something different later on, but it's going to be very similar as to, to what we have with any other app. Um, you uh, you create something and then it's going to show as tiles on here, or you'll be able to kind of switch them as as lists. Uh, with lists, is going to be a little bit less space uh, taken from the from the screen. Creating an event, you can see the the events that are uh, that are all scheduled, so the live scheduled or ended, and then you can see the past events there as well. You'll be able to add your destinations like Twitch, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and the other ones that we will be adding on. So that's kind of the main, the, the main dashboard. So let's just move on to some other screens. So you can create um, your, your webinars. Give me just one moment here. When you, create a, when you create a stream, you'll be asked, do you want a live webinar, a live conference, or a stream? So the difference between this one, a stream is going to be allowing you to, to, to push the video feed to YouTube, F Facebook, and the other platforms. A live webinar is going to be, um, it's going to give you the registration pages and it's going to create a default uh, site where it's going to stream the, the webinar. And the live conference is going to be very similar to a live webinar. It's going to give you the 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 opportunity kind of to have a link and then send it to somebody else and, and do a conference so that will be the first step next step is going to kind of be to set it up like the name description starts at what time if this is an automated webinar or automated stream is going to ask you when uh, when does it start and uh, yeah participants you'll be able to add on hosts and and uh, people to kind of uh, help you with the with the webinar and then you'll be able to kind of create a, a registration page for your webinar this is going to allow you to put in an image to to set up some of your details and also customize that information great job event has been created this is how it will look like once the once you create an event All right but then there is the groove magic in, added into a webinar so what i showed you earlier most platforms do this part like selected the uh, selected destinations they don't allow you to create a default page but um, this is 
where where we will shine so we will show you how far along you are with this one you can get your links right now but if you want you can also set up your live webinar experience you can set up your post webinar experience and fully set up your webinar let me or stream so let me just show you what that means you can create a registration page and you can you can set up your branding you can set up your your colors your logos your everything just so that it, it is brand specific all right so uh, you'll be able to put in your brand colors your theme like how how the button should show up or when when you highlight uh, a comment should it be squared or rounded or things like that You'll be able to put in some overlays and your video clips that you want to show. Like, for example, the earlier commercial that I showed, that's a video clip that is uploaded to StreamYard and we'll have a similar uh, similar setup. All right, so you'll see the, the page on here. And then it's going to show you, okay, you finalize these steps. So let's just go on to the next one if you want to kind of go on and uh, set up everything. So... Yeah, that's going to uh, show how it looks like on smaller devices. Uh, so the live webinar experience. So you'll have guest engagement and event monetization. Twitch does event monetization, and there are some other platforms like Streamlabs that kind of make it hard to do it. Um, there is another platform called Flutin that does event monetization, but StreamYard and Restream and Melon, they just don't do that. I'm pretty familiar with these streaming platforms because as you see right now, I'm using one and I have, I believe seven, I'm, I'm paying for seven different platforms just so that we have the best functionalities added into GrooveStream. All right. And then the post webinar experience is where you want to uh, send people after they have watched the stream or af after the stream has ended. All right. So let me just call you, uh, show you the funky part right now. This is how it's going to look like, all right? So it's very similar to, to how other platforms do it. This is the studio or the stage, as, uh, as we will call it. Well, maybe studio, maybe stage. But you'll see, uh, you'll see who's on screen. You'll be able to add uh, people in here, share your screen, record it, and go live, all right? So where do you want to go live? Do you want to go to Groove Studio or broadcast to social media? So this now I want to kind of... Uh, explain a little bit. GrooveStream will not only go uh, live to social media, as you can see here, it's also going to give you Groove, <laughs> Groove Studio. The Groove Studio is going to be a webinar type experience where you set up a registration page. People need to register to see your, uh, see your live stream, all right? So whenever you go live on YouTube, that does not get you the users or the viewers email addresses what we want to tackle with this one is to create a create a stream that you get registrants that you can communicate like send them notifications send them emails send them sms reminders send them um, basically communication so that they are more engaged than just a regular viewer browsing youtube they click on your video and then watch it five minutes and they leave so Groove Studio is going to be conversion focused. You want the people to commit, give you the email. I'm, I, I really want to see this live stream. This way you get their details. You can communicate based on, uh, based on certain actions that I showed you earlier with Groove Webinar. And um, that's going to allow you to have immediately a better engagement with them. It, they're not going to be viewers. They're going to be leads. They're going to be your contacts already. So it's immediately a step forward with groove studio you will have as i showed you earlier with the webinar we are um i cannot show you anymore um but we had a we had a screen where we were watching the live webinar and we were seeing the chat okay groove studio will be a uh, will be combining the chat from all social platforms this means facebook uh, youtube Twitch and basically Groove Studio. So Groove Studio will have its own chat platform. So whoever is watching in Groove Studio, it's going to be a, 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 a page like what we did with Groove Webinar earlier. Uh, I cannot really access it right now because we would need to wait a couple of minutes to join. But um, you will be able to see all of the chat. Like I can see some chat is from Facebook, some chat is from YouTube. You cannot see that. But with Groove Studio, you will be see you will be seeing all of the chat. 
So that's uh, something that nobody does, and that's something that we will be doing, and it is it is pretty cool. If you don't want to go live, just record only. You'll be able to do that as well. All right. So the chat will look like this. Uh, once you are commenting, it's going to show that you are the host. If somebody else is commenting, it's going to show uh, the, the comments. You'll be able to set up monetization, banners, video clips, and things like that for yourself here in the stage. So this is the chat when it's empty. These are the monetization options. So look at this, guys. When you're doing a stream, if your account is on Groove and you... I mean, if you're watching this live stream, you should have a Groove account by now, hopefully a paid account. Um, you, We will know, we will have some of your payment details. We will have some of your setup from Groove Cell or Groove Affiliate already. We'll have... Uh, will have you you will have a groove sell account so you'll be able to set up even tickets and and things like that so you'll be able to do buy me a drink which is a donation so this is a donation that ties in with groove sell the other day we talked about that even actually yesterday we talked about donations so the groove stream will be immediately incorporating that as a as a donation so um, okay. so you'll be able to turn that on requests Allow your audience to pay you for fulfilling their requests like shout-outs and exclusive for performances. You see that? Uh, hey, David, here's $5. Can you please show me how to do this? Of course. No problem at all. Wouldn't that excite you? Like it, if it shows a, a notification and it, they, somebody paid you a little bit of money and they do, like, do a flip, <laughs> for example. Or, oh, can you show us how to do this? And then your comment will show on screen. It will not be only in the chat. You really want something, you can pay for it and it will show on screen. It will be like, boom, boom, or something like that as a notification. So the, so the actual presenter will see it immediately. It will show up and it will um, it will notify it. And, 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 and we will know. So the, the presenter will know that you requested it, you paid to, to have that thing and it's 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 just a very cool way to actually um, do more interactive live streams and then if you're selling event tickets you can actually turn on and uh, require tickets to be purchased to access the live stream for example which is pretty cool turn your event into a ticket event audience will be required to purchase event tickets to stream your event so you basically uh, go on Facebook and says hey guys I'm doing a uh, a paid training for uh, how to make $10,000 in 30 days with Groove. If you would like, join the, event, uh, join, the, uh, join the training, it's $29. And then they need to buy the ticket to actually access the event. So that's also going to be available. That's going to be managed through Groove Sell as well. So how cool is that? Like, find me a platform that does this. Like, at this moment, GrooveStream does not do this yet, but it will. Okay, we already have that all planned, so which is which is pretty cool. Um, all right, banners. This is just the usual stuff. Like I'm going to show you a banner, for example. Uh, welcome to our Q and A session. Ask your questions in the comments. This is a this is a ticker, and this is a banner. Streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. This is a banner, so you'll be able to set these up as on most other platforms. You'll be able to set up polls like. At this moment, uh, Restream, Melon, um, StreamYard, they don't do polls. Since we already developed this technology for Groove Webinar, why not show a poll like in the chat? Set it up, show it, people click on it, and then you can actually show the results. Create a new poll within here. Like it's basically what I showed you earlier with Groove, uh, Groove Webinars, and, and that's kind of it. So let's see if we have any more screens on there. We don't. That's that's the stage in Groove Webinar. Now, if this excites you, that's that's kind of what I showed you. Let me zoom out a little bit and show you something even cooler. All right. So this is what you saw, and this is what you didn't see. Have a look at this. All of what I showed you will be available for mobile devices. So we are designing GrooveStream as mobile first. This means you can go live on multiple channels from your phone. And 
and basically have a mobile phone experience. So if you're streaming from a phone, it could be this, this way, like you're streaming like this. So it's going to be a vertical uh, experience. The people that are watching you on their phones will, will be just, just great. The, the platforms like StreamYard, Restream, Melon, Melon kind of does it, but it's not pretty much uh, the best. Uh, they don't allow you mobile streaming. They say we don't do mobile streaming, and that's a that's a, a loss on the market. Like why? Like you? I mean, it's browser based. There's nothing to download. There's not much to kind of set up. It's it's going to be connected to the Groove server. Groove, you you just send the video feed to Groove servers, and then you're live streaming on YouTube and Facebook at the same time, and that's that's something that we can do. All right. So this is how it's going to look like in a mobile experience. So you you have all of the same uh, functionalities. It's just going to be in a mobile experience, which is pretty pretty cool if you ask me. So where do you want to go live? Groove Studio or broadcast to social uh, social media channels. You can set up the audio settings, video settings, monetization. And um, are you sure you want to end your event? This is how it's going to show the actual. Uh, or button so that you don't uh, by mistake click on it. Stream to this channel publicly or unlisted or stream to my uh, Facebook. Add new destinations, LinkedIn, Twitch, Periscope, whatever. Uh, we'll decide what uh, platforms we add, but Facebook page, Facebook profile. Um, this is how it's going to look like when you get the actual link to invite your guest. Um, you can go live with with this button once you go live it's going to be counting down three two one so you don't you don't uh, miss okay we're live as you can see in the previous step there is nothing showing that you're live but when you actually go live it's going to show hey we're live that many people are watching you okay you'll be able to switch to different screens when you have guests on and um What's this for? Oh, yeah. So are you sure you want to end your event? It's going to need your confirmation. You'll see your chat. You'll see the engagement. You'll be able to put up some banners and, and show the comments, uh, like different coupon codes, and decide if you want the ticker to scroll at the bottom or just show as a, as a banner. And then all of this stuff. Show uh, show a clip. We, this one, I'm not quite sure how we will, uh, we will achieve. Show video clips. Um, but that's on us to kind of find out. And yeah, you'll be able to kind of see the chat, answer, buy me drinks, request, event tickets, and do all sorts of stuff like that. So this is this is GrooveStream. Now I think I showed you um, showed you everything. This is how it's going to be the, showing the setup of your stream in a mobile experience. But Really, guys, if you're doing any kind of uh, any kind of big stream like teaching, where you're actually receiving money as well, you'll probably do it on a on a desktop device. The things that I showed you first, you will probably want to need to set up a complex webinar or a complex stream uh, with all of the guest engagement options that I showed you with Groove Webinar, like live chat and question boxes and things like that. Um, allow participants don't don't allow participants uh, pre-made banners and file sharing and things like that. You probably won't need this uh, on a mobile device. Okay, what happens after your stream? See the thank you page or select the page. Add them to a survey or show them a survey or uh, do an external link. You probably will sit down in front of your computer and set this up uh, correctly, but it will be mobile first experience. So I have been now talking about this uh, for quite some time, and now you are aware of Gro what GrooveStream is, but it's going to be a merger of different platforms. Now, with GrooveStream, we're going to have Groove Conference. This is what Mike just mentioned earlier, just a little bit, very briefly. Groove Conference is the Zoom calls that where you are doing a live stream, but there's a toggle switch that you can turn on and see uh, see your, um, let's just see, I think we had, let me just quickly find that off screen. Uh, we had designs for that one where it's going to give you a conference view. Yeah, here we go. 
So this is not the final designs. Uh, this is just uh, some things that we will kind of shifting, but we will have something like this. Click conference view, and then it drops you in a design in a in a layout like this. It's still the same platform. It's still the same experience, but from you, maybe with your participants that or, or guests, you actually switch to see the audience. Okay, those people that uh, that turn on their their videos will show up as a as a as a video camera. Some people won't, but when you join a stream. You will not be asked for your name and uh, for your name and email only. You will be asked for your setup of your audio and the video settings. So this is going to be a setting within GrooveStream. We still need to figure out where to fit this in. But when you create a stream and enable conference view or conference mode, then that means that the registration form will ask your users to kind of enable their uh, their settings so they can participate in a in a conversation during the webinar or during the stream. So that's the that's the conference mode that we are talking about, and that will be probably uh, available on mobile devices as well. We just need to kind of figure out how to show it. It's going to definitely be more complex, but um, I think this is something that is going to kind of, um, yeah, something like this, maybe. Um, conference view, like this. Uh, we're still kind of figuring things out for a mobile view, but I think this is going to make the whole platform stand out with every, everything else donations, calls with multiple people, conferences. Uh, we will probably limit the number of, of people that can show their, the, their cameras and, and audios at the same time during the conference. And that's technical stuff we will need to kind of work on. But this is huge. And, uh, and this is coming at the end of Q3 for now. So all of this that I showed for surveys, quiz, and stream, and the rest of the stuff that I will show you, these are all planned now. So please do not start a riot, or do not start, a, um, do not come into groups with pitchforks and shovels like, oh, you promised us. Um, you see how big of a vision we have with all this. And, and I actually have many, many more ideas we didn't design yet for group stream and conference. But we want to create a very, very cool platform, and it may require us a little bit more time. At this moment, with the plans we have so far, we can say end of Q3. But that probably means a sandbox mode or a beta platform for these, or maybe just GrooveStream. I don't know. Um, we have some of these uh, some of these things already developed. So the designs are made. Some of the some of the backend stuff is already available. But please give us time. Creating awesomeness will take time. So um, whatever I'm going to show you, if we don't manage to do it by Q3, oh David, you said it's Q3. Please don't start a riot. All right. Groove funnels mapping. This is something that excites me very much because this is also something that I really want to see. And I'm actually using a bunch of these platforms. Market Plan IO, Funnelytics, Giru, there are some other ones that I don't want to mention because I don't really like them, are going to do what we will have inbuilt for you. <laughs> All right. Let me now show you what we have so far for this. And it's pretty, pretty cool. All right, let me just, sh here we go. Uh, group funnel mapping is going to be done in multiple phases. I talked about this briefly on uh, some of our uh, Q and A's. We'll have a couple of phases. The phase one is the basic part where we will have just the design uh, put in and the functionality will be that you can put in uh, uh, put in the steps, connect them together, and visually see a map of how it will work. All right? That's the phase one. That's basically just creating funnel maps. Funnel map is something that you that you visualize the flow of your pages like this. All right? You probably saw something, some platforms like Funnelytics and Giru and, and some others you visualize how the how the platform works like if somebody registers on a webinar they see a thank you page 
in the meantime, you start sending them emails. And in the, in the first email, you just say, thank you, you are conferred for the webinar. But then the second email that you see, that, that you send, you actually can send them to some different links. And that's a funnel map. That's a map of, that's a, a flow of how the customers will experience your business or your campaigns. All right. So that's the funnel map. And this is what we are planning to do. It's going to be Groove Funnel Mapping. This is going to be coming in and at the end of Q2 um, as a phase one. So basically putting things on the map, putting things on the screen, connecting them together and kind of maybe export it as an image is going to be available as a phase one. All right. So let me just show you uh, visually how this is going to be looking like. I'm super excited by this, guys. I cannot tell you how much... Uh, much this will help especially for the beginners the advanced users as well but the beginners to see and understand a funnel is just is just a huge help from a education perspective this is is just invaluable let's set up your first funnel all right what's actually a funnel well funnel is a set of different steps uh, where you guide your customers so do you want us to kind of guide you? Do you want to choose a template or do you want to start from scratch? And then you can decide uh, if you want us to guide you, do you want to start from a template and things like that. Um, you, you add your funnel name and then you select a couple of industries uh, that this would be fitting for. We will probably have a marketplace later on that you can put this in so it's, uh, to kind of sell your funnel maps because what I'm talking about right now is the phase one, just to map out your funnel. But later on, this will be a business. Imagine, uh, before I actually go in, in to kind of show you what it will be, imagine if you can actually set this up. Okay, this is my webinar registration. You actually design your page, all right? You set up the connection to GrooveMail and you design your thank you page. You then write the emails for confirmation. You write the emails for this one, and then you connect it with the assets. You can actually export this and sell this as a done-for-you product. I set up a webinar uh, webinar funnel for you for this and this purpose. Webinar registration for a Groove training, okay? Or webinar registration for selling an ebook. You can export this put it in a marketplace and sell it. The whole bunch, the pages, the emails, the connections, the, the integrations, everything. This is a built in business in a box that's going to be coming with funnel mapping. It's just amazing. So there we go. You name the funnel, you set up the uh, what you want to achieve with the whole setup. You want to capture leads, capture leads and sell products with landing pages and videos or lead capture plus sell products with webinars or live stream. Um, then you have funnels. You'll have different way of sorting the funnels and uh, different categories like uh, lead generation funnels, sales funnel, launch funnels, webinar funnels, customer funnels. And um, you will have different types like uh, type of assets like if you are selling something then you can set uh, sort by purchase or you can sort by uh, different uh, leads and what and whatnot so this is just uh, this is just a design right now but we will we'll kind of uh, build this in and it will make sense you can see here if you want to use this template this is a four series video funnel this has 15 different assets and you can view those assets so you will know what you actually need to do so this will require six different purchases, or this is set up to have six purchases, which means that there may be a, a one offer, but multiple different places where we show the offer link or show the the offer to be purchased. Okay, or maybe an upsell, a downsell, or an order bump, uh, da 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 da. So you have six things to to be purchased. So this is how you can see the assets what goes into one of these funnel maps. Watch uh, three different videos, two different add to carts, one form, one scroll, click button and things like that. So this can all be uh, all be visualized. Before you actually go in, 
if you selected a template, we can show you a short video on how to start modifying it or, or what this is used for, some tips and tricks from our founders, like Mike feels same. If you're doing a, a, a webinar funnel, can give you some tips before you actually start designing your, your funnel and things like that. So this will be a very good place to kind of uh, give you some best uh, scenarios to kind of maximize your funnels. All right, let's scroll on. And this will be a, a blank view of your funnel mapping area. I'm just going to hide in the background just for a moment, just so that you can see that there are some more options on here. So here, this is the name. You'll click on this, and then you'll be able to rename your, uh, your funnel map. Here, this is to kind of make it as a favorite or uh, not or, but. And this is the icon to show you that the whole uh, the, all the changes were saved. This is where you will be adding in elements and then modifying it. But I have more uh, information about that in the next in the next slides. So you can see this is for help if you if you require some help from support or maybe some documentation or videos. You'll be able to click on this. You'll have the elements and the tools and the different funnel steps and the settings, favorites, the funnel strength. So we will see. Uh, if you selected a webinar funnel, we will be checking, okay, for a webinar funnel, these assets are a must. This is a good to have, but this is like a pro. So we'll be giving you a funnel strength so that you kind of optimize the best, best that you can do. You'll be able to zoom in, zoom out, put in comments in case you're working with a designer or something. You'll be able to kind of add in comments and leave it on the, on the actual funnel maps itself. You'll be able to share and collaborate with uh, share funnels, uh, sorry, these funnel maps as well. And you'll be able to kind of export the image as a, as a export the image of the, of the, of the funnel map, or you'll be able to share a link so that the people can zoom in and zoom out and kind of look through and things like that. So the first option here will give you the, the link to the, to the products, the, Export button will show like this, so you can export your funnel map with uh, with images. Add a, you can also select a part of the funnel map and export the selection only, and you can include or or exclude the background. Right, the funnel strength will look like this, so we'll have uh, different steps, and we will automatically check if you filled it. Like for example, uh, make sure your funnel has an opt-in form, and then if you actually have have an opt-in form on there then it will be checked and things like that so it's going to show you that uh, how how well you're doing then the share button will show uh, an option to invite collaborators like collaborators would be able to also edit the funnel with you um, share preview link so that you can actually share out and then show but not uh, not allow modification of your of your uh, funnel map and then you can also import it into somebody else's account with or without an affiliate link, which is pretty cool, guys. If you if you think about it, um, you would be able to create the funnel map and not build out the pages, but just create a funnel map. And if somebody wants to download that and follow it, you could include your affiliate link with it. And then basically, if they sign up, you you kind of have a lead or you have a you have a sign up because you shared your uh, your assets, which is pretty cool. All right, let's move on to some of the of the other more interesting stuff, which involves the building of these. So on this slide, on this screen, you can see that there are uh, there are two pages here, which is a download page and the buy now page, but they both have comments. And when you add comments on there, you can write a comment, and then it's it's going to be visible like this. So in the lower right hand side. There is a comment button, and then uh, you'll be seeing the comments that were that were uh, added on the whole funnel map. So you'll see all comments, only yours, or resolved comments, and things like that. You'll be able to reply on comments as well. So things like that. You see, if there's a comment, you'll be able to reply on here. So you have a conversation with your designer, with your um, with your designers, or or whoever is building out the the funnel for you, so that uh, they do exactly as you want. All right, moving on. We have 
we now are coming into the place where we show the ability to edit the different pages like we will have based on the uh, based on different uh, types of pages we'll have different actions later on the phase one will just allow you to put these things on the canvas and then uh, maybe edit not edit but delete them the phase two will be enabling you to kind of uh, do different projections uh, based on the like if you send traffic to this webinar registration like if you send 100 people to this one uh, you can set up different projections like the opt-in rate is 20%. So how many people will be seeing the thank you page and how many people will start receiving the emails. And then you can see, you can, you'll be able to set up some projections. If some, if, uh, I don't know, 15% uh, people open the email number one, if 2% people open the, then I can have that much and that much. So projections are phase two. Phase three is actually clicking on a page and uh, connecting it to group pages and uh, basically be able to control the page design from the canvas itself. Like, okay, I put in a web webinar registration. I want to click on here and I want to click to edit. And then it immediately drops you into the actual uh, builder to be able to edit the page. You see, so it's going to get, as the phases pass, it's going to give you more and more functionality. Like this is the webinar registration page. I uh, I clicked on it and now I can edit it. Once you're done, you click save and then it, it will move you back to this one. So you can then click on an email and then you can click the edit of the email and it's going to drop you into GrooveMail or even show a GrooveMail uh, component immediately on here where you can write out your email. And, and things like that. So you will be able to visually create the different assets that you have, which is, I'm, I'm just waiting for that part. It's it's really super exciting because um, going into a dashboard and then going specifically into groove pages is handy. And then moving into groove mail is okay, but kind of doing complex stuff with, uh, with upsells, downsells, order bumps, and all sorts of things can get really complex. And this will help a lot. So let's see, you'll be able to kind of connect the dots together, decide what color the dots are and the lines and things like that. All right, let me just go over some of the assets that you will have. You'll be able to put in pages, all sorts of different pages, generic webinar, blog post, download, and all sorts of different others. Actions, automations, traffic, miscellaneous, and integrations. So you'll be basically managing everything from here. Actions will be like purchase, video, click a button, add a tag, scroll, contact, form, request info, contact. Um, it's basically the same thing. Uh, Pop-up meeting, add to list, and things like that. So these are some of the actions that you will be able to kind of have um, in order to, to, do, uh, to, to set this up so that you can kind of do a full-on business in a box. Traffic, you will be able to set up like send traffic from Amazon, send traffic from Gmail, send traffic from Facebook ads or whatnot, TikTok. Um, these will be all icons that you can kind of drag onto the canvas and then play with it and then do different projections and, and all sorts of different stuff. Tools, you'll be able to kind of draw a circle, rectangle, triangle, co different connectors, text and images. You'll be able to drag and drop on the canvas. Settings, uh, or basically the, the last one will be allowing you to put in uh, Oh, sorry, no. So this, this funnel option over here will allow you to kind of add on top. So you, you started with, uh, with one template. Why not kind of build on top of that? So you actually expand your funnel with another extra template. So if one person finalized, went through your funnel, you can drag them into a different funnel. So they immediately start receiving the assets from, a, from the next funnel. And then we'll have different settings for funnel and canvas settings. I don't think we actually have those uh, designed yet. Let's see what these are. Okay, so these are the uh, these are the page types, sales page, the different designs that we designed um, to kind of see which one would be the best. Opt-in, thank you. This is kind of the the setup and not setup. And then it will look like this, which is pretty cool. I really cannot wait for this to kind of get done. It will it will make our lives so much easier. 
act, uh, actions and uh, traffic icons. We custom designed all of these so that um, it looks good. And yeah, that's Groove Funnel Mapping, ladies and gentlemen. It's the phase one, as I mentioned, dragging and dropping things on the canvas and, um, and creating your funnel map is uh, coming at the end of Q2. That's the plan. Please do not come with pitchforks and shovels. I will be pushing for it. As, as you saw, I really want this to happen as soon as possible. So, um, so yeah, allow us a little bit of time. If this does not show up at the end of Q2, uh, there will be updates and uh, information on where we are with this stuff. GrooveDesk. GrooveDesk is a pretty cool idea for everybody that wants to uh, wants to have a better communication with their customers or their contacts and leads. So whenever somebody kind of purchases from you, that's not the end of the conversation for your business. That's probably the start of the relationship. Some people think that once they once you bring somebody through your funnel, you're good because they paid you and now that's it. But it's actually the start of communication and also could be problems. If you don't communicate clearly, um, people will be requesting refunds, doing chargebacks. You definitely don't want that. And um, and a platform like GrooveDesk would help you ease to, to, to make, make the communication between the business and the customer much easier. So GrooveDesk is the idea to, to kind of have an all-in-one inbuilt solution so that you are able to sell uh, to your customers, build out your assets like pages, memberships, and things like that, and then be able to kind of support those customers. So this is kind of the next step after you build things out, you sold them. Now what happens then? So GrooveDesk is the answer to what happens then. GrooveDesk, I do not have the designs. This is still being worked on. GrooveDesk at this moment um, is uh, still being fully planned out. We do have a very good idea of how it is going to be. And um, basically it's going to allow you to have different channels coming in like email, maybe even uh, maybe even uh, social media channels like Facebook and, and Instagram and I don't know, WhatsApp uh, at a certain time. What we are going to focus on is mainly um, email, We'll also uh, do a chat widget and uh, a contact form or a, basically a ticket form or a support form. So those are the three things that we will focus on. Later on, we can add on top of that with different channels, but focus is email, chatbot or the actual chat widget. So it's not a chatbot, it's a chat widget. And then uh, the third one is a contact form. So those three channels will be sending in information to GrooveDesk and you'll be able to handle the different requests uh, based on that. Also, GrooveDesk is going to be integrated with uh, with all of the other platforms like GrooveSell. So if somebody's, uh, somebody purchased a product from you, you will immediately have that uh, customer added into your GrooveDesk uh, kind of area so that you know that they purchased what they purchased, um, like all of their history, like if they asked you some previous questions before and things like that. So it's going to allow you to, to really clearly communicate with your customer based on their previous actions. So this is a, is a really cool thing that we will be doing. Um, it's going to be better than what, uh, what the founders previous company is doing. Uh, Kartra, we will be just like the next level. So that's it. Again, coming end of Q3. These are the plans for right now if it does not happen. Uh, so whenever I mention end of Q2, Q3, these are uh, these are uh, either first versions of sandbox version or something like that. So this is kind of uh, the start of the journey for these platforms. Groove Calendar. Groove Calendar is coming at the end of Q1 of 2023. And this is uh, something that we have debated over and over again, but nobody comes to Groove to kind of say, oh, I, I really need a calendar platform and I cannot do anything without it. Funnel mapping, streaming, surveys, and, and the desk is much more needed than the calendar platform because there is a bunch of other calendar platforms that are sometimes free, sometimes 
just $19 for lifetime even. So we debated this. I really tried to push this a little bit for, uh, further, but we decided that it's a it's going to be start developing at uh, most probably Q3 of this year, but um, it's going to be released most probably in Q1 of 2023, so next year. The the thing with Groove Calendar and why we want to why we want to create it when there are other platforms like Calendly and uh, many other Tidical and uh, Pro Booking and the other ones are doing basically the same things. But as I mentioned earlier, Groove is having a different spin on it, not not kind of million use cases, and. Uh, and, and you know, go ahead and do whatever you want with it. But really, we want to focus on conversions and then also add on top some other use cases. So conversions for Groove Calendar is going to be the main focus. And uh, something that Groove Calendar will do that other platforms like Calendly, for example, don't do is calendar booking for for events, for example, you have a certain amount of seats, so you can book in a calendar on January 15th. We have a conference. On the conference, there is 200 seats. You can now go in, click on that, uh, click on that date, fill in your information, and then they could be a payment option or, or not um, connected to GrooveSell, for example. You pay for that, and you're you're saving that seat. The next person that comes to the calendar, they will not see that many seats, but less because you already booked one. So conversion-focused calendars. This is not po uh, not possible right now with other platforms, but we decided, as I mentioned, that this is something that nobody comes to Groove and asks us, uh, like, when am I going to have a calendar? So we are not moving it off. We are going to build it out because we want it as well. I definitely want. It's going to help us... Uh, kind of promote our platform for consultants and coaches and and even agencies agencies need to find um, time to talk with their customers so groove calendar will be helpful but there are at this moment other workarounds one of the workarounds for the ticketing system then a ticketing thing is um groove cell will have um the quantity limits like if you are selling a conference you and you have 200 seat groove cell will i believe in q2 have already that functionality so you can just connect that with the calendly and then uh, have the same functionalities but yeah groove calendar will do that it's just going to be um it's just going to be in, uh, in the next uh, re revealed in the next year groove automation groove automation is something that we are already doing but um actually this is not end of q1 but in end of q3 we're here this year. So this is something that we are already doing, um, but we are going to be kind of taking the automation, pulling it out from GrooveMail, and also putting it into each and every other apps. What do I mean by that? So at this moment, automations are built into GrooveMail. So when you go to automations, and this is the icon for it, this is where you do the automations. If something happens, then do this, all right? So this is the automations. What we will do with Groove Automations is, of course, build on top of it. Like this, this dropdown will be huge. <laughs> there will be a lot of different actions, a lot of different triggers, a lot of different uh, things that you can automate. But when you go to Groove Cell, for example, and when you're setting up your products, you can also set up an automation, but not at the moment. So Groove Automation will be created as a as a component, and we'll be adding it in there within the within the setup of your products, within the setup of your webinar, within the setup of different things that you may have. And it's going to allow you to kind of uh, do automations whenever you are or wherever you are. This will also go very handy with the funnel mapping. Like, for example, you set up a funnel map and then do global automations. Like, for example, somebody finalized, um, finalized the registration process, then do this. Or somebody opted in, then do this immediately within the funnel map. So the automations part is being worked on already. Uh, where is my slide? I believe I close it right now. Uh, history, there we go. So um, the 
automations is something that is being worked on already. We are improving our automations, adding on a lot more triggers, a lot more, uh, a lot more actions and, uh, and, 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 and things that can happen like the if and then actions. And we're going to be making it as a component, adding it into the different apps that we will have in the future. The next thing is huge and I'm going to explain you why. So the SDK, give just a moment. SDK is Software Development Kit. Software Development Kit is something that is needed for developers to, to, create, um, to create extensions, apps, plugins, however people call it, um, to another platform. Let me just show you, uh, let me show you a platform that has an SDK kit and other, other uh, developers are developing for it. Oops, <laughs> um, not that, but Google Chrome Store, All right? Google Chrome Store. Google Chrome Store is, um, is a place where you can sell your apps or extensions or plugins for your Google Chrome browser. The Google Chrome browser uh, team created an SDK kit which allows developers to develop for Chrome. This is where you see apps like Vidyard, Social uh, Fixer, Snovio, or Snovio, uh, Linguix, and the other ones. You see, uh, you can create all sorts of different things with an SDK kit, which basically allows people to extend the functionalities of the main platform, which means if we develop our Groove SDK, people will be able to create apps, plugins for our platform. Let me show you another one. Uh, Google Play Store, all right? Google Play Store. Google Play Store is another place where you have people building out apps to extend the functionalities of the main platform, which is Android. The same thing happens with iPhones. The same thing happens with WordPress. WordPress, WordPress plugin marketplace. Uh, all right. Here we go, WordPress plugin marketplace. You have a lot of different things that uh, developers created, shopping feed, um, I don't know, suggestions, marketplace widgets, I don't know, like all sorts of different things, connections and extensions of the platform. Now that you understand what an SDK does, now you can understand that this is a pretty big thing. SDK is also allowing Shopify to become a multi-billion dollar company, which is $2.9 billion company in revenue um, because they have their store. And when you create a store with Shopify, you cannot do nothing. They don't allow you to do anything. There is no product. You basically have nothing with the Shopify store. They, but they do allow you to have extensions. And extensions is what makes Shopify the money. So let me show you here. App Store. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Frank is saying, boo, lol. <laughs> So yeah, Shopify App Store is, I believe, the biggest money maker of Shopify, and that's why they are a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar company. Of course, they do things. I cannot say that they are <laughs> doing nothing, but they don't have um, the basic functionalities that a, a, that a person would need to start selling. They don't have those. You cannot build a page with Shopify. You would need to buy a page builder. Page builder I while talking that would be awesome you need to uh, buy a page builder let's just check out this one this is an ad let's just click on it all right 67 dollars a month they give you a 14 day trial like you could do pages like with groove card for free all right okay that makes money but then that's just a page builder you need to buy <clears throat> You need to buy things like upsells. Okay. You need to know you, you you need to be able to do upsell. Okay, so 
I don't know where that Zipify, uh, this one, Zipify, the same company whose builder I clicked on earlier, they're now selling an upsell option for $24.99, all right, which is already built into Groove Cart. So at this moment, you see that you would need to spend hundreds of dollars just to create a normal shop, pay, build your pages, and provide upsells that you already have for free with Groove Cart. But everything else, like, um, all sorts of connections to different platforms and all sorts of extensions and, and, and capabilities, we don't provide that. Like um, all sorts of different dropshipping apps. There are very cool things that you can find in the Shopify store, but we will have that as well with Groove SDK, but our main core app is going to be much more powerful than Shopify. So that's just Groove Cart. Imagine adding extensions to Groove Mail, like, uh, different tagging uh, capabilities or extensions to a an email, like uh, it will show you the SEO score of your pages uh, while you're building them out, or it will, I don't know, uh, extensions to Groove Video. How, like there's a lot of things that you can build, and this is super cool and very exciting. And Groove SDK will allow these connections from outside parties to uh, to Groove. Um, that's coming in end of Q3 as uh, version one. The Groove SDK is something that will need to be developed continuously. It will take a lot of time, a lot of dev effort. I think we have three top tier uh, developers already scheduled to to uh, to do the SDK, and it's just it's just a very very uh, hard task to do for a big platform like ours and especially that we are constantly improving. They will need to constantly uh, keep in uh, keep in the flow with all of the changes. So once the Groove SDK is available, Groove Marketplace will be born. The team that is going to create the Groove SDK will create a marketplace. This will be one of the apps that we create through the SDK. So the marketplace will be an app that communicates with Groove through this SDK. All right. So this is coming in 2023. There is no uh, there is no date for it yet because it's going to be developed by the same team. Okay. So these two things is going to be worked on by the same team. The Groove Marketplace, however, I have some screens that I can show you, and it's pretty cool. We already showed it very briefly with uh, with uh, Mike on Monday, but I want to kind of dive in a little bit deeper. I talked about earlier that you can do done for you business in a box things with Google uh, Google Groove funnel mapping yeah so in the phase i believe 4 we will allow you to create your pages create your assets export all that and share it and basically sell it as a package you'll be able to put that on groove marketplace and groove marketplace is going to allow all sorts of different things you will be able to sell services like what fiverr does right so when you go to Fiverr, you can go on and then basically find graphic designers for logos, game art, uh, pattern design, posters, album covers, website design. This will be probably very popular. Um, you'll be able to do all sorts of different SEO and video content marketing, email marketing, web analytics, e-commerce and influencer marketing, uh, book and podcast marketing, crowdfunding, affiliate marketing, another thing that will be very popular. Um, article writing and script writing and, and all sorts of different things, job descriptions, video editing, effects, corporate videos, uh, e-learning video production with Groove members will be probably popular, um, screencasting videos, product photography, animated gifts, music, programming, business, lifestyle, training, all sorts of different services you'll be able to sell through Marketplace. So we're creating basically our own Fiverr. But not only that, I actually have written out over here. Just Let me just open it very quickly and uh, visually show you what you'll be able to do with, uh, with the marketplace. All right, so let me just zoom in over here. So this is going to be the marketplace. This is how it's going to look like, most probably when it's designed, it's going to be more uh, 
like prettier, but at this moment, this is how we have it as a mock ups. So you'll be able to do uh, design, e commerce, sales, all sorts of different things. But in terms of the categories of what to do, this is what's important. So you'll be able to sell services like Fiverr, I just showed you earlier. You'll be able to sell templates. So templates include funnel maps, pages and brand sites, funnels, webinar funnels, groove cart templates. Groove mail templates. If you were on the Groove Mail session when we were talking about that, we were showing you the builder, the Groove Mail builder, how you can save your templates and how you can kind of later on export them. Basically, we don't have that functionality right now, but you'll be able to export your templates and sell them. You'll also be able to uh, work on Groove checkout templates. But what about the else? Print on demand designs. Like if you find some uh, some things like on uh, Graphic River, Graphic River, fonts and logos and uh, vectors and let's just see, uh, magazines. Where is it? They have some somewhere product mockups. Let's just go to designs. So here, Graphic River is a is a uh, is a graphics marketplace online where you can sell all sorts of different things like for example you want to create um, create designs for t-shirts like you would be able to sell those designs on the marketplace which when people buy it they click a button and it imports it directly to the groove card store so they can they can work with those designs how cool that is um, You'll be able to do uh, designs for T-shirts, mugs, book covers. Book covers, guys. Let's just see. Print, brochures, e-publishing. Let's just see. There were book covers somewhere I saw it. Let's just go to e-publishing. You design these books. You sell the book covers. You sell the actual magazine uh, uh, setup. And you... You can sell that because we'll have fulfillment uh, integrations with Lulu. So you basically upload it to Lulu and sell it with Groove Seller, Groove Cart. Like amazing stuff. All right, let's move on. So print on demand designs. We all get it. It's great. Themes, Groove Member themes, Groove Block themes, and Groove Cart themes. At this moment, we cannot change and export those. But with uh, with the SDK, with uh, future improvements, I'm pretty confident that we'll be ex we'll be able to export a theme of a site, of a store, of a membership, and sell that as well, or just kind of allow for free download or whatever. Apps. I talked about SDK. This is huge. We know about Chrome, uh, Chrome Marketplace. I sh I showed you earlier. They also make money, but Shopify is a very good example of how apps can make money on a marketplace and for the people and the businesses that sell them. So the Groove SDK is going to allow us to sell the apps and apps will be available in our marketplace. Groove Mail campaigns. Let's imagine with, uh, with Groove Mail, you build out a sequence for an ebook launch or a, for a book launch, for, for example. You can sell those emails in a sequence or as broadcasts. Let's just say Mike feels same from his previous successes has an email campaign that made him five million dollars in a launch wouldn't you want those email campaigns of course you would uh, so we would be able to sell those and with one click from a marketplace import it into groove mail how cool is that okay digital products you actually create your products and you up, you put them in a in a groove member or somewhere you can sell those courses books bundles of, of products like for example bundles of product uh, print on demand designs you can sell memberships software apps etc with digital fulfillment through groove member or webhooks or anything else really through a marketplace and um i explained why our marketplace is great a couple of days ago but the marketplace is um is a place where people already come with their money in hand amazon on Amazon uh, Germany, but okay, you can see what I'm looking at right now um, to buy. So Amazon is a marketplace where people come because there are already sellers in there. So your products 
would be able to show up in the marketplace. So you don't have to look for traffic. The traffic is all automatically coming in there because there's a lot of great stuff to purchase. So a marketplace would be an automatic generate, uh, uh, automated money generating machine for everybody that sells on the marketplace. You created a great site template, great, put it up on the marketplace. And if somebody buys it, you make passive money. Why not? So there's that. That's the point of our marketplace. I went a little bit uh, more into, into it than, than I should have, but I just really wanted to kind of show that this is very important. All right. So you'll be able to, to filter the products. You'll be able to find the different uh, things that you're looking for, search. And you'll, you can also apply to start selling on here. Once you click on a product, this is how it's going to look like. Uh, there will be the different licenses. You can set up an extended license, so you'll be able to sell uh, like Fiverr does multiple tiers of a service. For example, one is a basic tier where I just design your wireframe website. A second tier is where I actually put in the, the content, and the third tier is where I put in the copywriting, the content, and the actual, actual layout, for example. That's just uh, me explaining it. But you'll be able to uh, do multiple tiers uh, and then you'll be able to have kind of explanation of how your product looks like. Some related products, maybe from you yourself as the seller, um, something like uh, like extensions to the to the main product and things like that. Reviews will be showing up. Let me just move to the other side of the screen. Reviews will be uh, will be showing up, and this will be built in. So you really want to kind of make sure that uh, that your products are good, your customer service is good, and this is why we built Groove. Be able to create your products and designs and things like that with Groove Pages, Groove Cart, Groove Blog. Sell those with Groove Cell and Groove Cart. Um, fulfill them with Groove Member and uh, support the customers that purchased it through Groove uh, Desk. And and it's, it's it's just a you see how how we think in terms of apps that we kind of decide to create. This is a circular economy. We, we want to bring it to a whole circle. Happy customer will buy again. So that's what we may want to make easy for everybody in the future. So here we're looking at the designs for Groove Marketplace. And there is, this is just the kind of the, the front ending, uh, the front end of the marketplace. When you go in as, as a seller or a buyer of products, then you will have a, you'll have a dashboard like this one where you will see your store and then you'll be able to upload or put in products. Like you upload your products from Groove Cell or even Groove Cart, and then you can kind of sell those products uh, and fulfill them immediately from there. It will show you the, the status of the, of the actual listing. I would call it a listing. Uh, is it published? Is it not published? How many, uh, how much sales you did? How much revenue is that? Of course, selling on a marketplace always comes with extra costs like a store fee or something like that. And we will most probably do that ourselves. We'll have probably some store fees, very, very small. But uh, this is how we would be able to kind of um, pay for those developers that are developing it and constantly keeping it, uh, keeping it up. This way we can also pay for the support and this way we could pay for extra extensions that you would uh, require, require in the future. So when you're creating a product, you put in the title, category, subcategory. This is very important to, to nail. We will have probably some uh, courses on how to, how to nail the search engine optimization of the, of the Groove Marketplace. Like when you are selling something in a marketplace, you want to come on the top of the results. So search engine optimization for a marketplace will be one of those things that is, that is going to uh, be more and more relevant here in Groove. And then um, you can decide you want to sell a, uh, sell something with a single payment or a subscription, set up the pricing and where to redirect after the purchase. We'll have inline help to guide you along the way. Uh, description of your, uh, of your products, uh, frequently asked questions. This is very important. Whenever you can, whenever you're selling something, frequently asked questions is most important most visited from users they they want to see what others are asking so always include this as just an extra bonus tip features media files anything that is needed uh, to oops uh, to kind of uh, explain the benefits of your product 
Um, then you add your payout information, add affiliates if you want. You can sell and, and add those people that purchase immediately as affiliates. Um, and it's like, it's, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great thing. <laughs> All right, let's just see some of the other slides that we have here. Order history. So this is for the buyer. So the buyer is here. The order history details. They can see the downloads and their profile information. All right, so this is uh, who who purchased. This is the order number, order date, who are you billing to or who are you paying to and what the total is. Um, you can see your downloads, like what you purchased, uh, like an agency template. You'll be able to install a team or even download certain things like print-on-demand designs. You'll be able to download. Uh, some of the things will have instant fulfillment, like you purchased a GrooveCart template. With one click, it's going to be imported into your GrooveCart account. Um, profile, you'll be able to manage your profile, and that's it in short. Well, it's not; it wasn't short, but <laughs> all right. So for the sellers, I missed uh, some analytics screens here. I missed some extra marketing screens that we're still figuring out. Uh, payouts, like how much uh, how much you were paid and how much uh, how much you sold in the past seven to thirty days, and things like that. All right, that's groove marketplace are you excited or what like what i showed you is just the future all right and i didn't even show you the future of the existing apps i don't think i will be doing that right now because we're already running for 14 uh, four hours and and i'm i'm super excited i would do i would be able to do this all day as captain america says but i think there's there's a place where we need, need to stop but all that groove has planned for 2021, 2022, 2023, and beyond is just going to make things, make your life in business much more simpler. So I'm going to run another uh, demo of why, or not demo, another video of why we're all here, because this is all available for you guys for a one-time fee. <laughs> like, imagine... I, I wouldn't call them crazy, but how I will call them how ballsy you need to be to sell this on a one-time fee, knowing that the person that purchases this will not pay for you again in the future to to kind of be able to 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 bring in more. And and that's with Groove that we are we want you to have the best. But we 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 have systems in place where we where we can afford this unlimited lifetime deal, but we don't want to keep that going. Okay, we we would be able to to sell that for more for longer periods of time, but we don't want that. We want we want to run a proper company that can support by selling the products, support the devs and the support team that is doing it, so that we can grow even bigger, mm -hmm. even larger, and and afford more developers and just put in more uh, apps into our vision and things like that. But if you get in now, you get all of this and all of the future stuff that we that we decide to do, and there won't be a better deal than this uh, ever, ever again. In the, in, the, in the future, I cannot tell you that this, this will get better. I didn't even mention some of the here, some of the things here. Groove pop-ups. We'll have Groove pop-ups so that you can put them in Groove blog, in Groove cart, in Groove member, everywhere. That's planned. Uh, most probably uh, late Q3 or Q4, maybe your next year project. Uh, but Groove pop-ups will be coming. Um, Groove forms. This we already started working on. Groove forms will be uh, a form um, component, which is something what we have currently in Groove mail. It's going to be a platform that is available um, in every app that creates forms so all of your responses will be coming to group forms whether it's a group pages form whether it's a group video form whether it's a group webinar form whether it's a group survey all of that will be combined within group forms and when you're creating future assets you can just create forms much quicker with group forms it's a huge project uh, it will probably need to get explained a little bit better than I did in the future when we kind of set out to it, but that's coming as well. And, and you get that automatically. So if you think that this is not enough for $2,000, 
I just don't know what will make you happy. But I will let Mike feel same tell you more about that. He is the person that came up with this uh, with this idea and uh, and the company and the whole vision for the future. Okay, not alone. There is a lot of people that are that are kind of helping him do it, but. Yeah, let's just Mike tell you about that. Hi, my name is Mike Filsame, CEO and co-founder of Groove. We hope that you're enjoying this special Groove presentation. While we're taking our short break, now is a great time to learn more about Groove and the amazing upgrade opportunity that's ending very soon. If you're watching this on Facebook Live or YouTube Live, or you're wondering what Groove is all about, then you're going to want to head to Groove.cm and grab your free account. That's groove.cm.cm because customers matter. We have the best software on the planet for digital and e-commerce marketers, and it's absolutely free for you to get started, and there's no credit card required. If you're a little bit more advanced than a newbie, or you know that you're going to be a successful online entrepreneur one day, then you really want to consider taking advantage of our limited time upgrade. Just visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade now to lock in this incredible upgrade. For a very limited time, you can get lifetime access. That's right, lifetime access and unlock our entire platform, a marketing suite of powerful tools, over 17 apps in all designed to give you everything you need to be an e-commerce or digital marketer. Also, when you go to groove.cm forward slash upgrade, there's a video there that explains everything. But here's the important thing. Right now, you can get lifetime access to this incredible suite of tools for just a one-time price of $19.97, and you'll never have to pay us anything again, ever, period. You can even break those payments up to two payments of just $19.99 or three payments of just $6.99. That's right, just $699 unlocks your lifetime account today. If you add up all of the tools in Groove, a website builder, a landing page and funnel builder, a shopping cart, affiliate management, an e-commerce store, email marketing, membership sites, a blogging platform built for SEO, professional video hosting, social proof widgets, webinars, streaming, videos, and so much more. With the other guys, you're paying over $3,500 per month or $25,000 to $35,000 per year, each and every year to run your business. And those other complicated platforms don't do half of what Groove does. But what if you could pay $19.97 one time and never have to pay anything ever again? And what if all of those tools were better, more powerful, easier to use than anything else out there? All while integrated to work with each other all in one dashboard. Of course, you would say, where do I sign? But now I have to mention, you need to do this right now, today, because this lifetime offer for $19.97 is expiring and it expires very soon. In fact, to see how much time is left, and if there's still time, please go to groove.cm forward slash upgrade or log into the app and click the pink upgrade button in the top right corner. You see, when this lifetime offer expires, the new price will be $299 per month, each and every month for fewer features than what you can get right now for just $19.97. You don't wanna miss out on this literal deal of a lifetime. Upgrade to the lifetime platinum deal now. So do this now. Visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade and lock in the lowest price we've ever offered. Those of you that pass on this lifetime offer today will be paying as much as $299 per month. Don't let that be you. Get this lifetime deal for a one-time payment of just $19.97 and you'll never have to pay us anything again ever, period. And remember, you can even break the payments up into just two payments of $9.99 or just three payments of $699. So visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade, or just log into your account and click on the pink button in the top right corner that says upgrade. Again, groove.cm forward slash upgrade. So go ahead, do that now. Visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade. And now back to the show.
Oh, you're, you're here already. Uh, did you click on that button? Uh, yeah, Mike asked you to click on the button, so go there and click on that button. You really want to upgrade, guys. Um, I was just looking at the chat with um, with within the marketing team um, where we communicate, and there is a, there is something really cool that that just popped up. Uh, Donna shared it, and I just wanted to point you point, point it to you guys. Like I just wanted to show it to you guys. So have a look at this one. This is um, this is a website that was found just recently it was uh, it's a post uh, published in december 24 2021 so basically not that not that long ago but it says sales funnel builder software market to witness huge growth by 2030 all right and have a look at this one global sales funnel builder software market including key players market share Drop funnels, click funnels, cart, lead pages, get response, drive teams, insta page, landed you, wish pond, kajabi elementor, optimized press, groove funnels. Bam. Dish. Have a look at the chunk that we already have. Convertory drive cart. All right, convertory is a little bit big, bigger in my opinion, but have a look at this. And this is already, and we we we're just announcing leaving the beta platform. And we are just announcing that this is the last time you can get a lifetime deal. So the platform you're grabbing, you have ability to get right now. And I'm, I'm feeling like a YouTuber right now um, is one of the top players, a key player in the market share for funnel builder software. And this is not ours. Like this is something that is published. Like, I don't know who this is behind this or or what um and what's the goal of it jc market research but i can tell you that this is bringing a smile to my face and this should bring worry to your face if you're not a lifetime member yet like if you if you if you decide you can go with any of these ones that may have a bigger market share i believe this one insta page i don't know what they do click funnels probably this one no this one um but none of these guys, like none of these colors offers a lifetime deal right now. You would probably need to pay quite a lot of money a month, a year to kind of keep up the bills and, and run your business. But imagine paying just one time and you have not only what these guys do, but much more than that. Like drop funnels, click funnels, Carter, they don't plan to do group stream or they don't plan to have a marketplace like I just showed you earlier. Maybe they do have or maybe they plan to have. I don't know. I cannot tell for certain, but I know that um, nobody can give you a better offer than a lifetime deal with a software that is already a market, a key player in the market share. So I just wanted to point that out. So there you go. That's, that's it. Um, now, I will do... I will do um, I will do a Q&A. I hope there is nobody going behind me. Let me just open the actual uh, site to confirm that. Grooveathon, oops, uh, groovedigital.com forward slash grooveathon. I'm just going to share this link within the comments over here so you can kind of um, check it out yourself. If you miss some of the sessions, you really want to check those out. There was golden nuggets sizes of watermelons dropping every day so all right here we go i shared the links this is where you can come this is where you can see the the live playing on here but you cannot really comment so in case you're watching over here click over here on the top on the name of the video so that you are on, on youtube so that you can type in your comments i'm going to do a q a but before that i want to go rogue a little bit and then show show you what is waiting for you within the existing couple of major apps that we already have. So if you missed Monday session, you can watch the replay on Facebook or YouTube, Tuesday session on Facebook, YouTube. Um, Monday we did Groove Pages and Groove Blog. Okay, so Groove Pages and Groove Blog was the, was the, the topic. You can watch the replay on here. It's already all timestamped, so you can, uh, you can just skip through different sections. Tuesday was Groove Sell, Groove Affiliate, and the Marketplace that I just showed you a little bit. And also we touched on Groove Pay. Groove Pay is huge, guys. Groove Pay, you should get on Groove Pay as soon as you can. 
Wednesday. Wednesday was um, email marketing and content delivery day, which is which means Groove Mail and Groove Member 2.0. Okay, so if you are interested in that, watch the replay on Facebook or YouTube. And Thursday was the, in my opinion, the most fun and exciting day because we got to see um, Mike Filsame come in and without plans teach some of the most important tactics that you can learn right now online and this is uh, this is with everything that's built into our software already so have a look at this it's going to take you a little bit uh, longer but it's it's really really like it's highly suggested all right so groove cell and groove cart groove cart is is a platform that i can see i can see very very easily um stealing as what group funnels is stealing the market share um, as a key player from click funnels and and uh, elementor and the other ones i can see groove cart stealing very easily the share from magento and shopify and big commerce and the other ones groove cart is um by itself as the platform much more prepared to to make more money in sales than any other other software because it has inbuilt capabilities of upsells downsells uh cart abandonment um order bumps quantity discounts uh, it has drop shipping and printer demand services that are free so you don't have to pay to integrate um it has um those proof pop-ups built in it has uh, like all sorts of things that will maximize the returns on the on the money or basically on the investment and can bring you more money than any other platform without extra paying for apps and extensions so um, GrooveCart I believe within a year if not this year is going to be one of the key players as well Okay, so I came in to check that uh, that there is nothing I, I need to do. So this is kind of my task uh, task list. So I need to showcase Groove Webinar. Plus, here are grand plans for future development of the Groove CM platform. All right, this means I can show you what we have planned for the current apps. I want to just just go in a little bit and and show you um, a list of things that is going to come and when. As I showed you the integration. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that is coming out. So Groove Pages. Let me just zoom in and go with Groove Pages like this. Come on to this side and click through. Groove Pages 2.0 UI. I'm going to show you that. It is cool. We could have seen that on Monday. I'm going to go through it. We're, we're, uh, we're going to do major improvements to Groove Pages 2.0 and not in terms of UI only but in terms of functionalities that work with the UI as well. Like, for example, at this moment, let me just actually open it up and then show you how things work. Um, Groove Superhero. This is a demo site that we were, we were using to kind of showcase what you can do right now. I'm going to showcase what you will be able to do within the next couple of um, weeks and even a month uh, because this, these changes are for Q1. So this section is for Q1, and uh, the green ones means that we already done it. The blue means it is in process, and the yellow means that it's almost done. So you can see that we have a couple of a uh, couple of tasks remaining for Q1. So it's it's not a question of if we will do it; it's a question of yes, we'll do it. Maybe even sooner than we plan. So. Groove Pages 2.0 UI is going to be changed in terms of the functionality because we want to bring in simplicity into the platform. In certain page builders where you go, you click on an element, you can, you can resize the element with your mouse and you can drag and drop uh, things in between super, super easily. You can resize the containers, resize the blocks, resize all sorts of different things with your mouse on the canvas. You could do some of these things with us as well, but it's not as smooth. Like, for example, you have to click on here to get the resize uh, resize option. But as you can see, it is not really working as, as you would want. So to actually show the full image, just smaller, it re requires you to kind of really work for it. To space it out, there is no spacing kind of handle to, to kind of do, to kind of grab. So what we did is we show you this 
uh, this uh, which is basically the the spacing setting and then uh, when you're moving it it moves uh left or right or or whatever you want which is okay but they, this can be improved so let me just show you the the vision of how groove pages 2.0 will look like and some of the things that i can i can just remember right now of how uh, of the functionalities we will we will have an add-on so let me just move out from the Groove marketplace and let me just go into Groove Pages, which is here. Um, yeah, and then we have 2.0. So for 2.0, when you select an element, you will have immediately the drag handles, which will make it easier to do in, to, to see that you can do changes with it. And you will be able to do different actions based on the, the, the different element that you have selected. So let's just see. This is text. We have, okay, here we have a timer element. We have selected it, and immediately we can see the drag handles. But not only that, when you select an element currently with Groove, you have just, uh, okay, so this is a, a element specific. Uh, actually, it's not. It's, uh, it's the resizing options. You have the clone, delete, and the op button to kind of select uh, the parent element. You, in certain cases, have the, the this option, which kind of breaks the containers and adds in more, so that you can play with uh, play with more space. But it's also not that uh, not that intuitive. So what we will be working with is adding in element specific settings, so that when you select an element, like for example, an image, you don't necessarily have to come in to configure the image, but it will be one as a, as a quick option on the screen. So you don't have to move always to the right or the left to do different things, uh, but stay on the canvas, spend more time in, in, uh, in visually editing your, your things, uh, in, in visually editing your, your pages. So that's the point of the, of the 2.0 UI changes to, uh, to speed up building the uh, the build process, to simplify the user experience, to to make it simpler on me, where people say, "Oh, it's too hard to use," um, to kind of show that we can do it, and more more importantly, because we need it, we really need it. In certain cases, I'm also just not, not liking things like, "Why would I need to do an update over here just so that something updates on the canvas?" Things like that can be improved with user experience, and uh, and we will do that. All right. So let me just walk you through to the to these templates. Mike went through this a little bit, but I don't think he explained it uh, real well, which um, which I don't I don't blame him because he's not he's not uh, included in in um, in the everyday management of uh, and and. Uh, basically in the planning process and development process of, of everything that we do. I am, so I can explain you what's what's happening. So uh, we want to simplify the sidebar. We want you to see more of the canvas. Also adding elements and blocks and things, uh, let's just say components. Components are elements and blocks uh, on the page using, a, using a, a plus button over here. So this will immediately mean uh, that when you start a page, a blank page, it does not show, it looks a little bit empty here. Like, come on, give me an option. What should I do? So give me an option in here. Okay, you see, this is an experience uh, experience issue that we could improve, and this is what we will improve. We have it in certain cases, like when you are, uh, when you are creating a... Um, I don't know, some of the different apps like a, a product. You have a new product button immediately on the canvas there so that you can start. It does not say, like, it looks a bit empty. Go on, go somewhere else and then try to create a new product. It, it, it is experience of how, how users perceive the app and, and, and evaluate the, the simplicity based on these small things. And it's not a lot uh, of, ta it's not a huge task for us to, uh, to add these. Like for example, adding in blocks, layouts, elements, buttons, text, images, forms, it simplifies the elements elements folder. When you click in the elements folder, you get lost. Oh my God, where is the code embed element? 
here it is. We could do it simpler. Like, all right, I need this, I need this, bam, boom, chick, wow, wow, as they say. Uh, so you know exactly what you're looking for. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to uh, read through the different icons. Like, okay, so count on the do, 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 do. So that's the goal of the of the update. Okay, now I <laughs> explained it well. I hope uh, so. Let's just let's just see the the different designs that we have so far. So we'll have a, a little bit more minimalistic layout without a lot of a uh, lot of square borders and, and uh, it's more simple, more easy to understand. Most probably we'll be adding in here a desktop view like what we have currently. Uh, it will help you visualize the borders of the screen. As you can see here, we have this kind of a an. Uh, how do you how do you say it? like a desktop view browser view mock-up and every every change that you do in there is is staying in in terms of the of the of the it stays in the container of that one so i i think that's one of the things that we'll be adding in but in terms of the ui changes for uh for sharp edges and uh and all of these menus and when you click on something there is another sharp edge menu showing up this is going to be a little bit easier on the eyes. All right, so over here we're showing you the different uh, different menu options on the top. It still it looks minimized. It looks uh, simple. Adding something will show a button at, at the bottom like this. All right. So when you are adding in blocks, you will immediately see them over here, like. Um, You'll, you'll see the all blocks, you'll see the headers, and then you can just quickly drag them out. Maybe even click on it, and then it drags it on the on the section where you're scrolled. That would be cool. Um, grids, you can add in different, uh, different sections, so you can populate it with your own elements. And then we'll have the, this is over here, saving of elements. So when we when we have a saving of elements uh, option, we'll be able to create pre-made uh, elements for you. Like we create um, ten different designed countdown timers, ten different uh, headlines, ten different uh, button types, and things like that. But you will also be able to save your your, your own. Like you'll you'll have a, a drawer like this one where you click on my buttons or my I don't know, forms or my something it is going to kind of show you all those and then you can drag it out very simply onto the canvas. So this is the button types. Like we will have a different uh, button types. You drag it out, you change the color and you're good to go. Currently, I'm, I'm not very happy about that, but I need to show you. Currently, when you drag out the button, it, it looks like this. Can we do better? I mean, yes. <laughs> So we will do better. This is what we are doing in, in terms of tackling that problem. All right. Here on this screen, you can see when we select a different um, uh, a different element that this is a text. We can change different things like uh, alignment very quickly. We can change the different uh, different color and uh, clone the sections and things like that. You see element specific this is uh this is a mock-up of some of the things that we want to also incorporate uh like sizes of text like very easy clickable sizes of text bold or, or things like that so menu could menu like this could show when we click one of these icons to kind of extend it uh, where we have alignment and link hyperlinking and and whatnot for the for the text element so this could be something that we use later on. Also, um, when we when we click on an element, this will show up. But when we select an element, we want all uh, some other things to show up. Like currently, when you have a uh, let's just use this black one. Um, when you select a text, there is another uh, menu that shows up. This could also be improved with some more functionality from here, like left align, right align, center align, uh, like underline, this is there, strike through is there. Uh, this one is not there, like to put a, a line on the top. Uh, not sure what this would be used for, but I mean, we could just kind of merge some of these options together uh, to have it available in here and things like that. So. 
yeah, you get the you get the point. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, nothing more. Okay, yeah, so the difference between this screen and this screen is the menu. So the designers visualized how it would look uh, if we have a small menu versus the large menu in here. So let's zoom out. Let's zoom into this one. This is when you're changing the image. This is what I was explaining. Like when you click on an image, you probably want to change the image immediately and not look for the configure tab, which is hidden. So this is what we can do about that. We can also do some alignment, like where to show the image. Currently, it's pretty com complex and we will be uh, improving that. So this would be with a form, like you click on a form and then it opens Groove Forms. Just earlier I told you from the future apps, we are planning Groove Forms as well. It will open Groove Forms, connect it with an integration over here with a plug and you're good to go. Everything is on screen. Um, if you want to add another element below that, there will be a small plus button you can click and then kind of build within this column. All right, so that's that. Yeah, I get you. Uh, I think you get the gist of it. Basically, just simplify a little bit the builder and um, add on some functionalities, merge some functionalities together and um, make things make things easier and better. Yeah, you see. But that's the Groove Pages 2.0. I'm going to move off screen and then I'm going to go in and explain you some of the other stuff. Um, page importer improvements. Page importer currently works, but it's it's not doing a real good job the page importer is hidden when you go into pages plus and then url importer we want to make this one of the functions that is that is separating groove pages from other apps that don't do this and uh and we have it kind of 70 percent done right now so it 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 needs improvements and that's what we will be doing in q1 I believe we will start uh, may maybe not next week, then the week after that with this one. And by the end of the Q1, we'll have the page importer uh, working beautifully, importing um, HTML sites and uh, some of the funnel, the simple static uh, page builders, uh, sites like Groove Pages, uh, sorry, like Groove, ah, Click Funnels. <laughs> I just talk about Groove. Like Click Funnels version one, for example, those sites are very simple. They are they are block based, so we can easily understand what the, how the page is, is created and import that um, without much complexity. We just need to figure out how to circumvent some of their uh, blocks that they put in um, as soon as we came out with this functionality. Template library UI. This is some more improvement on the on the current functionality, and I can show you that immediately. This is something that we that we also went into in the uh, in the session on Monday. But when you create a new site, you you have a you have a strange looking template library. Um, I can even show it from here. Like with funnels, you have some funnels, but Basically, you just don't see all of the pages. You cannot go in and see the rest of the pages. Like you probably know that the funnel is created from multiple pages, but you see only one. Um, and that's not how it's supposed to be. How it's supposed to be is that you go in and then you see all of your uh, all of the pages that are available. Let me just refresh to see if um, the images would load. Oh, here we go. So when you go to create a new site. You click the new site button, then this is how the template library should look like. You see, there is categorization. There is also filtering of single pages, complete sites, funnels, webinar, and my templates, all right? But you can also uh, filter or categorize by campaign type. Like I want a re webinar registration. I want an event registration, newsletter, sign up, lead magnet, booking, product funnels, free trial. I want the sales pages, I want software sales pages, something like that per campaign. And then you can see the landing pages. You can see the actual opt-in pages here. So it's going to show you um, showing, show you rows of, of these templates um, separated with different categories. If you click into one of the one of these templates and it has multiple pages, it's going to show you the main page and it's going to show you the actual uh, 
other pages from the from the funnel you see so when you go in you will understand that there are there are multiple pages when you bring in this funnel so that's uh that's what we are working on right now this is how you will see if there is uh there is only one page or multiple pages we'll see this separation uh of the of the sites you see it says eight layouts four layouts four layouts uh, which means that there are multiple pages in there and then you can import one page or multiple pages from the whole pack so that's just as um, just just improvement for the template library but it's already going to be a, a great and a massive increase in how uh, how the builder works how the users see it when this is one of the first thing that happens when you go in and and select the templates this will help all right SEO menu with features. We actually have a very good. Uh, we actually have this. Uh, let me see. I have a screenshot of this one. If you allow me some seconds, I'm going to show you. Here we go. So this is actually on the on the test servers. We'll have an SEO menu on here. Uh, I cannot. I cannot zoom in maybe this way. So this is a this is a screenshot from our developers. This is uh, on their test account. So they had they added a SEO menu over here, which I probably think that we will add above the settings, which uh, which will give you all of the page related SEO settings. So you open your home page, you'll click the SEO setting, you'll see different information than when you click the contact us page SEO setting. So every page, when you go into a page, you'll be able to click on the SEO settings and set everything up like page title, meta keywords, meta description. Do you want to disable search engine indexing? Open graph, social share settings. And then this is what's the funky stuff. SEO health score and things like that. So, oops, uh, the other side. SEO health score and the rest that we are adding in is going to be checking if you have h1 h2 h3 tags if your images have alt tags what's the number of total words what's the number of total links do you have um, do you have some title links or i don't know what this means really but do you have uh, uh, are those unique links do you have some duplicate links do you want to check the dublin core metadata things like that this is some uh, this is some advanced stuff for for seo people but uh dublin core seo what happened to dublin seo factor uh using dublin core metadata and whatnot this is all something that we will have so it it is it is not re relevant to people that don't really no SEO, but we will do all sorts of different things like automatic schema markup and, and things like that. So SEO menu with all those features that we can build on top of is going to come. And that's actually being worked on. It's almost done. So we'll see that very soon. Saving of elements. I, I explained that earlier what that is. Um, you create your elements, design them, and you can click a save button to come into the elements library. So you can just click and drag it out next time when you are working on a different site, for example. New pay, new way of publishing sites. We, at this moment, publish sites very, um, like, let's just say that it's a, it's a pipe or it's a, a faucet that you turn on. But we want to be able to kind of publish a lot of pages, a lot of sites at the same time. So imagine like one faucet, but multiple or one one tap, but multiple faucets where you actually turn it on and then it's then it's kind of um, water is coming out from multiple places at the same time. So the publishing of our site is working at this moment from the from one tube only, but we want multiple tubes. It's not something that you will see. Um, improvement except when you click publish site on a huge site it will go like this so it's a it's mostly a back-end task but it's it's going to be uh, helping those that are having big sites global blocks I don't think we need to explain that but basically if you have a site and you have uh, have a navigation menu like this one for example 
you have a navigation menu that you would probably want to use on this side, on this page, and on the contact page, and on the on the other pages within the builder. You can create this as a as a global block. You will save this as a global block, and then it will um, it will change whenever you change something. So you change something on this page, it will change on the other pages automatically as well. So that's basically the global blocks. This could work not only with uh, navigation menus or footer menus, but it could work also with some things like uh, like pricing or something like this, for example, when you have um, a thing that you want to manage on multiple places at the same time. Like for example, you are a business and you are calculating how many business, how many customers you work with. And now you did a launch, for example, and now you want to update this one. So you would update this on one place. Um, and then that would update it everywhere else as well. So that's global blocks that's being worked on. And that's, um, I, I don't think we are almost done with that, but that's in process. Um, different way to share pages, sites, and funnels. This is almost done. This is like this far from being done. Um, at this moment, when you go and share a site, this actually creates a link for, for all the pages, all the funnels, and all the webinar funnels within your site. That's cool, but you may not want to share all of that stuff. You may want to just share one page. Like, for example, there's a home page. I created it, and it's looking really cool. Now I want to give this to somebody. There's no option to do that, but there will be. So separate pages, separate funnel folders, and separate and, and basically sites. So all of these three things you will be able to, to share out with the new way we will be, um, we'll be handling that, which is pretty cool. Show pop-up options. Pop-ups are... Um, are cool and you can create them. But when you go into settings, you cannot really manage um, a lot of things. Like you can show uh, where to show the pop-up, but you don't. You cannot show where to not show the pop-up. Like for example, you have 200, uh, 200 pages. You want to show on all pages except on the checkout page. Now you would need to, you, you don't have a way to manage that really. You just can do one page or all pages. So more uh, display option for the pop-ups. And um, I show on this page, don't show on that page, and things like that. Um, all right. Groove forms, groove mail form integration. So groove forms, I mentioned that we already started working on that. But groove mail form integration is when you have a form and you want to kind of integrate uh, groove mail quickly. At this moment, you cannot do that uh, from here, the form container. You can do it, do it with an integration, or you can send uh, this information to a webhook, to this post. We'll probably just rename it to webhook. But here, there will be another option, which is Groove Mail that's being worked on right now. And you'll be able to send this information directly to Groove Mail form, which is pretty cool. Um, Multi-level folder publishing. I'm just going to go over this very quickly. Um, where am I here? So if you want to, uh, when you're publishing out your primary navigation pages, it's going to be in groovesuperhero.com forward slash about. Okay. This is going, this means that your site is on, is the root domain and the about is a page on the root domain. But if you have funnel folders like this one, you can create, you will be able to create groovesuperhero.com forward slash consulting forward slash home or forward slash about or forward slash something. So you'll be able to create multiple folders to um, to publish your, your pages in and then have a home page for that for that category. So groove superhero uh, forward slash category or forward slash something. So that's the multi-folder publishing. It's basically managing your existing pages and funnels on the um, on the domain. Saved colors. We already have that with a new color picker. Refresh issue when adding a new element to uh, the canvas. That was actually done today. So when you when you are dragging in something, now it does not refresh refresh anymore. So you can just keep adding things, and it it will just work beautifully. Um, let's just see text link. Okay, let's just add a add a countdown timer, and you see it doesn't refresh. It it allows you to keep adding on top of that. 
All right, um, new ClickUp style tab elements. Mike talked about that on Monday. I will just skip it because it could take me some time. Device elements updates. Um, all of this that I'm talking about will come in announce in announcement, but you have these devices. These are mock-ups, like for example, uh, a laptop. Previously, we had uh, pretty ugly devices. Um, all right, I would probably in the pop-up, there's a lot of stuff, so we would need to refresh. But we had some uh, pretty basic mock-ups. Let me just maybe add here. So if you go to elements and devices to add a desktop, you now have a beautiful desktop that you can work with. Uh, previously, we had we had some some pretty basic ones, but now you can have also the new style. Uh, uh, I don't know devices from from uh, from Apple's like this. You see, it's a blue, uh, it's a blue Mac or or how do they call it? iMac, like this. You can have other elements as well, like a smartwatch or a phone, like this. And this is not just a a, a flat vector of phone. It's a it's a real phone mockup. So that was done. Um, Favicon settings for funnels and webinars. We added that uh, recently. You can go into each and each funnel folder and set up a Favicon. So when you're selling something, um, it does not take the Favicon from the from the whole site. Styling of clicked hyperlinks. This just came out today. Mike showed that earlier. Um, when you are setting up your site, you can click on the body settings. And then here you can decide if somebody clicked on a link, uh, a hyperlink from your text, for example, usually it, it shows as blue text. Like, let me just show you. Right, you see, it's a blue text. But now you have the option to modify how it looks like. If a link was visited, if the link was hovered, or if a link is focused. So if the link is visited, then I want to show it in, I don't know, red. Okay, and you can you can do some other changes as well. And now the link when it's visited, it's going to show up red on the when the page is published. You see, so that's uh, that's the managing of the hyperlink color. Exit without saving reminder. That's basically when you did some changes and then you want to exit out. Then you have this browser uh, pr browser prompting you that you can lose some uh, some of your work before exiting. Change the groove element icon. That's just a simple uh, task where we went in and then added the links, the logos to the to the elements that relate to groove, like a checkout, for example. Um, click to scroll to top. This was the other day in the Facebook group. I added it immediately. So usually on sites you have a, a button that you can click and then it scrolls up to the top. Uh, so we can add that in pretty simply and removing of integration elements this is going away so all of these elements are going away because of the new way we will handle the 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 integration to groove forms we won't be able to support these and it's just not really needed really um update the groove webinar elements that's uh that's going to come next week all right. Now I'm. I was going in a little bit more in depth. I'm just going to go from here and explaining what this means. Brand projects UI. I showed that earlier. This is the the brand hub where you have a domain and then you can list out your assets. We're redoing the navigation element. So the current navigation element is pretty hard to manage. You cannot move this one from this uh, icon here, and then uh, you cannot take the whole navigation menu and then move it somewhere else. And we are just going to started from scratch and and make it uh, much better multi-select responsiveness selectors we had that before we we had to remove that it was causing uh, uh causing difficulties for people to understand how to work with the responsiveness but now that we have kind of a, a great way to manage it we will allow you to select this device this device and this device and have changes made on all three at the same time ability to copy paste blocks um, this is when you have a block, for example, and you want to just really quickly copy and then paste it over here. Uh, so you don't have to, when you have long pages, you don't have to save a block. 
and then spend time naming it and things like that and then moving it uh moving it from here to the end of the page over here it's just copy and then paste extend groove video integration will have a better groove video management where you can uh, set up the autoplay set up the the different icons like the click for sound or um or or don't autoplay or show a thumbnail and things like that. Count up element, that will be cool when, uh, when you have things like that. And then you're counting up, like from zero to five, uh, 5K or uh, zero to five international awards or, or from one till, I don't know, 7,000 or something like that. So it's counting up the numbers. Type text element. This is something you see on some modern sites where, where you see uh, groove is the best for, and then there are words that will change, like uh, funnel, building funnels, sending out emails, uh, selling, uh, selling, I don't know, print-on-demand products, and things like that. So it's a type element which uh, you set up a word, and then it kind of shifts those uh, the rest of the words. Switch element is pretty cool because this is the, the switcher which allows you to have monthly pricing and yearly pricing within the same section. So there will be a switcher, most probably on the top or somewhere on the side of the pricing sec section. And then with the switch, you can control what to show, what pricing section to show. So that's coming in Q2. Uh, Q3, we are going to do some brand and theme settings. That means that uh, you go into your site and set up, this will be my heading text, this will be my uh, my paragraph text. You can set up the colors and the fonts and everything so that it's basically a theme similar to what we have in Groove Member and what we're doing for Groove Cards as well. Groove Pages Analytics and Statistics. At this moment, when you go into... Uh, into your dashboard, you see just very basic analytics, but it's, it's this is not correct. So this is is not well tracked. We will have better analytics for visitors, unique visits, bounce rates, and some more stuff uh, that is important to follow. Like uh, if you are doing funnels, we need to track who clicked on how many people came to the to the different uh, pages on your funnels, how many actually purchased or how many clicked a certain uh, button. And all of that is going to be tracked. That's set up in Q3. Deadline funnel will be providing deadline funnel capabilities, which means that you'll be able to, to lock uh, certain pages from being accessed if the user didn't do certain actions before. Like for example, um, if you have a thank you page that that has a download button for your ebook, for example. You don't want to allow people to access, that, access the thank you page if they first didn't sign up on your uh, for, for, for your email list, for example. So you'll be able, somebody signs up, you'll have the, the information from the user, the IP, or you'll be able to tag them in a certain way. Like whoever gets tagged gets access to the download, for example. Uh, and this type of deadline funnel capabilities uh, we'll have inbuilt into Groove Pages in Q3. Um, A-B testing, this is like send traffic and half of the people should go to this page, half of the people should go to that page. Whichever page uh, creates most money or, or gets more clicks or gets more um, interaction on some sort uh, wins and then kind of make this a winner, then that will be kind of the control page. So then we, I can control again this previous version of the page to a new version of the page. So this is A-B testing and that's going to come in Q3 as well. Then we'll do Groove Blog Element with RSS. RSS feed is um, it's basically kind of a, a, a channel that sends information to somewhere. A groove blog element is is created so that you can send um, your latest groove blog posts into groove pages. So it will it will look like uh, something like this, something like this. What are customers finding is interesting to read? And then you'll have these pre-populate with your either popular post or the latest post or the or the post that you select from Groove Blog. And then when somebody clicks read more, it's basically going to open the Groove Blog post so they can uh, they can read it immediately. 
a GrooveCart product list, similar thing is just for products from GrooveCart. You will be able to create these types of, of things. Like this will be for this, uh, there will be an image for a shopping bag uh, or, or a backpack, for example. This is the best backpack in the world. Uh, click here to buy it. And then you will have a buy button. Um, custom fonts importer will allow you to import your fonts that are that are font files. Um, wavy dividers, if you have two blocks, at this moment, it's most probably just a, 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 a straight line separation, but we'll allow you to create these kind of wavy dividers in between the blocks to create these custom um, custom pages. Custom loader, when you, uh, when you load the groove pages, you see the, the groove pages loader. You see here, this is the custom loader. You'll be able to manage that for your own sites. So when visitors come on, then you will be able to kind of show a loader with your logo. New way of styling countdowns. Um, it's just uh, manage uh, manage the countdown timer. You're editing one of the elements, and you can turn on manage all uh, at the same time. Gradient option, image gallery element. This means that you can drop in an element, upload all your photos, and decide how the images will show inside the image gallery. Like you're doing your portfolio or you're doing your previous work with clients, you can uh, you can showcase that with an image gallery. Layer navigation uh, or layer navigator. I'm going to show this because this is pretty cool. We will have uh, this. This is... Uh, this is useful when you have a lot of things on your on your page so that you can uh, rearrange things. Like, for example, you want this block, bring it on the top. This is going to be much shorter, uh, short, like to move from here to here than to actually scroll to all of the content on the page. So this is, uh, this is going to be a layer navigator where you can see each section and then recognize what is in that section. Dynamic content display. This is going to be useful when you want to say say, like, say something like, um, "Hey David, we are showing you the best products in the world," and then the David will be just the first name that you bring in from Groove Pages. So it will be, "Hey first name, we're showing you the best products in the world," and then the things like first name will be auto populating or or things like that, like um, like what you can do with emails. Uh, currently, that's going to come to uh, group pages as well and then pay payment badges uh this is just showing different payment badges uh, so you don't have to upload all your all your images so these are some of the things that we will be doing there will be many many more things that are not on this list but these are just some of the things that people were asking for so uh you can see now when is that coming Whew. um are there more themes coming for blog yes um can you uh, all even imagine where you will be from year now? Limitless potential with lifetime membership. I'm trying to explain that right now. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm doing. Is group planning to have a 24-7 chat support soon? That's major reason I still think uh, I still plan to stick with get response and some apps I still subscribe to. Just wondering. I don't think this is the main the, this is the biggest reason that you're doing it. Uh if support is the issue, that that should really not be the case. Um our community is on 24-7 and we will have uh 24-hour support. I think we just need to be able to um to transfer first to monthly so that we can we can have all the all the money coming in so that we can support uh support having even more personnel to kind of cover the 24/7 but that really cannot compare what get response does and what groove does cannot compare we do many many more things they do emails they do funnels and some landing pages but it's not on the level as we do so it's it's not comparable if you say that this that's the major that's the biggest reason I just don't think that should be the case. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go on to the to the next app, which is GrooveSell. We are doing on affiliate improvements, uh, allowing affiliates, banning affiliates, uh, uh, managing the different affiliates, and things like that. Um, this this is almost done. This consists of dozens of different smaller tasks that just. Uh, I will I will put in an announcement when it comes time to it, but it's it's basically managing your affiliates for your own product and also affiliates that promote uh, that 
if you're an affiliate, then you promote somebody else's product, then, um, then basically it will allow a management of some other stuff as well. Groove cell UI improvements. This already started. This is, I believe, a task with 20 or 30 um, subtasks with many more different like mini tasks in there. So this is a huge thing. This is going to be ongoing within within the next two two quarters quarters. I believe in Q3 we will be finalizing this one. So it's a huge task. Uh, we'll we are improving Groove Cell, adding in more features um, like. Um, webhook test button like when you when you add a webhook you can send the test uh, test information to see if the actual link receives it um, different uh, changes to the price where you're setting up the price on the products the uh, completely new ui for the price uh, product setup and things like that so it's a major improvement this one um, this will take probably two to three quarters Wallet and KYC. The KYC means know your customers. Um, wallet is something that will allow you to, to have uh, money sent to your Groove account and use that money to be able to pay off some other things as well. It will allow uh, for things like uh, quicker affiliate payouts and automatic affiliate payouts even and, and all sorts of different things. The know your customer is... Um, you will have to receive the, the necessary information like payment information and, and things like that from your customer uh, or basically from the users to uh, to allow for this wallet. So this is, this is also going to be a multi-quarter task. Coupon related changes. We have lots of different things that we want to do like um, hard-coded affiliate links, um, so when you go to groove.cm uh, forward slash Angie Norris, this will be her affiliate link. Uh, so you can do um, price discounts with coupons as well. Like if you go to groove.cm uh, forward slash Angie uh, minus 15, uh, then you get 15% discount when you're buying Groove, for example. Um, and things like that. Like how many use, how, uh, how many people like for example first 10 people can uh can get discount with this coupon you're doing a youtube video and you say uh for the first 100 people i'm giving a 10 percent discount go on to this link and then you can get this discount for example and things like that shipping details on checkout shipping details is something that is missing right now when you are doing a checkout form you don't have a way to kind of add on the shipping details so the customer fills out the shipping details and get and receives a physical packet for of some sort we don't have that option right now tax jar for managing your taxes that's coming and then we're adding on paystack and molly as payment gateways wallet and know your customers i mentioned this will be multi um multi-quarter task Promo tool changes, Mike mentioned some of those recently. Uh, he showed the actual UI for that one. So if you want, watch the day two of the Groovathon. Clean up the existing code base. This is just to make the, the, the app faster, smoother, uh, and work better, give you exports quicker, uh, give you transactions quicker, and, uh, and the different reports and things like that. Groove checkouts. This is this is also going to be a huge task. Groove checkouts, where you basically do uh, your own custom checkout widgets and custom checkout links, the translations and even auto translations of the checkout field, and geo tagging and order confirmation widget, uh, which means on thank you page you can put in a, a, a widget or or if you're using Groove checkout pages, it will have it immediately. Uh, which will show the summary of your order. Like, for example, you up, you purchased a, a main product, uh, upsell, downsell, and then an order bump. You will have an order summary on the thank you page to see what, everything that you ordered and how much you paid. Better reporting and transactions moving to MongoDB, which we did that today for Groove Pages, which is improving the speed of the, of the application. Full sales management, uh, full sales tax management, VAT number validation, all sorts of different things related to VAT. Razor Pay, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and Microsoft Pay. Groove proof improvements, improvements to our proof pop up, seamless Groove Pay integrations like Shopify. Um, 
I will probably stop here because I'm just getting confused right now. I will just open these things. So if you want to have a look, um, I could explain each and every one of these tasks in, in a couple minutes, but that would take us for a long time. I'm already speaking for five hours uh, without stopping. And I just think I don't, I don't need to do all that. So some of the apps have more, some of the apps have less tasks. You, you can take some screenshots if you want, uh, and then kind of maybe even rewatch the video, pause it, and then kind of write it out. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a lot of tasks. Groovecart is a beast. Groovecart is a beast. Recurring release. I didn't even mention some of the tasks that were already done, like Groovecart affiliates. This was done. Um, uh, some other tasks were done as well here. I just need to double check. Um, recurring release. This is this is done as well. It's just uh, undergoing testing. So uh, refactoring the code. This was talked about yesterday. We already improved it, but we are, we're working uh, on improving it even more. Uh, visual Builder upgrades and uh, themes and UI and UX uh, um, upgrades for Groovecart. Printify integrations, Molly.com, SDK preparation, Lulu integration, Facebook shopping and marketplace, Instagram sales channel, Etsy sales channel, bank wire transfers, all sorts of different things. I think I need to take a pause. Uh, I need to take a, a break for sure, Manny. Uh, all right. So this is what is planned for now. Take some screenshots if you'd like, or you'll be able to pause the video later on. Um, Groove member access levels. This is being worked on right now. We'll have a new dashboard for it. Course template um, is coming. Um, member importer from version one to version two. Content importer for version one from ver to version two. Customizations of different things that currently are not possible. Um, and analytics and reporting. This is all for Q1. Q2, we are planning to move out of sandbox. This out of sandbox task has a I believe around 40 different things. We need to make sure that we have all of those ticked off before we kind of say version two is out of sandbox. We'll be adding quizzes and certificates, tags, uh, tag-based access levels. If somebody was tagged on my webinar uh, a certain way, then add this module and allow them to view it and things like that. Or if somebody watched my video until a certain point, then allow them to go to the next module, for example. Um, clean up uh, members database. This is something for the backend, but this is, I wanted to leave it here because it's going to uh, be a visible improvement of the speed and working with uh, with uh, with man managing members and things like that. More access types. We will have more drip functionality, drip from when somebody joins or drip from a certain date or or um, tag tag based access types and uh, automations for access type and things like that. Sharing your portal, sharing your membership, and sharing your course through a link. Like you can uh, you can create that in a in a share link, and then whoever clicks on that link can import it into their own Groove account. Customer hubs and management of the users. This is something that we talked about on day three. Groove mail and Groove member where you'll be able to manage your customers and then allow them to up, uh, update their credit card details, uh, to buy more stuff from you within Groove Member and things like that. And then we'll make sure that we have full butterfly marketing optimizations like promo, tool, uh, promo tools element on the page and things like that. We'll have comments and replies. We will work on a forum and community platform for Groove Member in Q3. And we'll work on announcements. Like if you have something to, uh, like an announcement for all of your members, we will be showing it within the membership um, and sending out email notifications for the announcements. And we'll be adding in more templates. Then we'll do membership for creators. This is something like buy me coffee. Buy me a coffee. Um, or Patreon, you heard about Patreon or Buy Me A Coffee is the same thing. It's basically uh, you join in somebody's membership to access certain products or certain uh, services or some content um, if you pay a lot, uh, some money. So memberships for creators is a little bit different than an, a learning management platform. 
and uh, it needs a different styling, a different template, some more functionalities and things like that. And then we'll have more templates added in Q4. But that's in short, uh, kind of the bigger task that we plan. And that's it. So Groove Page, Groove Cell, Groove Mail, Groove Card, and Groove Member are the biggest apps that I wrote this out. And uh, and I mean I mentioned the global integrations that will be coming. So there is a screenshot that you can take for this one as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if this does not excite you, then I don't know what will. I went over, like we went during this week over what it already, what our apps already do and what you can do with it already. Um, people, a couple of years ago, were working with much less than you have right now uh, for their online businesses and marketing and things like that, and they had huge successes. What we allow you to do with our software platform right now is to do more, do it faster, do it simpler, and and do it forever with this one-time price. So it's really not, not a question if we can do it. If, uh, if you decide to jump in, if you decide to, 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 to use this platform, you can do it. That's, that's just it. We give you the training. We give you the support. We give you the tools. It's just on you now to kind of use it. So, um, yeah. That's basically it. We will have a very powerful software pack, as I just showed you what we are just including this year. Uh, and these are not all of the changes that will be going live, just some of the bigger, one, bigger ones. And you saw how many there are already. So <sighs> I think I'm ready to answer some questions. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring uh, you over to my main screen. And if you have any questions, I'm going to give myself 30 minutes to answer it. I'm actually going to put up a timer um, to, to count down because it's already past 10 o'clock and I am doing this for five and a half hours now. I would probably need to eat something. So half, let's just do 45 minutes. All right. So I'm going to put in a countdown timer for 45 minutes, uh, 45 minute countdown timer. And now we are doing a session for um, ask me anything. Actually, I'm just going to do uh, ask your questions in the comments and please include a queue in front so we can answer it for you. There we go. So we are rolling the timer. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going. I'm just going to scroll through and see if there are some questions from before. Thank you. Hard work, David. It's a ton to track and manage. Oh, I know. I do this every day. <laughs> Imagine now uh, when you're managing, I don't know, how many apps, 12 or 13 apps that are already out, and you are planning eight, nine more. It gets tough. So yeah, I just don't want to pat myself on the back, but I'm doing a good job, I believe. Um, thank you, David, for the amazing presentation, all the hard work being poured into this platform. It's all for you guys and for us, but most for you. Um, I do have a question regarding the upgrade for those who joined earlier with agency membership that this upgrade replaces it. Both memberships pay the same. Huh? For those who joined earlier with the agency membership, what agency membership that this upgrade replaces it and both memberships pay the same? I do not understand the question. What What do you mean by uh, who joined earlier with the agency membership? Please let me know. Share membership, full funnel templates and sequences in Groove Marketplace and charge monthly for the right? Yes, I guess. I, the question was put in strangely but yes you will be able to create um, a membership with your your with your sites and your funnels and your email campaigns and sell them in a marketplace kind of as a as a business in the box type of thing uh, will group member have assignment capabilities yes I will need a break if you are not going to take one yes at this moment I'm just going to wrap it up in 42 minutes um do, 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 do. All right. David, the amount of knowledge you have about the company is incredible. I've seen your transformation this year, and the truth is that you are incredible. 
thank you very much. <laughs> I'm really trying my best to kind of keep on uh, keeping the loop with every app, and that's really my job. Um, so not only kind of to keep with the development process, but I want to really know how to use it and how people could best use it. Uh, each and every feature and improvement that we add in. So that's my job. Will the page importer me, uh, allow me to import and edit all elements on HTML pages that are not live on a site? Currently, when I try to edit some elements after I import a page, I can't edit some sections. Yeah, that's the improvement that we are going to work on. Um, of course, some of the elements that we just don't support, like we don't have built into our platform, we won't be able to recognize. Also, in certain cases, like um, you have a you have a page where um, where a, a full on pricing section was uh, uploaded as, as an image, we will just show an image, but it won't be in those proportions, for example, or things like that. So it may uh, need some more work uh, to kind of size it properly and make it look like the previous one. But uh, yes, it should bring in all of the uh, all of the elements if it is a static page. All right, let's have a look. Keep everyone up to date on the software and this enormous is the is an impossible task, David, and you are accomplishing it beautifully. Thank you very much, Donna. I sometimes I'm doubting myself, but uh, when I hear somebody like you mentioning it, then it, it brings me joy. All right, will there be cash on delivery for GrooveCart? It's actually available. Great for local stores serving local customers in the community, or maybe it's there, but I just didn't find it. It's it's there. If you go to settings in GrooveCart, uh, let me just quickly show you. I'll just log into a GrooveCart store that we have here. Go to GrooveCart, your, your store, uh, settings, payment gateways, and then you'll see cash and deliver. You turn it on, and then you can, uh, you can manage it. You can actually rename it as well. So cash and delivery or pay with cash or just cash, <laughs> whatever you want. So your GrooveCart store, payment gateways, you scroll down and then you'll see cash and delivery. You will see only, uh, you will see this only in case you are a paid member. So you want to upgrade to be able to do this. Okay, you click connect. It will allow you to kind of uh, turn it on. You go to settings, you can change the button text and the description. Okie dokie, let's go on. All uh, right, where did I stop? Could you enable the subtitle option? I bought a lifetime membership, I don't speak English. Uh, the replays all have subtitle options. Let me just very quickly demonstrate how to get that. Not sure if you understand me, but I still want to show it to you. So if we have, um, I'm going to very quickly open Groove, the actual YouTube. So if you if you are on YouTube, you go to videos, have a look at our past videos. For example, this one, all of the past videos will have subtitles. Go into settings and turn on uh, subtitles and change the, oops, sorry. Go turn on subtitles here, change the subtitle settings into a different language of your own, and then you will be able to watch it. I understand that this will not be the best, uh, but it will it will be better than when uh, I can tell you that you are going to have it's actually pretty good. I'm just reading it. This is Croatian. I'm reading it and it is pretty good translation, but it it will be worse if you're watching live with translation. If you're watching your replay with translation, it's going to be much better. So hopefully that helps. All of these videos are on YouTube, by the way. Uh, okay, could you enable, okay, I just mentioned that one. I'm already a lifetime member. I paid in full in September. Would this would all this upgrade been available in my login or do I need to new, need a new login website to access them? Boss for Ava, uh, this is all available for you. If you have upgraded to a lifetime anytime back in the past, you are all set up for success if you just start using what you have. Um, there's really nothing that you need to buy on top at this moment if you if you are running a normal business. There may be some functionalities later on that we will uh, we will not give for free, like um, some things that we need to pay for, like video hosting or or something like that. Um, we'll require some extra payment, but we are also working around that with different things that we have in plan. 
when I have posted or imported HTML, it does uh, does not work with the designer. Will that change? Yes. I mentioned that we are planning an imported uh, upgrade. I have no questions. Thanks for your work. Thank you very much, Gonzalo. It's great that great to have you here. All uh, right. How many contacts will be allowed on the lowest paid account, but not free when beta ends this month? I believe that will be pay, uh, the 5,000 is the limit. I think that is what we have so far uh, uh, planned. So 5,000 contacts in the, in the lowest paid tier, that's not the free. The free accounts will have 500 at this moment. What I know, the first tier will have, um, I believe, five. Uh, yeah, so five hundred, five thousand. I believe the the second tiers will have. Let me just check it out real quick. This this is just what we what I know so far. This may have already changed with the uh, with uh, some of the different um, limits that the founder said. We're talking about contacts, yeah. So 500, 5,000, 15,000, and 30,000. And then we will have the capacity boosters, which is $100 per month, which is 100,000 contacts. The capacity booster is just a crazy, crazy deal, guys. You pay $100 and you get 100,000 contacts with unlimited sends, unlimited cart abandons, unlimited everything, really, which is pretty cool. Uh, for those uh, join Groove during be the beta phase and purchase the agency membership and not as a free member. Okay, so you mean the platinum. Okay, for this upgrade, both free membership pay the same. So if you have joined as a free member but not paid yet, then you pay and you get all of that. This what I what I just uh, presented. And if you are a paid member already, if you pay purchase the Platinum Lifetime account, then you you are all set. You actually have everything uh, to do this or to to have all this. Okie dokie. Let me just scroll up back up and see if there are any more questions that I didn't answer. David Lemon, do we need to update our published pages or redesign pages when 2.0 is launched? Uh, nothing. This is not related to pages. This is not related to the content on the pages. This is related to the builder itself. Uh, at this moment, I don't think there will be any uh, any redesigns needed uh, when it kind of comes out. Um, It also would be useful to have better explanations on, on some of the wizard. If you're a newbie, sometimes it's not easy to understand what you're, uh, what info you're supposed to enter. Yes, that we are working on. We'll have tooltips within our app. Uh, and then tooltips will explain what goes where and how to work with that, uh, with that certain uh, element or certain component. Um, any plans to allow supplying yes, uh, image source URL? Yes, that is a part of the upgrade for our image gallery. All right. Does that mean we won't have to edit uh, size on each device? Uh, you will be able to edit size on each device, but you'll be able to select multiple devices and edit them at the same time. All right. Question, uh, David, I'm not sure if you answered this today, but the, you did a, a few few months ago. Since now, uh, group will integrate with Messenger app like Chatmatic, ManyChap, and use Twilio to enable text, voice, drop, voicemail messages. It makes sense to create a portable AK conversational stream for each client. Uh, so we as an agency, we can sell that the services, sell the as service, uh, like go high level SaaS. This can be part of group desk tracking com conversation sell from users to users. Absolutely. Well, I mean, um, I can tell you at this moment, this is not our plan, but I can tell you that we change our plans very, very frequently. And um, I can also not tell you that this won't be done. This may be done. This may not be done. You can put it in as a feature request. And if, if users want it, um, we'll have it. I mean, that's how we work. 
Will free accounts still be available after this launch? Yes, but it's going to be much less that you can do. We are going to put in, um, when we transfer over to monthly, we are going to put in a drastic uh, kind of, not limits, but if you want to use, uh, I don't know, groove pages, you will be, but you cannot use the code embed element, for example. You cannot, imp you cannot embed... Um, MailChimp form, for example. You won't be able to do certain things. We will be limiting it as much as we can because we really think that uh, our platform is worth the minimum amount that we will be asking for the for the monthly price. Would that be $199 or $299 or $99 even? We will be limiting it for the free users. Free users will be able to start, will be able to use GrooveMail, We'll be able to use Groove Video. We'll be able to use everything that we offer. Most probably everything, but it will be drastic, drastically reduced. Hey David, this is not directly related to the group today's presentation. I just noticed that the press release tools are missing. Can you clarify, please? Uh, we may not have press release tools for this launch, so that's why. Um, you can you can write your own. Is the free lifetime access going away when lifetime one time payment goes away? Free, no, no. We will have free lifetime forever. Um, this is this is a part of butterfly marketing concept. And since we are the only platform that does the butterfly marketing, a free account with a platform like us, uh, with, with a platform like Groove, is really powerful lead magnet. Like, would that be for you when you're promoting your affiliate link for Groove? Or would that be when we are actually selling Groove? A free account is a really good taster. It's like when you go into a supermarket and you have all those cookies or maybe those uh, those chips or those um, I don't know salamis that they offer. Mm -hmm. So you can you can take a taster, but not only the, the piece of thing that you put in your mouth, but you're actually a tester, like a like a, a full on chips or a full on something. So. Giving away something for free like this is 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 like a drug. Donna says that we are drug dealers. We are giving them something so good they cannot refuse and they will need to come in for more. This helps us sell the software. This helps you promote our software. And I, I, I think that that's staying forever. All right, I'm just looking for the questions. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. We have 29 more minutes to go. All right. Um, I'm just looking through the questions. There's a lot of back and forth, so I'm skipping that. Um, Will uploading pictures be any easier? Yes, yes. We'll we'll be working on the new image library, and that will make it easier. Um, there's actually, I thought there will be many more questions. We really went over through some hardcore stuff today. Um, on the Groove Pages 2.0 mockup, it looks like it's going from five devices to three. No, we'll keep the five. Um, I mean, it does not necessarily have to be always um, always written out. User uh, management Q2. No, it's Q1. Um, agency is Q2. Um, I missed out. I missed a lot of this. Uh, so might be repeating, but when are the quizzes coming? Um, I went over this one, but at the end of Q3, we should have a uh, Groove Survey, Groove Quiz, um, the beta version or the sandbox version, the version one. Uh, yes. No, Q1, user management Q1 2022. How does it feel to have started all this with the first Groovathon? Oh, it's great. I'm actually... Um, uh, I'm actually... I'm actually pretty excited that we that we kept up this Groovathon. We 
I, I'm not very happy about calling it a groovathon anymore. I think a groovathon is something that goes very long and it's kind of a major thing. We now call everything the really groovathon. I think we need to come up with a creative name for these types of demos, like uh, like you won't believe what groove does or something like that. Just just a just a different cool name to kind of go with. Um, but yeah, I like I like these long sessions. I can I can kind of talk and have a conversation with you guys. Will there be SEO training somewhere? Um, SEO training for, I mean, we will be doing trainings. Maybe there is an SEO training going on right now, actually. Um, not sure if you've seen it, but it's, um, it's exactly what users are looking for. It's short and it's on point and it's helping everybody. The, when you log into our, our YouTube channel, this is every yellow one of these videos is differentiated between on-page and off-page SEO. Best SEO strategy for e-commerce website. What is the best keyword research tool for SEO? Best SEO strategy for website. Best SEO technique for blog. Best ser basic search engine optimization technique. Like, as you can see, we do it already. <clears throat> but we'll have more for sure. Um... If page is built using 1.0, do they need to be migrated to 2.0? No. The builder, the, the, the UI is changing. The, the buttons for where you, where you, at this moment in the sidebar, you click on the center, the text. The same button will be just put on the canvas so that you can center the text from the, from the canvas. So the UI is changing. The functionality is not changing. The, the, the pages won't be touched. Do you know the requirements for white labeling? This is far in the future. At this moment, uh, we're there may be some some plans, but at this moment, nothing specific. So no. Hey David, any plans for Groove Pipeline still on the works and timeline? Oh yeah, Groove Pipeline. I may have missed that one from my presentation, or may have skipped it. No. It, I, I forgot to put it. Yeah, Groove Pipeline. So the plan with Groove Pipeline is that we are going to be making it as part of Groove Mail. So in Groove Mail, where you have contacts, we will be able to put in a pipeline and then manage the contacts within the different Kanban uh, columns. Like if you have um, uh, interested, um, another column for uh, for people that you will that you call another column for people that you called and another people that uh, that purchased from you and other people that that are still overthinking it <laughs> and then you can put the contacts into different in the different columns that's that's coming it would be amazing for agencies to sell uh, accounts wide label and selling services like facebook youtube instagram um i mean you don't need this already. I, I, I think you're comparing us at this moment completely with high level. They do this pipeline selling and they focus primarily on that one. We will have those functionalities, but we do many more things. We specialize we specialize in, in direct marketing. So this is our thing, but we will be putting in more, more stuff that helps to sell. Um, uh, the, the go high level, they are focusing really on agencies and we will have agency functionalities, but that's not going to be our main core purpose. So yeah, we'll have some of those, maybe not all the features that they do, maybe not all the features that group, that uh, or Pipe Drive does, but uh, the core features that are needed to, to have for pipeline software. What are the main improvements in 2.0? I actually went over that one. Please just rewatch the video. It, it took it would take me 40 minutes to go over it again. How many users can we manage? Will there be restrictions? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, there will be there will be restrictions for sure because I think users would be able to kind of um, create um, accounts. To, to resell like if we don't put limitations it would it could give you the opportunity to, to to have unlimited number of team members where you where you can basically sell access to your lifetime account and we don't want that so most probably there will be limitations yes free account member can use groove mail at this moment you can use it for uh, for collecting leads, for automations, for tagging, for building out sequences and things like that, but you cannot send emails through it yet. 
You are doing an amazing job tracking all those changes and improvements. Thank you very much. The reduction for free members, those this does this include the older member accounts? I believe so. All the accounts uh, will have uh, free members, which means all past free members and all new free members will have the same thing. We'll have paid members for monthly in, I believe, three tiers, and we have platinum legacy lifetime members. So all, so the free members will be considered for everybody. Um, how many platforms can we stream to at the same time with group stream? There's, there's no limit because that platform is not yet done. We'll see when it, when it comes to that. Uh, right. David, are you aware that you have nice eyebrows? <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I, I wasn't aware. No. <laughs> All right. That, that made me chuckle. Thank you, DJ. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you do well explaining. I will tackle one I once I cross the bridge. Perfect. What's your favorite aspect of Groove right now? My favorite aspect of Groove right now is the, the actual plan. And um, if you guys are new to Groove and if you don't know how Groove works, I'm going to give you a very, very quick example. So let me actually draw it out. That would be cool, right? So... While we are still here, it's going in the sixth hour. Why not just kind of spend a little bit more with you guys? So um, let me just delete this one. I'm going to draw it out for you. So the groove is, oh, let's see if we have something that I could use for that one. You will ask me, what is this platform, David? This is Excalidraw. This is a free drawing platform that you can have. They have inbuilt libraries that you can use, and then you can kind of uh, just import it and then reuse later. I'm going to add this. Okay. So this is a circle, and this is Groove. Okay. You may not understand my analogy because this is just a basic, literally basic circle, but this is Groove. Um, so... How, what do I mean by this is groove? David, you're going, <laughs> you're going mental. Um, no, let me explain. So what we do is groove.cm software. And groove.cm software is a big chunk of groove. All right, let me just write out groove. Or let's just type in Groove Digital because that's a company. Groove Digital, as the company, is selling software, right? Like, I mean, you are here because of the software. But it's not only selling software. It's selling services as well. Groove Solos is a service. Groove Solos is a, is a solo advertising platform. It's pretty cool. Like, if you need, come on. If you need a solo ad, you go and you buy Groove Solos. We have other things that we are doing. We're, we're cross-promoting. We have a white label from Copy Pro, for example. So it's Groove Copy Pro. Okay. What they do is they give you copywriting software so that you can use with Groove software, so that you can do Groove Solos, so that you can kind of promote it and then make money. We also do Groove Pay. All right. Okay, so this is Groove Pay. Groove Pay is is this in Groove Digital. All right, and I'm not exaggerating. So this is let's just say this is this small, and this is this small, but this is kind of this way. We will be adding our marketplace, Groove Marketplace. Okay. Which is probably going to bring us somewhere around here. And we also have the affiliate. This, I, let's just call the Groove Affiliate Marketplace which is the basically the ClickBank or JVZoo or whatever um, 
So it's going to be kind of this big. We also have Groove Cell Wallet and Groove Cell Plus or Plus. Not sure how we decided that we will go about it, but either with an icon or either with the word Plus. Okay, so this is going to come somewhere around, around here. And this is going to be this big. So now you understand what Groove is. People ask me, hey, how can Groove afford to do a lifetime deal? And I tell them, and they, they kind of say, David, you're going off the rails. We could run the lifetime deal forever. And I, when I was explained that, I was like, Dish. we could run the lifetime deal forever and we would still be good because Groove Digital, the company, is not Groove.cm. Okay, it's just not. It's all of these things combined, okay? Some of these things, like Groove Marketplace, does not exist yet. Groove Affiliate Marketplace does exist. Groove Cell Wallet does not exist yet. So it's basically Groove Pay, Groove.cm, Groove Copy, Cro Copy Pro, Groove Solos, and I may be missing some of the other ones. Let's just see. Um, if we click here to our services, Groove Ads. Yeah, so let's just let's just add Groove Ads as well. Ads. And there you go. So this is Groove Digital. This is what Groove Digital does and how do, how we make money. The size of each and every word is how much money we make out of this and what is kind of what is kind of the important thing in 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 our business. So even if we would take this away, we would still be good because we are not fully reliant on selling software. And this comes very, 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 very handy in for you because let me show you what others do. This is, I don't want to say the name, but competitors. Okay. This is, these are our competitors. What they do I'm just going to make them smaller. There you go. Small competitors. All right. What they do is they do this. Software. This is their main thing. And then they do course. Right. And they did, then they get a little bit of money out of this. But then they do this. And then they do this, and then they, they do this, and 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 this. See the difference? So the software is what they sell, and they may have charged monthly, but this is what you need to also buy to kind of be able to use the software. So if you have a look, a big picture, we don't want to upsell you the software all the time. We want to upsell you the services because if you use the best software out there, if you use the best payment processor, if you're using the best marketplaces that make you money automatically, if you use our services to write the best copy and, uh, and have and run the best ads, you cannot lose and we cannot lose because... Groove does not make money by selling you software. Groove makes money by giving you the, the knowledge. So it, it gives you the basically the training for free. I'm giving you now training. I, uh, Mike was giving you training yesterday. Our YouTube channel is full with training. We're doing Groove Growth, uh, which is a free, uh, free kick-ass training that I think we should charge for, but that's not what we do. Um, and this is why we, we don't have to upsell you on the software. And we don't have to upsell you on this one. So that's that's the difference between us, and that's the difference of us and the other platforms. Now, other platforms will be running courses, and then each and every one of these courses is a funnel that kind of ties in together with the software. This may be cool, but but it kind of gets boring after after some time. <clears throat> so 
I really think we are a better business. And that's what is exciting for me. Like, even if we would take this away, Groove Digital would still be running. And that's because we set up our, our systems that way. But this helps you make more money for everybody. So that's uh, that's what we want to achieve. If we give you the best tool to, to, to sell and sell more, like up, upsells, downsells, order bumps, to kind of um, do more from... To, to kind of get more money from one person and to kind of get more money from one campaign and, and, and project. We earn more money because we hope you use GroovePay or GrooveSell Wallet and the GrooveSell Plus and things like that. Even if you're, if you're not, then like kind of you probably are staying with our software because it's really the best. And it's a circular economy. We don't have to upsell you to courses to kind of keep up, uh, keep paying our software developers and keep paying our, our support because you selling more means that we have more money to pay our developers to kind of create more software and better software for you than these guys. That's why it's cool. That's why I think it's cool. So that I just wanted to draw it out so you understand us versus them. Cool. Okie dokie, let me just go and answer some of the questions because this may have been a pretty long presentation that I should have just paused my clock for. Um, so that was the answer to this question. Whoever asked, thank you very much. This was a great question. All right. I want to create a product funnel at the bottom of the dropdown. As for domain, it only shows no domain selected. They may That may be because you didn't create a custom domain uh, yet for GrooveSell. So you can go into your domains, uh, go to your custom domain, click on the Groove Cell logo, and create a subdomain for your for Groove Cell. Um, if a customer signed up for, uh, signed for a free account later goes to uh, goes for a basic, do affiliates still get paid the affiliation fee? Later goes for basic. Do, yes, yeah. How would you suggest for a newbie to uh, newbie begin Groove study? I would. I would start with a pen and paper. That may be silly in a digital world, but what do you want to accomplish? What is your goal? How you want to? How do you want to reach that goal? I don't know what you want. You do you want to create a membership? Do you want to create a site and and sell your services through it? Do you do you need a site at all? Do you want to store and sell dropshipping? Do you want to kind of um, do webinars for others and do maybe affiliate marketing or just promote Groove because of the affiliate program. I don't know what you want. So you would need to know first what you want to achieve. Write out, okay, my goal is I want to create a business which will sell uh, cat t-shirts. I want to sell the cat t-shirts to this type of people and then kind of find what you want to do and um, that will help you understand where to start. I cannot tell you where to start because I don't know what you want to do. Once you want, once you know what to do, go into our Facebook community and ask, "Hey guys, I plan to do, uh, I plan to do, um, I plan to sell um, cat T-shirts. I want to sell it to this audience. What is the best way I, you would recommend me to start?" That would be my suggestion and how to start if you're a newbie. Just know what you want to do, then ask for specific. Uh, questions inside the Facebook community. There, I and and the community members would be able to assist. D do you know what the commission fees for is in Groove is going to be? Like how Fiverr takes twenty? I don't know how. Um, I believe you are talking about the marketplace. We won't be taking uh, a lot, but we will be taking an, uh, 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 some sort of fee for for using the marketplace. Uh, if a customer signed up, uh, signed for a free account, later goes for a basic. Okay, I answered that one already. Question: I'm about to buy a second lifetime account just because Groove has given me so much uh, these past few months. What would you use it for? My current account is for my funnel agency design. I would, uh, Gonzalo, I would use it to kind of maximize uh, on the on the Groove card side of things. If I would have uh, something that. Uh, that uh, John Garcia and Frank Salinas were talking about yesterday is uh, GrooveCart is getting an option to, to transfer a store from one account to another. And that could be great if you if you get some people on to, to design stores for you. You probably saw uh, 
on Fiverr and even Facebook uh, ads like we'll design your Facebook, uh, oh, sorry, we'll design your Shopify store for you for um, $99 only and set up everything for you. You can create these and, and, and maybe not even run it, but just sell the store itself. Um, the, the, the design service, you may ask for $99, but the full-on store with everything connected, with products, with everything, that costs more money. So, um, so I think that could be a great business where you have maybe one designer or maybe one person that understands GrooveCart or maybe yourself and creates a bunch of these uh, GrooveCart stores and just goes on and, and uh, resells those, creates maybe a store selling stores. That could be a great business. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It will give you more contacts, more uh, hosting for Groove Video. It will give you just the power to do a lot of stuff um, later on. So I don't know. That's just my suggestion. Not sure when what kind of uh, business you're thinking to to expand, but I'm definitely sure uh, it would help if you have an extra account. For the persons who got their first referral as an affiliate, can you tell them what to do next? If you got a referral as an affiliate, just do the same thing and do another one. So if you if you get somebody signed up under your account, under your, uh, your link, get another person to sign up for your link. That's that's just I, what what I should uh, what I should suggest. Do what works and and just don't do what doesn't work. So however you manage to get that referral, just do more of that. Okay, uh, maybe try to expand, try to partner with that person. Uh, they if they promote, you will get second tier um, commissions as well. So yeah, that's my suggestion. Are we allowed to incorporate the Groove logos and logos or art? And I'm a wee bit confused trying to get everything set up to get my first campaign done and running. Uh, the second part, I cannot help you with. I don't know what you're confused about. If you ask specific question, I can give you answers. But if you're using the Groove colors, that's fine. But the Groove logos or art that we create, that's um, that's not fine because you cannot represent yourself as uh, as Groove. Okay. So if you are going out and and selling. Uh, by Groove and you put on our logo and you put in some of our text and some of our, our art that we created, uh, that may be uh, considered as as Groove is promoting, um, promoting it, but it's just you. So don't represent yourself as Groove and then there is no issues at all. Um, is the big picture what is Groove? Yes, yeah, Joe, yeah, that, exactly. No, he's not always aware because he only sees them when he looks in the mirror. I'm not sure what that means. Um, which session grew, uh, covered Groove ads? We don't cover the session. That's a service that we uh, that we partner with a, a company uh, that can run Facebook ads for you. There are professional company that you can check out on GrooveAds.com, I believe. Let's just do that together very quickly. Oops, sorry about that. Um, if we go into, into our dashboard, if you click over here to our services, you have Groove Ads. Um, it will show up the, the Groove Ads services and it's grooveads.com. Um, but they work with a specific type of audience or a specific type of people that have, um, have already reached some milestones. Who is this for? Um, you have a brand or product. You are not tech savvy. Uh, you wasted money. Um, they work with people that have reached X amount of dollars in ad spend and things like that. So this is a this is a, a higher tier um, advertising for for paid media. So this is Google ads, uh, Facebook ads. Um, I don't even know what other types of ads they do, um, but yeah. It's, let's just see, maybe it mentions it some, I mean, have a look at the Groove ads, but we, uh, it's not a serve, it's not a software, it's a service that uh, we partner with an agency. They run our ads as well, and you could use those, you could use them as well. David, what is the software you're trying to uh, use to have a display at your back? Um, so I'm using OBS, OBS is a, 
open broadcasting software or something like that. It's it's a free app and I have a green screen. When I move my hand, you would probably see that it's trying to keep up. Um, it's, it's just that it's OBS with green screen. David, when will the Spanish version come out? Uh, I don't know. That's something I still need to discuss with the with the founders on where we put the the language translations in the timeline. Wow, wow, David, you're amazing. I can listen to you all day long. My phone runs out of batteries. <laughs> Thank you very much, Manny. Um, all right. That's uh, been part of my problem all these months, it not being total sure what I wanted to do. Thank you, David. My pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last comment I see in here. I'm now uh, down at 34 people watching me, and I think it's time after six hours to finalize. Actually, now it dropped into 199. I'm not sure how it works. It was 34, now it's 199 again. So it's one minute of away from from me ending this this call will this live session be added to the groove youtube video channel yes as soon as i click and broadcast it's staying there when we build a funnel to promote groove can we use logos and groove images you can but please don't represent uh, yourself as you are groove otherwise there is no issues at all because most probably our products will have also groove logos and things like that um, so if you don't say if you buy our product, then you get a free Ferrari with it, then we we won't have a problem. But if you represent yourself as, as you are Groove, then that could get us in trouble, and that's why we don't allow it. All right, perfect. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Six hours has passed like nothing, uh, and I am really thankful for you being here. Hopefully, you learned a lot. Hopefully, you have uh, decided to jump on this opportunity I mean, I cannot tell you, uh, I try to show you if, if that's not something that helped uh, get you on this lifetime deal, then I just don't know what will. But I will leave this session with Mike explaining one more time what you do and what you get, and hopefully that brings you overboard. So one more time, 33 seconds away. I want to thank you all for staying here so long, for maybe watching me during the whole six hours. And uh, yeah, next week we're doing three Q&A sessions, most probably shorter ones, around one hour each. But I know because we're in a launch, there will be more people asking questions. I want to be there to answer. So see you next week. And until then, let's have Mike tell you about what we are doing here. Hi, my name is Mike Fulsame, CEO and co-founder of Groove. We hope that you're enjoying this special Groove presentation. While we're taking our short break, now is a great time to learn more about Groove and the amazing upgrade opportunity that's ending very soon. If you're watching this on Facebook Live or YouTube Live, or you're wondering what Groove is all about, then you're gonna wanna head to groove.cm and grab your free account. That's groove.cm.cm because customers matter. We have the best software on the planet for digital and e-commerce marketers, and it's absolutely free for you to get started, and there's no credit card required. If you're a little bit more advanced than a newbie, or you know that you're going to be a successful online entrepreneur one day, then you really want to consider taking advantage of our limited time upgrade. Just visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade now to lock in this incredible upgrade. For a very limited time, you can get lifetime access. That's right, lifetime access and unlock our entire platform, a marketing suite of powerful tools, over 17 apps in all designed to give you everything you need to be an e-commerce or digital marketer. Also, when you go to groove.cm forward slash upgrade, there's a video there that explains everything. But here's the important thing. Right now, you can get lifetime access to this incredible suite of tools for just a one-time price of 1997 and you'll never have to pay us anything again ever period you can even break those payments up to two payments of just 1999 or three payments of just 699 that's right just 699 dollars unlocks your lifetime account today if you add up all of the tools in groove a website builder a landing page and funnel builder a shopping cart affiliate management an e-commerce store email marketing, membership sites, a blogging platform built for SEO, professional video hosting, social proof widgets, 
webinars, streaming, videos, and so much more. With the other guys, you're paying over $3,500 per month or $25,000 to $35,000 per year, each and every year to run your business. And those other complicated platforms don't do half of what Groove does. But what if you could pay $19.97 one time and never have to pay anything ever again? And what if all of those tools were better, more powerful, easier to use than anything else out there? all while integrated to work with each other, all in one dashboard. Of course, you would say, where do I sign? But now I have to mention, you need to do this right now, today, because this lifetime offer for 1997 is expiring and it expires very soon. In fact, to see how much time is left and if there's still time, please go to groove.cm forward slash upgrade or log into the app and click the pink upgrade button in the top right corner. You see, when this lifetime offer expires, the new price will be $299 per month, each and every month for fewer features than what you can get right now for just $19.97. You don't wanna miss out on this literal deal of a lifetime. Upgrade to the lifetime platinum deal now. So do this now, visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade and lock in the lowest price we've ever offered. Those of you that pass on this lifetime offer today will be paying as much as $299 per month. Don't let that be you. Get this lifetime deal for a one-time payment of just $19.97 and you'll never have to pay us anything again ever, period. And remember, you can even break the payments up into just two payments of $9.99 or just three payments of $699. So visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade or just log into your account and click on the pink button in the top right corner that says upgrade. Again, groove.cm forward slash upgrade. So go ahead, do that now. Visit groove.cm forward slash upgrade. And now back to the show. You're still here? Come on, go, go, click on that button. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to tell you something more. Uh, let me just let me just do that very quickly. All right. So I know I said I am going to stop, but I can't stop. I can't stop. I won't stop. Okay. Have a look at this. This is my plan for platform training this year. After this launch has ended, um, this is what I'm going to, to try to do along with the development process. Have a look at this. Let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Um, control shift plus. Hmm, that's not working. All right. Anyway, so we have different plat we have different software, as you know, groove card, groove pages, groove member, groove blog, yada, yada, yada. For these ones, uh, currently, I have written out some of the things that I want to do as courses. So quick dropshipping course. Like there are trainings out there which take you through three days or even eight days or 14 days of different in-depth tutorials, but that's not what, I, what people want. How to do a dropshipping course in one day? That's what people want, but not long live stream but maybe chunked up videos like uh, like what you see on youtube it keeps you entertained and also informed at the same time so that's what i want to do so not teach you how to use the platform but show you how, what can be done with the platform and um as a, this is maybe it's not even a course maybe this is just kind of a, a demo where, because I, I plan to run ads to this one and show you the full-on aspect of running a, a Groove Card store, like the fulfillment, like the 
like things that happen in the back end because not a lot of people see what's happening. And I want to show you that it's how simple it is to actually do that. So that's my plan. Drop shipping, print on demand, one product e-commerce funnel. You, did you know that GrooveCard can do funnels as well with, with proper e-com funnels? Yeah. General store training, like how can you sell baby products and general car parts and also cleaning uh, products and, I don't know, electronics at the same store. There is a, a special special type of thing that goes into it. It's a, it's a great type of stores to start. And uh, if you have a platinum account with GrooveCard, you don't have to worry about, oh my God, Shopify will charge me, yada, yada. So you have time to play. So you are not in a hurry. You can, you can put in the products and you can test. You can test as much as you want. Customized product store build. Like imagine, I saw earlier... Uh, a couple of days ago, there was a there was a video that showed up on YouTube for me. There was a guy who created a store on Shopify for customized services or not cu customized products, where he sells a service and then upgrades people to kind of uh, print out, uh, print, do print on demand stuff. Like this guy specifically, he created a he created a store where he's selling Simpson uh, themed. Uh, portraits like family portraits. He charges uh, he charges per person who's on the on the portrait. Like you send the you send in an image. There is a service that gets created. Like uh, there is a, a Fiverr person that converts the family portrait to a Simpson style image, and then he he actually uses that image, puts it on a print on demand, sells the posters, sells the mugs, sells the t-shirts, sells I don't know bed covers. This is cool, and this can be done with GrooveCart pretty simply. You use GrooveCart and GrooveMail together, and you're bada-bim, bada-boom, you have it. So I'm going to try to do that. And it's not going to be an uh, educational experience, like you click here, and this is how I found success. It's going to be an experiment because I want to see how that works. So it's working with service and print-on-demand together. So that's that's pretty cool. Free plus shipping. Free plus shipping works beautifully. Not a lot of people use that anymore because people are kind of not not trust trusting those uh, those things anymore. Like you get it for free, just pay for the shipping. But it works. It really works. So GrooveCart can does free plus shipping uh, offers, and I'm I'm definitely in for testing that out. So. Um, yeah, that's GrooveCart, Groove Pages, business websites that convert. I actually read a read a book recently, which is from um, marketing Being made simple, I believe. Yeah, that's the book, marketing made simple. This is from Donald Miller. You probably heard about him. He wrote a uh, he wrote uh, he wrote a story on Story Brand. So marketing made simple. This is a book that tells you what goes on a website and it tells you how to guide the, the, the user through your website. Website, so, so it converts. They don't use funnels in, uh, in, the, in the story that he's selling. They don't use funnels. They call a website, a generic business website, like for a hairdresser. They call this a funnel because they, they created the blocks and the, the sections of the website to guide down the person through a story of the business and wanting to learn more, wanting to engage more. So I would like to test that uh, theory out, follow the book uh, up to the T and create a, an engaged, not training, but it's kind of a, a video where, where I go through all of this um, and show you what happens at the end. Drop servicing course. You can you probably know about drop shipping, but why not sell somebody else's services? There's a person on Fiverr. I can get their pricing structure. I can um, I can put some markup on that. Sell the services myself. Send some Facebook ads or even Google ads, uh, Bing ads to it, and then sell the service of of ebook design or sell the service of anything really. People are looking for services all the time, and that, I think that's a quick way to do it before, without uh, without a product, just by having a software tool like Groove, because it gives you it gives you opportunities to test and find what you're good at. It find the business model that you like. Digital product funnel with PLR, so you can create products that sell digital products, 
that are already created by somebody else. Those products most probably also have a sales page. And this was the same thing that I did during the Imperfect Action Challenge. The Imperfect Action Challenge went into five videos, I believe. And then I showed step by step how to do it. But I don't want to do that. I want to show you what happens after. Building a resources page. Did you know that you can actually create a, a site like kit.com with, with Groove? Uh, not kit.com, but um, what's it called? Kit. Um, kit.co. Okay, kit.co. Kit.co is where you can put in all of your all of your resources, all of your tools that you're using, all of the books that you read. Um, let me show you here. Uh, let's see. So let's see what MKBHD is using, what kind of technology. So we can see my setup. You can create this type of page that, that functions the same way. It would be a, an affiliate resources page. So you put in the desk that you're using, you put in the chairs, you put in the books that you read, you put in the technology that you have, you put in the, the mouse that you're using. He actually uses the same mouse as me. Um, and then you put in your affiliate links. It's a resources page. You have you these resources. You can put in your books that you read. You put in your best software that you're using. Like you can create your kit.co site with Groove Pages. That's great training that I could do. Not a training, but it's a great use case or a scenario that I could show you. Personal brand website. You're a you're a consultant or a coach what to put on the website when when you're selling yourself primarily why would people trust you why would people believe you i would just do the same thing from that book that i showed you earlier marketing made simple it goes through the whole the whole thing okay you see i mean i won't go through each and every your first two pages like how to start designing how to design hack a funnel how to create a link tree type of page like just put your links uh, and then make it mobile responsive. You can put it in your uh, in your Instagram bio, for example. But things like that. Groove member, your course in a day. How to actually create your your course uh, membership site, and how to create a private membership with subscription. Like if you are, I don't know, uh, if you are just a YouTuber and you have a tool like membership, uh, like Groove member. How to create a membership where people pay you monthly. So that you give them access to the to the content that you that you do monthly. Uh, Groove blog, blog funnels. Like, did you know that uh, that blogs can be can be useful for conversion? Yes, they they can. They actually rank very highly in search engines. So you can use that as your traffic. So affiliate blog blueprint, your first blog training, uh, your first VSL with Groove Video. That could be all great training. And and I think I will start with Groove Cart because it's kind of an complete platform in itself it does not have anything specifically that i'm missing to start kind of tackling this uh this list so this is something that i wanted to kind of uh, showcase and um this goes hand in hand with what i showed you earlier in here this is what they do and and this is what i want to give you for free i don't want to pay i don't want to charge you for anything i want you to be able to sell with Groove, because if you are successful with Groove, you will be telling people more about Groove. If you tell people more about Groove, I can help those people as well. And then it's just going into circle and circle, and, and more people will use Groove, more people will use Groove Pay. We will have more success, we'll have more money, we can invest in more devs, we can invest more in the services and the support, and then grow the platform bigger for you, for everybody that does it. I think that's why we stand out and not, not do this. All right. So I just want to show you one more thing that I thought of that could be pretty cool that nobody else does that I know of at this moment. And it's not only training you, but training your VAs. Like we are coming out with the user roles and the team management. So what if I would be the person, a person that really, really knows Groove Pages and Groove Member? Why I wouldn't teach your designer or why I wouldn't teach the person that will create your membership? I could actually very quickly create those. I did that for my, um, I did trainings for my VAs when I was training them. I, I, I took two people that knew how to use a tool like Canva and I trained them and they created, I believe around 400 different templates for me in Groove Pages. And it, it took me a week or two to actually get them trained. 
just by giving them different tasks, telling them my feedback, and that's all there was. So I can do that for your, your VAs as well. I can teach somebody that you hire for $10 an hour or even less from uh, from a from a different country where the, the kind of the standards are a little bit lower. You can find a person that is a, just a creative person and I can teach them for you. I can teach them how to design uh, in GrooveCart. I can teach them how to design in Groove Pages or how to create a blog in Groove, mem in Groove Blog and things like that. So that's actually a cool thing that I, I, I believe I would be able to do. Now, this list is, 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 is large. It's a large list. And I will probably not be doing that all in one year. Like, I think one or maybe two of these would be fitting in one month, maybe one. But if I do two trainings a quarter, I would be very happy with myself. And that will be my target. So, yeah. Let's just see how, how that works out. So that's Groove. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap this up for today. But I just want to show you that it's more than just software. It's more than just $2,000 that you pay and you, you kind of kick yourself in the head because you don't know where that money went. This money will keep people like me getting hired to be able to support you more give you the checklist. Okay, you want to drop shipping business? You want to do what David did? Here's the list. Dun, 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 dun. And that's why we are here. That's why we do what we do. So based on that, I'm going to wrap this up for today. It's six and a half hours. It's oh, seven hours that I'm, that I'm actually sitting immediately or that I sit down in front of you guys. So I'm going to wrap up and I'm going to just explain you in two minutes again why you need a software like Groove and and it's better if you hear it from people that use it. So there you go. If you're a person who's who's just thinking about creating, starting an online business, um, I would say... You're living in times where you're going to need your independence. You're going to need to be online and able to monetize. You want to own your presence online. I mean, that's probably why I love the Groove site, because you get to own your website. You get to own your blog. If you really want to be able to build a serious business where you're going to make minimum of a half a million to two to five million dollars a year, then those embracing the Groove upgrade will never get a bill for the rest of their life. To have and start your own business, first and foremost, I think you need a burning desire to be more than you are. You can't fail unless you give up. If you have that level of commitment, that I'm going to do whatever it takes, then you are in the right place to be an entrepreneur. Don't dip your toes in the water. Dive in. Take massive action and just actually do it. The bigger risk is not to do anything at all. Get yourself out there. Each person has an amazing, unique story. And most times it's out of your own story that you bring the most richness to the world. And don't let anyone don't let anyone stop you from moving forward and don't let anyone steal your dreams. It's the commitment to yourself and your why, why you want to do this. The biggest lesson I've learned is to listen to my heart and to do only that which I love. The second thing is, well, you better be tooled up. So somebody who wants to start on and operate their own business and they don't want to wind up paying 10, 20, $30,000 a year just to get the tools that might not even talk to each other might want to be looking for something that's an all-in-one solution under one roof. Okay, I'm really going out this time and I don't have anything better to share with you. I really just shared everything I had. Um, all right, let's just let's just do let's just do an outro and then I'm seeing you next week. Bye for now, guys. Ah!